seven minutes, leaning on eight minutes past the hour, and it is a brand new show, and we thank you for being with us today, making us a part of your day. Lots to choose from. Hey, I mean a lot. Uh, there's that popping back. Uh, and we uh, thank all of you. That's something I did not miss. Uh, as uh, we were yesterday, if you are listening live, and today is May the 12th, um, yesterday, the 11th, we were out at Regions Tradition, the Pro-Am, and uh, so we're back in studio today. Thanks again to Davey Allen. Uh, Davey Allen. I, uh, yeah, Davey Allen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for for yes. being with us uh, yesterday, as well as Young Scruggs, they were in charge of master control, and we thank them for running everything. Adler was able to catch a ton of video, uh, and so all of you tubers, I know you missed the show yesterday, uh, but do not worry. I know he's uh, been trying to let all of you know, but uh, we're going to have a good time looking back at some of that and uh, getting some of that on social media and some different avenues. So be looking for that. Uh, this just video from from the course. Speaking of video from the course, uh, tried to put out a ton of stuff on uh, my personal social media yesterday, just to kind of you know document and highlight uh, what it was like to be out on the course with Bubba's uh, group as I was Bubba's caddy yesterday. And uh, boy, there were some um, some highlights indeed that we will look back on. Uh, but a great group and a lot of fun. We got to see a ton of folks yesterday out at Regents Tradition, part of the. Uh, PGA Tour champions, and uh, it's going to be going on all week and weekend. And so uh, beautiful weather in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, and so that's uh, uh, who's playing host. And I think the Golf Channel uh, every afternoon is going to have some coverage for you as well if you're around the country and want to see what that looks like. All right, well, let's bring them in. Busy show, busy show, boys. Will and meet could spin and a whole lot more. Mm-hmm. Don't forget Rick off tomorrow. So it's good time gang with Bubba. Uh, you never yeah. know. It'll be Bubba Rama tomorrow. To my left, it's Greg Burgess. To my right, it's Michael Helms. What's up, guys? Y'all good? Yeah. Everybody yeah, yeah. fired up? Gentlemen. Ready to go? Ready to go. How was Montgomery, Alabama last night? It was, Helms it was good. <clears throat> it was good. Hey, what a day we had yesterday. What a day. Um, what a day. Landmark church. <clears throat> um, it was good. It was not a late trip getting back. Got to hang out with the men a little time before, a little time after, speaking in between. Great night of worship. It was good. It was good. good. I will say this. You know, you, you do these things, and <clears throat> I, I, if anybody – uh, land there's very all churches have men's ministries that we go into and and they're they're kind of doing their their thing and they may tweak it one mm-hmm. one way this way and tweak it this way and all of it's good you got to find what works for you right they are doing the discipleship strategy that Rick envisioned to a T that's great and it's awesome that's good and so stuff. that makes everybody's life easier when you get there and you know what's going on and it was it was awesome that's there. reassuring so, isn't it it is you it's very you reassuring go, you go a lot of fans of the show they want to know why come on they want to know why greg uh one guy came up to me and he goes i gotta be honest him thought greg was speaking tonight so i'm headed to the house no uh, ah, yeah. it's so good so you get a lot of that when yeah, you're on the road because they listen and we've talked about this just as we just as we say this when we especially yesterday when we spend time with all these what i call real celebrities Mm -hmm. When you call us a celebrity, (laughs) I think you're using the word celebrity a little loosely. (laughs) But we got to hang out yesterday with the real celebrities. And Mm -hmm. so when we do that, we feel like they're what? They're our friends. And so a lot of conversations last night around, you know, people thinking that they're friends with me now because we've hung out. And and but it is true. Like, I enjoy hanging out with those people. Uh, Yeah. Believe it or not. And so. Um, Believe it or not. Well, I mean, you know, people are a struggle for me sometimes. But yeah. last night was enjoyment, me hanging yeah. out with other men and talking talking men things. It was fun. You I, know, I you know what it. I love about our audience is not only do they get the show, yeah. uh, and is is you, you you forget, like some of the things we say in passing, they, they don't miss. Yeah. And they're very in tune to what is truly going on with the show. Uh, and there was a couple of times on the golf course yesterday where I was like maybe waiting on Bubba to, you know, take a shot, or I was back at the cart kind of getting some stuff, and all of a sudden I'd hear a voice, "Hey, buddy, you hanging in there?" Yeah. And I'd be like, "What's?" A, and yeah. I'd, I'd look around, and it was just, it was just someone that hey has been a part of the show yes. and loves the show, and he started talking about things that we pick up on. I know, and I because know. they get it, you know, yeah. and it was just, it's just funny to see 
uh, see them interact and be like, yeah, man, we're here. We've been listening and hearing all the stories, been watching or listening, you know, eight years, 12 years, 15, you know, three, whatever. It, Everybody's got a different story, and it's just really cool to see all that. You know, when you go into these markets that doesn't have a radio affiliate and, and they don't have a – they don't have access to the show as much as someone that does, you don't know the feel of the room. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not the case in Montgomery, Alabama. I mean, I, it's a, it feels like family. Yeah. And so, and I, and I will say this. I said this to Amanda last night. I said, I tell you this. I said, if we lived in Montgomery, Landmark Church would be on our. You know, I don't say this about everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, Landmark Church would be on that list that I'd think. Hey, we got to check that church out. Mm-hmm. We, we got to. If we're in Montgomery, this is where we got to be. That's good stuff. It was fun. That's good. A lot of fun. That's now, good. Of course, I got it back at nine thirty, yeah. nine forty-five, yeah. Yeah. and yeah, um, and been up since three. I so heard, uh, I heard a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. The guys couldn't believe it. They were like, "So you really you like you're yeah. here and yeah. you got up at three and <laughs> you've been just running hard all day." I'm like, "Buddy, that's our world. That's the way we roll." <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Uh, a couple. This one guy came up to us yesterday. I think we were on twelve. Uh, he came up and goes, "Hey, saw your Instagram story. Whatever." You were here at three thirty. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. it, it, but they get it. Yeah. The weather was good at three yeah. thirty, right? And then you got, got hot. Yeah, and then Greg's commuting, so whenever we arrived, you got to think backtrack about an hour and a half, and he's on the road. So, I mean, it's not hard work, <laughs> but it is taxing at times just because of of uh, the little sleep we get. But one it's, guy, it's a lot of fun. Very rewarding uh, job for sure. One guy called himself out last night after the event. It was like eight. I guess it's probably eight fifteen, eight twenty, coming up on eight thirty, and this guy goes, "Man, I got to get out of here. I got a fifteen minute drive." And the guy standing next to him says, "Are you gonna say that in front of him? He's been <laughs> up since three, and he's got an hour and fifteen minutes." Yeah, it was I, funny. I, I uh, guess what time was it? Around eight something. And uh, I, but, uh, Greg, I saw a Marco Polo notification come up, and it said Helmsy, and I went, "Oh, he's on the road." Because I did that. Did and, you remember? And, oh, yeah. And it starts with, of course, you forgot. <laughs> hey, dark car, you know, coming back from Montgomery. But yep. I did not forget. Uh, we were all going in different directions uh, after the show yesterday. And, um, did you and we, get your itching deal handled? He was itching. And he was just scratching. Well, you, you, well you, you know how when you talk, you kind of itch in your chest. You're just a just getting red bugs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I do not I have red I will say bugs. this. Since the region seems to be the only thing we do out of the studio now, the new location, well, that was our helpful. proximity to it's nice, it was it? really easy. Yeah, yeah I was getting, telling Terry about getting that. In, getting out, yeah, and stuff. It was really, really easy. Yeah, because I was, I was telling her, you know, prior to the show yesterday, we were able to divide and conquer. You know, I'm I'm one place, y'all well, are here. Right meeting, across the road, you know. Make, all right, everything's good, so we're coming over. So it really worked out well. But there's a lot of stories from the course. Uh, part of Bubba's group uh, yesterday was uh, Steve Stricker, uh, the pro. His wife caddies for him, and uh, he was so nice, so cordial, uh, and best of luck to him uh, as he's just now back on the tour. I think this will be his second, I think, second appearance since um, having an uh, unidentified illness that yeah. uh, got him last uh, fall, ended up lo- losing almost 30 pounds uh, after the turn of the the the, uh, the year, but now he's back. Uh, feels good, so we're able to hang out with him. Riley Green, Jake Peavy, uh, and uh, Randy Jones uh, with Jacksonville State so University. Had we had a blast, and they brother in lawed it throughout the entire round. And what I mean by that is everybody, every whole did something That's good. to yeah. make it. That's work. called brother in law. <laughs> yes, it yeah. is. Really. It is. Yeah. And listen, Speedy, and, and Greg and I talked about this That's yesterday, weird. and I I gave you a little insight last night in Marco Polo. Mm-hmm. You and Bubba do not need to be frustrated with Greg and myself yeah. when you get into the Comrex box yeah. and all the equipment because we yeah. – how we packed it was probably not right. the correct way. No. I didn't see not it at all. Not, not at we all, were really. just trying to to yeah. survive, get everything. I think we got everything. I think I we love, even got something that we didn't. What the only to thing get. really you were supposed to leave was the the uh, the cord that fed the uh, broadcast, the, the gray cord, the long gray cord, I got it little too. phone cord kind of thing. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's it. it. Everything else was ours. So that yeah. yellow got, that yellow yeah. outlet was ours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because I told y'all that before I left. Well, we were halfway said, I thought you meant just the the, stent, the extension cord. No, no. Yeah, I think y'all did good. Of course, there was one that uh, one thing, one item we were trying to find. <laughs> yeah. I did some in here somewhere. It, well, we look the way we clock. packed it. You're gonna open it and go, "What is this mess?" Hey, kids, it's okay. Okay, yeah. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of daddy. It's all right. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Ah! 
has been too good to me. And because of that, I've got to make a choice at this Gridiron Men Conference. The 2022 Gridiron Men's Conference, June 17 and 18, Probst Arena in Huntsville, Alabama, featuring Fred Luter, Kirk Cameron, and Tim Tebow. How many people can we help in the name of Jesus? That's the goal. Nothing else matters. The Gridiron Men's Conference, Huntsville, Alabama, June 17 and 18. Register today at gridironmen.org. Presented by Bill Waltrip Ministries. Inflation is rising and some say a recession may be coming. Remember what the last recession did to your retirement in 08? Our friends at Lear Capital know that investing in physical gold and precious metals can be a brilliant strategy against what's coming. Smart investors are doing this, so talk with the team at Lear Capital about owning precious metals for your savings and retirement accounts. Right now, you'll receive up to $10,000 in free bonus coins based on the value of gold coins you purchase. Visit LearBubba.com. That's LearBubba.com or RickandBubba.com under the sponsor. Are you ready to win an out-of-this-world family road trip? Family camp at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama is the perfect weekend for the adventurous family. All lodging and meals are included in this out-of-this-world experience. You also get $1,500 spending money to your out-of-this-world family road trip package. All you need to do is sign up for the North Alabama newsletter. Someone's going to win. Maybe it'll be you. Sign up and get entered to win at alabamaroadtrips.com. That's alabamaroadtrips.com. With spring in the air, it's time of renewal and growth personally and professionally. As your small business grows, LinkedIn Jobs is here to make it easier to find people you want to talk to faster and for free. Create a free job post in minutes on linkedin.com slash Bubba to reach your network and beyond. Every week, nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash Bubba. That's linkedin.com slash Bubba. Or head to Rick and Bubba.com under the sponsors for a link. Terms and conditions apply. Terry was at her daughter's wedding for the weekend when she got a call from Simply Safe. Simply Safe had detected water in her basement just moments after the leak started. Protecting against floods is one of the reasons more than 4 million people trust their home protection to Simply Safe. With Simply Safe's 24 7 professional monitoring, you always have someone looking out for you. Go to simplysafebubba.com and claim a free indoor security camera, plus get $20 off with interactive monitoring. Simplysafebubba.com or visit rickandbubba.com. Do you want to enjoy more time in the sunshine and less time in the checkout lines? Just get HelloFresh. They deliver chef-crafted recipes featuring seasonal farm-fresh produce right to your doorstep so you can skip the trip to the grocery store. Their chefs really know how to diversify the menu with seasonal recipes like sweet heat shrimp, tempura bowls, garden spinach, ricotta ravioli, and one-pan cheesy beef tortilla meals. Sign up today for 16 free meals plus three gifts with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com. If you're a regular show listener, you probably heard me talk about my all form sofa which we love so here's some exciting news the same team behind my all form sofa has brought us unbelievable customized mattresses made in the usa helix mattresses if you need a new mattress then go to helixsleep.com slash bubba take the quiz order the mattress you're matched to and it'll come right to your door in a box ship for free and you can try it for 100 nights right now helix is offering up to 200 dollars off all mattress orders for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash bubble rob tried to manage his constipation with belly pain discomfort and bloating day after day after realizing it was irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or ibsc he found another way and finally said yes to adding linzess Linzess, or linaclotide, is a prescription medicine that treats IBSC in adults. Linzess works differently than laxatives. It lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were studied in combination, not individually. Do not give Linzess to children less than two years old. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. There could be more to your story with IBSC. Talk to a doctor today. Say yes to Linzess. Learn more at linzess.com or call 1 800 L I N Z E S S. Sponsored by Abbey and Ironwood Pharmaceuticals. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Without him, brother. 
22 minutes past the hour. It's the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. The number 866-WE-BE-BIG. It's the Good Time Gang. We're getting things rolling for the day. Rick and Bubba join us right after the top of the hour. Today will consist of a lot of uh, looking back. Uh, some of the highlights from the Regents Tradition Pro-Am uh, broadcast yesterday uh, there at the, the Coca-Cola uh, patio overlooking the uh, putting green, the practice green there, and uh, the uh, golf range. Boy, I tell you, it was a beautiful day yesterday. A little warm. I uh, got heated up a little bit. But the uh, just the sunrise and, and everything coming over the mountain there, I mean, it was just a real pretty day. Uh, right. And I know a lot of you that we saw on the course, uh, you, this was not just a pro-am thing. You're going back because uh, it's going on all week uh, and weekend. Uh, and so y'all are headed back. Uh, it should be a, a lot of really good golf there on the Champions Tour. Uh, and uh, we uh, really enjoyed seeing a lot of you. So a lot of, a lot of looking back from, uh, to yesterday. Looking ahead, we could uh, do the will of meat today. Uh, Brooks Burgess, believe it or not, graduates from Mississippi State tomorrow. So uh, Rick uh, will be with family there in Starkville. <clears throat> and uh, I know, Greg, uh, your parents are going with him, so oh, there's yeah. a little bit of anxiety there from him, but he'll get there, right? Oh, that'll um, be fine. So he won't, he won't be with us tomorrow. Mom, keep him in line. It'll be uh, Bubba Rama with the Good Time Gang. So. Uh, be looking for that. Um, I will be headed over to Oxford, Alabama today. Hey, now. Uh, the uh, Alabama JUCO Conference Championships are, are this uh, week, starts today, uh, converging on Chakalaka Park, exit 188 there. Uh, yeah, you've been where there many We've times. talked about that exit a lot. That's where the new Buffalo Wild Wings location is. That's right. Part of Charity Charge. Uh, going on at the same time, the OVC Softball Championship. Uh, the of, con the conference uh, championship. Yeah, so that is a – it's going to be a few people there, uh, so look forward to seeing all of y'all there as, as uh, head that way this afternoon. Look at you. Back out in the sun. I know y'all had a good time with my white chicken legs. I get it. I, get I never it. saw them. Other, I mean, not you out never the sun. saw them. I didn't uh, really look at them. Yeah, yeah Rick busted yeah. you a little bit on there. Well, yeah, but I, it was one of those things where I'm like, I, last, <clears throat> last year, if you remember back, I know we, we, it's tough to remember things, it started off raining. Do you remember that? Yeah. And it rained for about the first three or four holes. So then I, I took off the, the, the rain suit or whatever, and I'd, I had wore, worn long pants. I was so hot because in Alabama, you know how it is after the rain, the sun yeah. comes out. I was burning up, and I was like, no, not again. Because you're running around a little bit. If you're oh, playing, yeah. it may be a little different. But um, anyway, I uh, had a good time yesterday. Hey, I, you need to put on some sunscreen today. I know. I'm back out in it. Because I'm going to tell you. Soul fair skin here. I, I'm gonna show, hot yesterday. I'm going to show uh, Greg that Marco the other day. Your face was as yeah. red as the will of meat. I, I know. I mean, it's, it was bad. Yeah. I know. I, I've got, and that's I, not like you. I felt no. top of my head burning yesterday. Did you really? I said one part of the tent. That's right. You do have to worry about that <laughs> yeah. a little bit. One part of the tent was in the sun. Oh. Yeah, it, one seat. Yeah, Towards the end of the yeah, show. Yeah. Yeah. The sun came out. But yeah. Yeah. Hit your side over there. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> now, uh, Terry... Um, uh, my wife, uh, she um, she was able to listen to the show yesterday, and she got to laughing last night. She said, she calls me honey, picture that. Hey, honey, That's uh, when y'all left yesterday and the guest had kind of gone away and it was just it was just y'all, she said, minus, you know, you and Bubba, she's talking to me. She said it got out of control, it did. It did. and she said that's fun, the, that that's what I love about yeah. it. it. She even said oh, this, yeah. and she said they got to 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 cracking on people and having a good time. That's when she brought up we did, you know, so a few things. We were all she, starting to sweat, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and, and we were, you know, we were a little punchy, last night. Yeah. punchy yeah. edge yeah. was right. kind of, you know, yeah. And oh, yeah. Uh, Coach Andy Kennedy came by, who just joined right in. Yes, uh, and he's he got did. a great he's personality. A but she got to laugh. She said, at some point, you have to listen to that last hour. <laughs> yes, you definitely. Yeah, were. yeah, and I really was talking to Coach Saban. Uh, by the were way, were you really? Yeah, I know. No, was, you weren't. He was from me to that chair right. I those chairs you. right there. Gave you me bum rushed nothing. him, scared him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I, I understand why he is the way he is when it comes to crowds. Yeah, because they like I got to put my head down and I got to focus on where I'm going. He can't take two steps. Yeah. With without just being. Just bombarded with with requests. Did you and see people. him when he showed up? We saw him coming in. Uh, he was pulling your trick. He acted like he was on the phone. He did. That's yeah. great. <laughs> that, that That's great. Good. You just got to make sure your phone's on silent. It doesn't ring. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that, that would be a problem. That happened to me one time. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you well, can't do that. Of course, you also tried to take a picture of somebody one time and got busted. I did. I did. Story. You're kidding me. 
Um, seriously. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so it bumped into him a little bit. Do want to apologize to him because I think we might have held him up. He played behind uh, Bubba's oh. group. And I understand yesterday in front of us you have John Daly. Listen to this group. John yeah. Daly, Taylor Hicks, uh, Charles Barkley, Bo Jackson. Yeah. Uh, that, good group. that former President Trump called John Daly while they were on the course. Uh, I can't imagine that boy. Hey, the the amount of the gallery was just falling. All three of those groups. He's still rocking that giant in. beard. Yes, yeah, and he yeah. is. Let me tell you, he's it's almost got a nasty look to it. Oh yeah, he's yeah. the life of the of the golf course. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's just good time. He's though. just uh, yeah. the center of life in general. Right. And he wants a party everywhere he goes. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. And and I got to tell you, you know how sometimes Bo is real serious. He wants to he oh, wants yeah. to get whatever. Charles brings out the fun side of Bo, uh, and he he gets a lot more relaxed. And he, hey, pretty funny uh, how they crack on each other back and forth. That was funny yesterday morning. We looked, and there's Bo standing there, and he walks in there and sits down. We knew he was coming at some point, but he was way ahead of schedule, and he decided he'd just go ahead and do his interview. Well, well, for the first time in I don't know how long, all of our guests were early. Normally they're late, and we're pushing everything back, but instead they're early, and so the operations crew with Regions didn't realize it because she's coming in, you know, at, at 8 o'clock going, hey, man, uh, how are we going to do this? Dale Murphy is here and Barkley. And what about Bo? I said, Bo was on an hour ago. Yeah, he's hard, he, <laughs> he, he made he his can, own schedule. Oh, she, oh, really? Okay, that helps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he just came on in and he sat, sat down. He sat down and was changing his shoes out <laughs> yeah, when he yeah. sat down. Yeah, I said, if Bo comes and sits down, you talk to him. That's right. Unless uh, it was like at Ross Bridge years yeah, ago. Well, that was, that was a tough <laughs> Yeah. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. Uh, a lot of stories today. We'll jump out in it and see what's going on. Then Rick and Bubba uh, join us at top of the hour, and they'll get back into recapping a little bit of uh, Bubba on the range, or I should say on the course. Uh, and there's one incident that happened uh, at um, a par three in the bunker uh, that I tweeted out yesterday. We'll definitely, that's the highlight of the day. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Guys, anyone listening tired of those bald spots? Did you know two out of three guys experience hair loss before they're 35? Do you really want to gamble with your hair? Well, you can flip the odds in your favor and save your hair with our friends at Keeps. Keeps has clinically proven FDA-approved hair treatments available online. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or take care of the hair you have, your Keeps physician will help you select the right products and develop a personalized hair-saving routine that works for you. It's easy with no waiting rooms or pharmacy visits. Keeps is delivered straight to your door at about half the cost, too, guys. And if you have questions, you can message your Keeps doctor 24-7. So, guys, if those balding jokes are wearing thin, join thousands of other guys who saved their hair. Visit Keeps.com slash Bubba for 50% off your first order. That's Keeps.com slash Bubba, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Bubba. Inflation is rising. COVID hurt the economy, and some say a recession may be coming. Remember what the last recession did in 08 to your retirement? Yikes. I I think we all do. A Federal Reserve survey broke some bad news dating back to the 50s. Whenever inflation and unemployment have hit today's levels, history suggests a recession may be near. Well, our friends at Lear Capital know that investing in physical gold and precious metals can be a brilliant strategy against what's possibly coming. Smart investors all over are investing in gold and precious metals, and they're doing it for two reasons. One is that gold can be a great hedge during a recession. The second reason is that the closer a recession gets, the more your gold could be worth. So talk with the team at Lear Capital about owning precious metals for your savings and retirement accounts. And right now you'll receive up to $10,000 in free bonus coins based on the value of the gold coins you purchase. Visit LearBubba.com. That's L-E-A-R Bubba.com or RickandBubba.com. God's been too good to me. And because of that, I've got to make a choice at this Gridiron Man Conference. Phil Waldrop Ministries presents the 2022 Gridiron Men's Conference. Two dynamic days, June 17 and 18. Probst Arena in Huntsville, Alabama. Featuring Fred Luter and Tim Tebow. How many people can we love in the name of Jesus? How many people can we help in the name of Jesus? That's the goal. Nothing else is the goal. Nothing else matters. The 2022 Gridiron Men's Conference. Hear dynamic speakers like Phil Waldrip and 
Kirk Cameron. If I can try to get my part right, maybe I will be used as sort of a vessel to bring about change in my spouse over time. Maybe I can lead by example and that'll bring some sort of transformation to my relationship if I'm patient. Don't miss the Gridiron Men's Conference, Huntsville, Alabama, June 17 and 18. Register today at gridironmen.org. That's gridironmen.org. Presented by Phil Waldrop Ministries. With spring in the air, it's a time of renewal and growth personally and professionally. As your small business grows, LinkedIn Jobs is here to make it easier to find the people you want to talk to faster and for free. Create a free job post in minutes on linkedin.com slash Bubba to reach your network and beyond to the world's largest professional network of over 810 million people. Then add your job and the purple hashtag hiring frame to your LinkedIn profile to spread the word that you're hiring so your network can help you find the right people to hire. Simple tools like screening questions make it easy to focus on candidates with just the right skills and experience so you can quickly prioritize who you'd like to actually interview and hire. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the candidates worth interviewing faster. Did you know every week nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn? Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash Bubba. That's linkedin.com slash Bubba or head to rickandbubba.com under the sponsors for a link. Terms and conditions apply. In life, you can count on three things, death, taxes, and your car breaking down. We can't do anything about the first two. Now, as for your car breaking down, well, that's why there's CarShield. CarShield offers protection plans for around 100 bucks a month that cover more parts than ever before. Whether your car has 5,000 or 150,000 miles, when you need a repair, you don't have to deal with the paperwork or the headaches. All you got to do is choose the mechanic to do the work, and Car Shield administrators handle the rest. You can also count on Car Shield to help take care of you when your car breaks down and you're stuck maybe on the side of the road. Every protection plan C includes coast to coast roadside assistance, rental car options, and trip reimbursement at no extra cost. Get coverage today. Lock in your price, and it'll never go up at carshield.com slash Bubba or call 1-800-391-8888. You'll save 10% on your plan. That's carshield.com slash Bubba. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Five minutes until top of the hour. Thank all of you for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show. This part of the show, uh, we want to remind all of you that if you uh, run a business, maybe you're a business owner, a manager, or you're in charge of advertising, uh, we want to remind you about uh, the national sponsorship team at SSI that, uh, that uh, runs this program when it comes to national advertising. Uh, and they, they have this program and another popular syndicated program that you can partner with our network team. Uh, they've got a lot of great uh, options for you. You know, we've been doing this for nearly 30 years, and uh, in the process, we have got not just the Terrestrial Radio 50 Network affiliates, but we've got the YouTubers, we've got Blaze TV feeds, 24-7 tune-in digital radio channel, all the social media platforms, the podcast, the online showcasing opportunities at rickandbubba.com. So it's much broader than just one avenue and i uh, just want to remind you of that so if uh, you are in the market of maybe trying to figure out an affordable network sponsorship program that you can uh, uh, you know kind of partner up with uh, let us suggest the rick and bubba show rick and bubba at syndicated solutions.com that's uh, the email address so you can call 203-431-0790 and contact the ssi team if you're looking at more just of a, a local approach where you know i don't need to get to the national audience. I just need a local affiliate. They, the sales teams with our affiliates are really cool. We work uh, with them on a, a daily basis, and they do a great job. You can always email any of us, and we'll get you in touch with the right person in whichever market you listen to. All right, so uh, the tubers uh, are back today. I know a lot of you missed yesterday, but Adder will have some highlights. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's, we'll no be fired yesterday. up, ready to go. And speaking of that man, he's walking in right now ready to go, so he'll have it all up and running today. Um, all right, so looking ahead, uh, there he goes right there. Look at him, fired up. You know, every time he, he normally has his hair up, and when he lets it down, I forget he's had a haircut. 
until he lets it down. I yeah. say it all the time. Yeah. But anyway. Um, all right, so looking ahead uh, to this coming weekend, can you believe? I mean, we're looking at, we're looking at, at, at mid-May almost. Yeah. Uh, we are flying. Uh, it's Christmas before we know it. I got an anniversary coming up. We got one graduating, <laughs> got a wedding. I got uh, a one-year-old birthday party this weekend. Do you really? Yes. Tell me about that. Are, you, ho- are you hosting? One? No, no. We're, it, we're having the big throwdown, though. It'll be a good one. So, you know, that first one, you got to make a yeah, big deal about it. Is Lisa in charge of, of decorating and, and planning? It's all at, uh, uh, we're going to, I can't, Chillsburg. Okay. It's all in that area. Oh, so, yeah. are you? Okay. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It'll be a big, it'll be a great time. Is like it? I said, she's the youngest of the grandchildren. How much fun is it to just go and just stir all the grandkids up and leave? Is that fun? It's pretty fun. Yeah. It's a good thing. Is all it right. a good thing? Uh, so this is funny you're talking about this and kids growing up and all this and it does get away from us. The oh yes, does. yeah, and, yeah. And it, so, you know, you hear that saying, I, I enjoy I it. It'll be all I it'll and be Adler, twenty before you know it. Adler, you know I, mean? I didn't want to do this because I, I wasn't sure when you were going to be here, and I'm putting you on the spot now. I just forwarded you an email, so if you could, if you can't, you don't have to do it uh, if if you can't find it. But yesterday, Caroline and Braden got in a car together. Mm-hmm. And Braden drove them to tennis practice. And this has been going on for a couple of weeks now. And so Amanda's sitting on the back porch, and she, she looks down there, and she's like, wow, okay, so there they go. They're just driving off together. And, and it reminded her of a video that she took back when they were little. Yeah. Greg, don't you dare miss this. Oh, my goodness. And I want you to look. Please look at, please look at this. And so she's like, and please watch it to the end, too. Well, You're going to love this. Mm-hmm. And so uh, – <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and so, hopefully, he didn't do that. No, yeah, and, no, but that's what Amanda thought yesterday. Wow, it just felt like yesterday that this was going on, yeah, and funny. now they're actually getting in a real vehicle and driving off together. Yeah, that's the that's pretty, pretty, that's pretty yeah. cool. That yeah. is pretty cool. How that's a cool, that's that? a cool little Mustang they had. They did. They uh-huh. they drove that thing all over. Did you get them the another red Mustang? No. Oh, okay. they're not in the. A big red Mustang. Yeah, big, no. red, there they go. That's yeah. Funny. But when, whenever you're, especially your first one. Yeah, but Ooh. wait till your youngest. Oh. You wait till that happens. The driving thing when you see those terrifying. brake when you see those brake yeah. lights head out, terrifying. those tail lights, and then they're, they're there they go. I was talking yep. to you know, parents just cover them in prayer last night at the speak engagement, and it is man, it is scary Ooh. that they're behind the wheel. But it, there's also a lot of freedom to the parents that come with that too. There mm-hmm. is a my goodness, I mean. Hey, you getting your life back because they're doing mm-hmm. things on their own. Yeah. So, and this is the kind of stuff. It's a give and take. Get, this is the kind of stuff uh, that you have to get ready for. And I know Greg, you've uh, already raised two out, out, very successful out on their own. But uh, JC at the house the other day goes. Uh, I walk by his car. Terry goes, "What's that?" And I look down. I said, "What are you talking about?" This huge dent. Oh, I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, big dent on the on the the uh, the. Driver's side back door. I, I I I text him. Hey, what's up with your dent in on your car? Oh man, you was you remember the other day it was real windy. Yeah, Joe teammate uh, was open opening his truck door and the wind just slammed it into the side of my car. I'm like, Are you, you can't have <laughs> nothing. Oh, I mean, which is I mean, you know, well, and that's and, why. and where we've been. I mean, we have had some windy days, so it wasn't on purpose. It was an accident, of course. But he said he just opened his door, and before he could grab it, that wind just flew it open. And just, I, guys, I can't tell you all the, the dent that it put on the that side of that good. door. Well, that answers the question of That's why I didn't buy wind. them a new red Mustang. Is yeah, that right yeah. there? Yeah. It's now, just, I believe it because we have had some wind. We have. Yeah. And, and if y'all if y'all do some something like that, and let's say it's the Walmart parking lot, are y'all yeah. leaving a note for, on the car? If it's, if it's dented, bad yes. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you ever opened your door and hit a car and went, ooh, that was a little hard? And yeah. made sure they didn't have a den or anything. Correct. Yeah. And I've if it was that. a small den, I left it. And do you have you ever wiped off and goes, oh, a little, my, little bit of my paint? Yeah, a little on paint there. on there. And it came right off, and there was no den. I know. And you're yeah. afraid they were going to somehow trace it to your car. <laughs> <laughs> you ever forensics. done that? Forensics. Have you ever done that? Sure. Yeah. Um, all right. So speaking <laughs> of Ooh, forensics and stuff, uh, I know this. I'm JC heavy here, but uh, it's been about a week or so. JC uh, was uh, had come home, done something, taken a shower, and he was headed out. And he and he said, and you don't want to hear your kids say this, man. I can't find my wallet. Oh yeah. And I was like, what do you mean you can't find your? I've wallet? heard myself say it a few. Yeah. Times. And I'm like, we need one of those little air tag things for your wallet. Uh, yeah, and I think Bubba's idea. actually ordered one. It's already built into the wallet. Of course. 
Um, and he said, uh, he, so he starts tearing it up, right, the car, trying to figure it out. What, what's going on? Go back, back up in the house where it, everything. He's taking, you know, the clothes he took off. Is it, is it, where is it? And he says, oh, no. Uh, gosh, I went to Walmart and bought something. And, I've done that. And, and I think it might be at the Walmart. Left I'm like, are you there. kidding me? Uh, and, uh, and I had to get out anyway. I said, hey, jump in. We'll just go see. And it was a little further away than I wanted. Uh, so we get there and we walk in. It's a Walmart Supercenter. So you got your your grocery side and your your other oh, yeah. side, and you just wh- however you want to get in there. So we go. And I'm like, so where were you? And he went self checkout. So we go to the um, you know the customer service area, and and you know it's anybody like turn one tumbleweed. Uh, we go <laughs> you know going through there. Is there anybody there? You know, finally uh, a lady comes out and. And he says, "Hey, I, I left. I think I left my wallet. We're we're in the process of just trying to figure it out. Could you look?" So she looks. She goes back into the safe, and no, I'm sorry, it hadn't been turned in. So, so it's like, wah, 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 you know. And he's oh, like, yeah. "Man, where did I do with it?" So now we're really panicking. He had already put a lock on his his debit card and all that, but just the process of reordering everything oh, is terrible. a loser. Uh, good and it. so we're walking back out past the ch- uh, self checkout, and I stopped and I noticed that there was a, there w- it wasn't a cashier, but it was almost like a workstation. Mm. And uh, so we went back to customer service, and I said, "Hey, c- is there? Could you check that workstation, maybe? Because he said he he thinks he might have left it, you know, on top of the self checkout, right there where he was scanning stuff." <clears throat> and she said, "Yes." Yeah. So she went, she and and nothing. But I got to give it to her. She said, "Wait a minute, let me let me call security." And I was like, okay. So she called security. She said, what time were you here? 11.30 a.m. What were you wearing? Well, not this. I was wearing a gray shirt, whatever. Okay, all right, hang on. It's about 20 uh-huh. seconds later. No, they said you put it in your pocket. Oh, that's and they are looking. Yeah, they're more. Oh, how about that? <laughs> and, and he's like, oh, okay, so it's not here. So, uh, no. That worked out. So we do all that, okay? Yeah. And it has a happy ending, but. And and be honest with you, got to spend a lot of good time with him. We hopped around, did some different things, ran yeah, some errands you and stuff. Been fishing or something. Yeah, like that. That'd be yeah, better, yeah, yeah. But you'll take <laughs> what you can. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But it, we were, you know, what I'm saying. Oh, no, it, I'm when kidding. you have a 20 year old, it's very rare that you oh. have them in the car and just oh, hanging yeah. out with them. Absolutely. Normally they just they have walk. to lose something. <laughs> Normally they're calling you for money or walking through the house, yeah, uh, and dropping something in the laundry room. So uh, so at least we had closure on. He didn't leave it there, but I thought it was kind of cool that. That they were able to go. Oh wait, hold on. What time? What were you wearing? And what register? Uh, what? Where were you? Which one? He says I was at that one right there. And they, and they, they cool. said, Oh no, you finished up and put it in your pocket. So I guess so. Well let, me t- let, let me take my speech back about never laying your wallet down anywhere because yeah. you didn't. Uh, so we come back. You want to know where it was? It was in his bat bag in his trunk the whole time. The whole time. The the car we left in our driveway. Yeah. It was in there when we left. Wow. Well, but you know what? We didn't know that. He, actually, he he stopped. He said, Wait a minute. <clears throat> Yeah, that her saying you put it back in your pocket triggered something, and so there you I go. Le- I left mine in Walmart one time, and you know these things never work out like you say. You usually have to go through a lot like that. And I called, <clears> and I'm thinking, there's no way. I said, by the way, did somebody have to turn the wallet in? They said, what's the name on it? I told him she'd come back. I said, yeah. I said, thank you so much for that because <laughs> I just knew I was like, yeah. I, was, I was like you. I said, well, I'm gonna start here and work my way back. Yeah. And they actually had it. So. That's, that's good. I, about on the way there, I said, you know, son, I think God's going to show you favor again. He goes, he's been showing me a lot of favor lately. I said, well, I think he's going to do it again. And when she said, no, nah, I don't think it's not here, I was like, what, something's going on here. What What is it? And when they looked at that camera and said he put it back in his wallet, at that point we knew, okay, I didn't lose it. I've just misplaced it. Yeah. And there was a sense of, you know, at least I don't have to reorder. Bag. And then it was in the back bag. Oh, I know where it is. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I tend to second-guess dinners with friends because they're often interrupted by diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or oily stools. It turns out I have EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which means I'm missing the enzymes needed to digest food. My doctor prescribed Creon Pancrelipase, an oral prescription medication that replaces pancreatic digestive enzymes. Creon treats EPI due to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, pancreatectomy, or other conditions. Creon may increase your chance of fibrosing colonopathy, a rare bowel disorder. Tell your doctor if you have a history of intestinal blockage or scarring or thickening of your bowel wall. If you're allergic to pork or if you have gout, kidney problems, or worsening of painful swollen joints, call your doctor if you have any unusual 
unusual or severe gastrointestinal symptoms or allergic reactions. Take Creon as directed by your doctor and always with food. Do not chew capsules as this may cause mouth irritation. Other side effects may include blood sugar changes, gas, dizziness, sore throat, and cough. These are not all the side effects of Creon. Creon is the number one prescribed EPI treatment. Ask your doctor about Creon for EPI and visit Creon.com or call 800-633-9110 to learn more. That's C-R-E-O-N.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Angie's List is now Angie, your home for everything home. With Angie, you could cross your next project off your to-do list before this ad is over. Just tell us what you need and we'll handle the rest. Sending a top pro to get it done. Or browse reviews, compare quotes from pros, and connect instantly. All for free. For everything from routine maintenance to a dream remodel. Because however you want your project done, we'll get it done. Download the app or go to Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com to get started. Uh, let's plan on having concessions over there. Mike is remodeling the old family drive-in movie theater. Hey, go find Gavin. Tell him the sound team is here. He'll need a new front of house cast and behind the scenes crew. Hey, can we talk staffing real quick? I'm thinking at least six per shift. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Paid for by Christian Care Ministry. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into, and that's MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month, and that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century, and members have shared more than $3 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want to plan you're happy with, you can call right now and get a price within two minutes. A very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 855-51-BIBLE. That's 855-51-BIBLE. 855-51-BIBLE. Guys, anyone listening tired of those bald spots? Did you know two out of three guys experience hair loss before they're 35? Do you really want to gamble with your hair? Well, you can flip the odds in your favor and save your hair with our friends at Keeps. Keeps has clinically proven FDA-approved hair treatments available online. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or take care of the hair you have, your Keeps physician will help you select the right products and develop a personalized hair-saving routine that works for you. It's easy with no waiting rooms or pharmacy visits. Keeps is delivered straight to your door at about half the cost, too, guys. And if you have questions, you can message your Keeps doctor 24-7. So, guys, if those balding jokes are wearing thin, join thousands of other guys who saved their hair. Visit Keeps.com slash Bubba for 50% off your first order. That's Keeps.com slash Bubba, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Bubba. Terry was away for the weekend for her daughter's wedding. The morning of the big day, she got a call from Simply Safe's 24-7 Professional Monitoring Center. Simply Safe had detected water in her basement just moments after the leak started. In moments like this, time is critical because even an inch of flooding can cause more than $25,000 in damages. After talking to Simply Safe, Terry called her neighbor, who quickly turned the water off before the flooding got bad. Protecting against floods is just one of the reasons more than 4 million people trust their home protection to Simply Safe. With a comprehensive Simply Safe system and 24 7 professional monitoring, you can have someone always looking out for you. Plans cost under $1 a day with no long term contracts or hidden fees ever. You can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafebubba.com. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring at simplysafebubba.com.
Nine minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show. 866-WE-BE-BIG, our number. Uh, we are all in studio today, uh, and uh, you might recognize that from the popping, but we are here. And uh, the popping was a, a conversation on the golf course yesterday. See, again, I, I gra- it? the greatest uh, listening audience and viewing audience in the world, uh, we think the Rick and Bubba Army is that. Uh, they don't miss a thing. Not a thing. And so they... They uh they have fun with the uh, I heard popping jokes and I heard uh topaz jokes. Oh yeah, that's yesterday. got out of hand. A lot I'm, of that. We're going to have to call that. Well, one guy said, "Hey, you know what you need? Uh, you, you need any help with reading this putt?" And and uh and you know, yeah, you know it was good. like uh, and he said, "Well, I tell you what you need is a little bit of topaz." Okay, that's you know, I thought like that it. was pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. You need that good. new instructional deal they've come up with. <laughs> topaz. Topaz. <laughs> I need yeah, a bit of topaz. They're my confusion. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's all about delivery and i'm done with it whether you deliver it well or not right but but like i'd like it from someone Definitely. that can deliver it well like once a month you can't just throw the word topa it's gotta it's gotta it's gotta, it's gotta make it's, sense yeah it's gotta make mm-hmm. it you gotta yeah. be set up and we're not helping with that because we're we've not. completely changed it we mm-hmm. from the original right ordeal yeah. you don't know no not at all don't know at all um i, I if i could just give um you know, we golf's been a hot topic here, and 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 I apologize for that, but it was really more just stories about being out there. Yeah, but golf. but but like a straight up story. Um, I'm this playing new, next year. This new um, Saudi Arabia uh, league or whatever that the PGA is battling with that the Greg, Greg, Norman's Greg Norman there. is uh, has yeah. a big Shark. part about two time major champion Greg Norman. Uh, I don't well, know if he. I don't know if this is. Down, I don't know if this is the quote that you want to put out. Uh, in reference to uh, the new Saudi-backed golf league uh, being criticized because of um, Saudi Arabia's human rights abuse and all this kind of stuff oh, yeah. uh, going on, uh, he says, and I quote, um, "Every we've all made mistakes downplaying the killing of the journalists so while promoting the Saudi-backed beheaded, golf league. Yeah. When they beheaded the journalists. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everybody's owned up to it, right? Norman said. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's been spoken so. about from what I've read, uh, going on what you guys report, take ownership, no matter what it is. Look, we've all made mistakes and you just want to learn from those mistakes <laughs> and, uh, and how you correct them going forward. I don't know. I mean, we, <laughs> it's going to be I, tough I, I to make it apply to that situation. You know, maybe, maybe you can say that if you've, you know, gotten in trouble doing something yeah. that, you know, you probably shouldn't have, but nobody's dead. Yeah, uh, nobody's hurt. Beheading someone usually doesn't fall into Yeah, that. I don't know oh, if that's man, the way. Oh, man, you know what? Now I've learned from that mistake. We're going to do that again. Right, right. Because didn't know. they trace it all the way up to the royal family or whatever they're called over there? Yeah, yeah. That, what I, that's what I had read. I don't know what they call them. <laughs> um, it say, he says, we're, um, they're not my bosses, talking about Saudi Arabia. We're independent. I don't answer to Saudi Arabia. He just Arabia. said they're not the boss of me. Is yeah, he pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. He goes, I don't have to uh, to answer to Mohammed bin Salam uh, al Saud, whatever. Uh, he yeah, said, he uh, I answer to my board of directors. Uh, and so he's trying to. And but I just. Make a lot of money. But, but the quote everybody's using Everybody. is, we've all made mistakes. Yeah, that's. Uh, Probably not what you want to say. Uh, if he was trying to clear up the controversy between this <laughs> new league and uh, that's. He didn't do any good. Not at all. Not at all. Maybe when he tried again. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, somebody said, hey, is that what you that you came up with that? Yeah. That we all make mistakes. That's what you're going with? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I, I, I think in a response, it was expected that the PGA Tour would grant waivers, but it doesn't look like they are. Um, so, to play in it. Uh, but anyway. Oh, no. I mean, Mickelson had uh, sponsors dropping him over it. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so not getting a lot of support. But that, that's the big story. Is Greg Norman? We've all made mistakes. Quote talking about the Saudi back golf. Well, okay. is it called the LIV? Is that what it's called? I think it's the LMNOP. Uh, <laughs> I think it says here that the first uh, golf invitational scheduled for June 9th through 11th at C- Centurion uh, Golf Course outside of London yeah. with a 48 man field competing for a 20 million dollar purse. Uh, the winner will get four million. Uh, and to date, it's the richest prize in golf. the The last place gets one hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah, last I mean, place just for showing up. So that's why it's it's uh, kind of attractive to some of the the guys, the professionals. But we'll see. Anyway, that's some more golf news there uh, coming out of old Greg Norman's mouth. 
We've all made mistakes. You Probably know, not want to say. Good that. job. They might <laughs> should have checked with their spokesman before he made a mistake. <laughs> one of the, the Greg, f- let, let let's let us handle the press right yeah, now. One of the fun <laughs> golf things we did yesterday is the last segment. I don't even know how it started, but I asked Greg and Rick and Adler if they could name five golfers. Okay. And it was pretty comical. <laughs> it, was, it was it was pretty comical. You um, know, I got home and I and I came up with a bunch. Of I know. Yeah. I put yeah. y'all on the spot, and that's mm-hmm. fine. And I thought y'all did a pretty good so job. Rick um, went easy. He went like I know Arnold Palmer and people like yeah. that. Oh, you were looking for currently playing, or well, did you care? I, I kind of gave him a pass and said it could be modern day or okay. or go back in the day, whatever. Yeah. But. Um, Adler Adler brought a little to the table okay. on that front too. Right. It was, it, but it was funny, it was funny yeah. to hear some of the names that were being brought up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but y'all did good. Y'all yeah, did good. yeah. Um, speaking, all, uh, just you know, yesterday on the course, we we're all busy and we we're all part of you know you know our life and, and trying to get to the end of the day and and all this kind of stuff. So it was fun to get into other people's world and and see what they got going on. Yeah. So like talking to Riley Green and and it's like so where are you headed next? Ah, uh, I think I got a concert in California tomorrow night. He was telling like, oh, Greg about really? that. Anaheim okay. maybe. Yeah. That's yeah. A, yeah. That's where. And uh, and I'm like, okay. He goes, yeah, but I'm still probably gonna play golf. And I'm like, think about that life. So if, if you got concerts at night, what do you sleep into ten or eleven? Go out, play around, you play some finish golf. up maybe four yeah. or five, yeah. shower, do all your prep stuff for the concert, and then go play. Then wake up the next day and repeat. I guess I don't know. And then you got Peavy, uh, who he's he's got like I think a twenty year old, and now has like a seven month old. Wow. So he's he's all over the road. He's busy as all. I'm surprised out. at how much he listens to the show. Yes, yeah, that, yeah. That that was fun right. to hear. And then you got Stricker out there and his wife's caddying for him, and yeah. hearing them talk yeah. just about what they have going on. It's just it was a fun day, but but listening to all that, and then of course Charles uh, Barkley, he elaborated a little bit more on his schedule. I know on air he talked about yeah. how tired he was, yeah, which was he, a very entertaining moment but uh he was getting back on a plane headed you know yeah. headed back but it's just hearing all that you go okay well everybody's busy yeah you know absolutely uh but but riley trying to to figure <laughs> out what 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 state he's in and what city is next you can kind of get how an artist might stand up on stage and say the wrong city oh yeah you know because yes. if you i would think it I all kind of mixes all up do run together yeah all right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. Uh, Rick and Bubba will join us uh, for the main show. Don't go anywhere. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Don't go anywhere. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. A little bit when HW and W came out to throw the first pitch. Gosh. Well, they didn't have anybody get a picture with him, did they? <laughs> no. No. I had to leave and go Kept take the garbage out. out. Arms, I couldn't watch. Well, uh, the, Rick, Rick, does Astros PR department, they not read the news. <laughs> I know. I, th- I was surprised by that. I how, mean, how does anybody, after the news lately, if somebody says, you know, we got HW bringing out the pitch, somebody says, eh. Let me tell you this. I think <laughs> I think baseball is get, it goes to what you just said. They're gaining ground. <laughs> They're not letting political correctness get in the right, way right. of them having an awesome World Series. And two things happened over the weekend. That was one of them that you're seeing there. The other thing was, now, who's getting the picture made with H.W. because did he grab his butt? That's Verlander. <laughs> That's Verlander. Verlander. Yeah. He said his favorite picture is David Copperfield. <laughs> 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 you notice it was him, not his girlfriend. <laughs> right. okay. and I thought they were Rangers people, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> they, they, they were. Right. Um, but I think they they're got Texans, some, Rick. Yeah, they're Texans, Rick. They're Texans, Rick. Come on. You know, and again, I got hey, a saying down in you're Texas. You're going to bring two presents back. This is, goes back to being patriotic. Yeah. We'll bring, and one of them throws a strike, g- gasses it up there, too. So, But here's another thing that happened. One's a little handy, but yeah. Um, I think his last name, I, I, I always mispronounce it, Gary L. He's the first baseman for the Astros. Right. He hits a home run either Friday or Saturday night. I don't remember which one. Off you Darvish, mm-hmm. Rick, who is sorry, of man. Asian descent. Uh-oh. Oh, and he hits, a, oh. he hits a home run, and he goes in the dugout and does this. No, he like, did not. Yes. Yeah. He did slam yeah. it out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, Almost and, and so – the, the, can't do that. In the world we live in, everybody goes nuts, okay? Political correctness police is out there. Yeah. They want him suspended for game five right. and blah, blah, blah. So Major League Baseball made a statement. They said, look, we'll suspend him. We're not doing it during the World Series. We're not taking any way of, anything away from the fans and these two teams that have made it this far 
at this point in the, so they've half suspended him for the first uh, for uh, the first five or six yeah, games yeah. For, next, for, next, for next year. year. Next year. <laughs> but hey, you know what? You're you're playing yeah. in the World Series, right, which I thought buddy. was another big statement for them to sure. say we're not letting this Absolutely. political correctness world get in the way of ruining yeah. a World oh, Series. Everybody game. went nuts. Over you, it. you know, Hams, I, mean, I almost called you because I heard that he made a racial slur. That's what they were calling it. But I didn't know what he did. It was a did. racial slant, I, I guess. I, did, yeah, I didn't know what okay. – I almost called you to say, <laughs> what did he do? Because I didn't see it. Yeah. So that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. hits it off an Asian pitcher and then does the eyes and the dugout. Yeah. And sure. it was real quick. I mean, Yeah, it was, it was just – I mean, you know, <laughs> Who would have thought to do that? <laughs> you know that guy. I know. <laughs> they, uh, and by you, the way, you, you're causing a lot of heartache for me now, too, because and Sherry got confused by it. We went on a little date after the – Ball game Saturday night. Well, undoubtedly, every time Gaddis bats now, the audience <laughs> yeah, they yeah, start putting okay, out that, that I'm batting. Yeah. And so we're sitting there, and Austin Shear's like, "What do you mean? What do you mean you got hit by a pitch?" I said, "Undoubtedly, Gaddis has been hit by a pitch <laughs> because they start out, uh, yeah. hey, uh, Big Papa got hit by a pitch. Mm-hmm. The, the beard's batting." Had a chance to win the ball game last night, Rick, and I thought you were going to pull it off. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I just started. Yep. Is that when I got, who got hit? Did I get hit in the hand or something? No, that was McCann. See, there were so many things that yeah, happened. Yeah, McCann, yeah. Going guys, on, McCann Rick. hits a homer in the eighth mm-hmm. and then in the tenth he's up and hammers one about 400 feet that would have been a walk-off but it was foul by about 10 foot mm-hmm. i mean it was ridiculous how hard he hit that ball then he got hit in the hand okay springer walks and then bregman got the game winner right. so hey a lot of fun can't what? believe i stayed up and i'll pay for it later today but, <laughs> yeah. but i'm telling you that was exciting right so anyway so the nfl's headed in one direction major league baseball heading in a more positive direction and having a great series. Uh, it is called The Daniel Dilemma. It is a book. Uh, the timing is perfect. Uh, a friend of the program and, um, and of course, um, pastor of Church of the Highlands, uh, Chris Hodges, now joins us, who has written the book The Daniel Dilemma. Chris, welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you so much. Thrilled to be here. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. We've known you off the air for a number of years, and now here it is. Worlds, yeah. worlds collide. I love it. Worlds, <laughs> worlds collide. Uh, this is great. Uh, the Daniel Dilemma, I know you're excited about this book. We were talking about it. If you don't know the story of Daniel, it is an important story, no matter what the situation, one of the heroes of the Bible. But um, Daniel was a, uh, a young man who was taken into Babylon and uh, was put in the dilemma of how do I live in Babylon and not compromise God all at the same time. Uh, sound familiar? Yeah. Uh, as uh, you know, this was it's kind of a problem. I think a lot of us as Americans and members of the American church, I think we thought this is a, this is a problem for the rest of the world. It's not really a problem for Americans, but uh, boy, that is changing. Uh, that you know, the, the American church is is facing persecution really for the first time in its history. I, I realize it's not like you know, no one's cutting anybody's head off today if you go to church, but but we're not to that place. But but the times they are changing, even for the American church. Yeah, and so what's happened is uh, ch- the church is responding one of two different ways. So they're either becoming so dogmatic, defensive, you know, kind of lock themselves behind their fort until Jesus comes back kind of position. And, and no one in culture and no one in the world is being touched or reached in this time. Or, man, there's a whole generation of Christians setting the Bible aside in the name of love. I know. Mm-hmm. Actually thinking they love people more than God does. Right. Um, to in, in, in an effort, I think sometimes in an innocent effort to, to win people to Jesus, but it's misguided. That's not, it's not the right way either. So most people think that you have, you have a choice. It's either, it's either truth or grace, but you can't put them together. And the beautiful thing about, you know, Jesus is he, the Bible says in John chapter one, he came into the world full of both truth and grace. He, he brought a perfect balance between the two. Yeah. Well, you say in the book, and, and I've, I've heard this before, but you actually unpack it, which is great. You know, many times people say, well, you know, you, you can't have love without grace. And then there's people who say, well, you can't have, you know, uh, truth without love. And, 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 it's, and it's true. Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Six minutes Day past the hour of the brother. Rick and Bubba show. 866, we be big is the number. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we start a brand new hour, and we start it with our national anthem.
Eight minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. We're back in the No Name studio. Uh, we'll recap yesterday on location, and, uh, you know, there's always things that you heard, things you didn't hear. Uh, the documentation of it all, some of it out there, more to come uh, on uh, the YouTube channel. And uh, so we'll, we'll discuss all that today. Uh, we'll look back and we'll look ahead. Uh, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy of giving you a kickoff hour. Eddie Van Adler is in the mix. He's ready to go. Welcome back to the Tubers watching live. Glad to have you back uh, in the saddle. Hopefully you found another way to catch the show live yesterday or you just uh, are going to rock the archives, whatever. Uh, we're glad you're here. So uh, let's uh, get the whole team on the field uh, by bringing in uh, the pride of Cedar Springs, Alabama. Most of you know him better as the silver tongue one. The man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere. Welcome in to another edition of Rick and Booba. And let's go. Steve walks down, down the street with a ripple way down low. Somebody say, and enough. Another one bites of this. Uh, so I love that one. Oh, Greg, that was. I, I tell you one thing I love in in our high school band. Do you remember this, Greg? Oh yeah. So in our high school band, I, I've seen I've seen it since, but I'd never seen it before, at, until this one. Our high school band was the first one I ever knew that had an electric. Bass player, yeah, in the band. I mean, they, hmm. there was a guy who had to push on on things like what are the what are, uh, hand the, trucks, hand trucks with an amp, on with it. a big amp on it, and the guy would push it, and the bass player would walk with it. Oh, cool. and uh, but in the in the pep rally, he he was yeah. just set up like a band, mm -hmm. and so when they would call out the award for the week for the hardest hit, he would go do 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 do. You know, during their That's performance cool. at <laughs> halftime, you couldn't really hear him. No, but boy, he, he owned the pep he owned rally. the pep rally when they would do sunshine, sunshine. Of my love, and he would do 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 do. Oh, it was awesome! <laughs> and then when he did that, we all went nuts. <laughs> and some of us were too keeby to even know that song was from Eric Clapton I and Cream. We but, didn't know it. We just liked it. Uh, but anyway, so we'll recap uh, uh, on location yesterday: the the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, that'll be going on. We'll get some feedback from you. I, I will tell you this: I think I told you uh, when we were recapping when. Yeah, you know, we were trying to get fluids in you and all that. That um, we did try a phone segment at the very end, and it actually ran smoothly. Okay, good. Because you know we had a new setup on yeah. the road. Oh yeah, well, I, that 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 was kind of my first question. Now right. That we, you know, we're back and the dust has settled. Uh, did it, did everything work all right? Well, everything was fine except the time that we all forgot we were on the air, and yeah. Uh, yeah, and and, and, and we were all hanging out taking pictures and uh, we forgot to watch the clock. That happened. Now the sad part is for us, it was a minor. You know, deal because we finally realized that w w the break was over and we weren't there. What I didn't know is we caused a huge panic with engineer Young Scruggs and uh, and board op Davy Allen because they thought they'd lost contact with the broadcast. <laughs> And and really what and it not was, really and all it was is we just weren't there. Hey, that's me. Hey, the broadcast was still going just fine. We just didn't. We we just were. We literally were goofing off and talking to people. We right. were nowhere near. Yeah. But we we I think we thought the show was over. They were covering. <laughs> they were covering us, so we were good. Yeah, but, but yeah, but no, they I thought. Mean, but understand. Yeah. When Scruggs said you don't know the drama you caused us, we thought we'd lost the show. Right. And we well, thought we kind of had. Well you, well, you had, but but it wasn't your fault though. We, <laughs> we just decided to yeah. stop doing it. But, yeah, uh, we were done. <laughs> but anyway, I, I thought that I thought it went great. Now it's not good, you know, when you're getting emails of people saying the show sounds better on location than in the studio. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, I mean that, that's prob on. that's probably not what we're looking for. No, nah, probably but, not. But uh, but anyway, um, it was. So I yeah. think it, I I would say I, I wasn't bothered. 
by the headphone situation, I, I've heard everything just fine. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I got to learn to to you know the little knobs yeah. versus versus the slides. Yeah, little knobs. The, you know, big fingers, well, little knobs. Yeah, they, they don't go together real and, good. And it but, comes in there kind of hot on you. Right. Comes on in hot, and you have to you, 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 have, you yeah. have to hear everybody, then start dialing back. Yep. Yeah. Uh, because you got to give it a lot to get it started, but then you got to come on back. Yeah. This right here. To give you some issues. It will. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so, uh, but it was, but uh, but I mean, to say, hey, Rick, is that, will that work? Absolutely, it'll work. And and, if it, and it looks like it's a lot less trouble on everybody, so it will well, absolutely work. A lot less trouble on the back. I yeah, know. yeah. I can, I can, I can live with that all day long. And uh, and and had, and I thought, I thought that y'all said this in the kickoff hour, and I agree. <clears throat> Um, it usually the interviews can get really, really, really a lot of drama, a lot of anxiety, and I thought the interviews all ran smooth. You know, at one point I thought Charles, <laughs> maybe you know, bit into our Dell Murphy interview a little bit. Having if you're going to be interviewed with Charles, you're not going to get to say a whole lot, right? Yeah. But but I, but I I felt like I kept pulling Dell Murphy in enough because Dale Murphy's so kind he'll just sit there. Yeah. But but I, I thought we did get enough of Dale Murphy, considering mm-hmm. that Charles was on with him. Yeah, yeah. and, and, you, and Rick, you got to understand what, what yeah, conference yeah. we were playing. C- yeah. Considering that we've had pileups before that looked like some kind of finish oh. at Talladega, uh, where you got you got yeah. Bo Jackson standing three people back looking for a microphone. Right. Yeah, you know? right. So yeah. uh, I, I yeah, think overall it went. And it I think very I'd well. be honest with you because uh, I had heard from some folks that heard that interview and they said you could tell that they both. Had respect for each Absolutely. other, and like you, so, yeah. so it went well, you well, know, because can, you could tell that Charles was like, oh wow. Can you I know? tell you what was Ernie? Weird. What, I wanted me to tell you, hey, I know. Can I tell you what? Yeah, really, that was big. Yeah. Ernie, Ernie Johnson, that shout out that he had to get. You could tell that was something that Charles had to do. Right, that's how much everybody loved. It. But we never got to talk with but Del Murphy, and he was such a yeah. when we were kids and teenagers, Del Murphy was it. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, and so to, to have him on was great. And, and he's that, gonna be on the RBU in the future. I, I talked with him. He good, said he would love to good. do that. But anyway, I, I thought that went okay. And we got to give Bo and y'all did. We got to give him props. He probably was the key to our interviews going as smooth as they did because he decided to come about an hour early and, and go ahead and get an interview done mm-hmm. early. Yeah. yeah, he he just sat down as opposed to going to yeah. eat and then yeah. coming back later. So, right. so that, that I think right. that got us off to a, to a good start. Right. And uh, and and it was odd that really at one point of the interview a. Outstanding baseball player and outstanding <clears throat> basketball player both talked about the respect they have for football players. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I thought I yeah. thought I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it made you so proud. It, well, I did, and, and that's what I've been <laughs> saying for years. But to hear other people say that, it was it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I remember that coach coming in. He said, "See y'all tomorrow." I'm like, "Tomorrow we're gonna do this again." Yeah. Uh, so, worst so, day of his life. <laughs> he said his, his, his tribe football was the worst day of his life. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. We got more to uncover on the program today. Willa Meat is out there. Uh, I mean, there's uh, we, we got plenty. And your phone calls too. At eight six six, we be big is another edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Rolls on right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We really can balance truth and love. You don't have to compromise truth to be deemed, you know, without love. If you give someone love but it doesn't have truth, you really don't love them. But if you give people truth without love, uh, you're not being very effective. So you talk about that balance in the book, and Daniel had to deal with that. Yeah, so most people think they're mutually exclusive. Right. you got to pick one. So, again, the, this, the, I think the genius of the life of Daniel and, of course, the life of Jesus was the perfect balance between the two. The way I say it, Rick, is truth without grace is mean, <laughs> but grace without truth is meaningless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, well, put so them, you put them together, it's good yeah. medicine. You that's know, right. You, really, so that's, you know, Daniel, while he got – carted off to Babylon here I kind of feel like we've seen our home drift into a Babylon but Daniel excelled at that didn't it wasn't that he didn't have problems but he never compromised exactly and, and that's our call today really in it and that's why I call it the dilemma because I think the Christian the average person feels stuck All right not knowing what to do when when those challenges come and right. so honestly I think the church is pretty ill-equipped to handle it so most of the times they they fall pray to the culture that we're living in and so this is hopefully a playbook of sorts so that you get even the scripts what do you say when your friend comes to you with a question even the prayers to pray so we've really unpacked it pretty de- uh, deeply and I, I know there's always exceptions to this but you know the, the comments we're making about the current state of the american church are all general comments there's pockets where this is an exception 
and praise the Lord for that. But it's almost sometimes, too, the church comes across also by taking that attitude. You remember when, like, you know, they always make fun of kind of perfect suburbia and the mom who didn't want to talk about things that made everybody uncomfortable, and they just kind of get into this, you know, made-up, delusional, you know, Stepford Wives kind of look of the church going, let's don't talk about things that make us uncomfortable. Let's just keep talking about the same old things we've always talked about. And I always say this when talking with pastors. I said, you realize there's people sitting in the pew going, do y'all know what's going on out there? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. out there, our, exactly. our, our faith is being challenged every day. Out there, you know, we're no longer going out into a society that says, you know, we all pretty much believe what you believe, and some of us are more devoted to it than others, but we're all pretty much on the same page. That day's over. It's over. Yeah. And so, you know, what I do in the book is I take the first 12 chapters and help really solidify us again, once again. I mean, we've got to get our, our values, our convictions, our identity, all of that pretty solid. What's cool, too, uh, Rick, is that I actually take the outline of the book of Daniel as the chapters of the book to help us really solidify this standing firm. But but at the same time, I don't want us to stop there just, okay, I'm, I'm really solid in my belief systems. I've got my convictions. I'm not going to bow. I think God's called us to have influence into that world uh, at the same time. I think, you know, I think, I don't, I don't think the goal is to be right. I think the goal is to be effective, you know, and so uh, hopefully it'll help some people. Well, and, and when you talk about effect, if you look at the example of Jesus, I mean, he never compromised truth. I mean, the, the conversation with the woman who was about to be stoned, and as you mentioned here, did end with go and sin no more. Exactly. But, but, he, that, but he gets st- left off if you watch on Oprah. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. back to effectiveness, he didn't lead with that. Absolutely. That's after he'd already made the comment about grace and how I offer redemption. Uh, I, too, give you, uh, you know, anyone can be forgiven, you know, it, it, when you encounter me. I change people, and if you really want that redemption, that will also mean that you'll no longer live in this scene. Absolutely. And, you know, the woman at the well, you talk about that one. Yes, he eventually brings up the fact that she's had five men that aren't her <laughs> husband, but he didn't start with that. You know, he first of all tried to to win her over. As, you know, first of all, she's shocked that he's even speaking to her. Absolutely. You know, being a Samaritan. So he's kind of breaking down some walls, and then he earns the right to say, now let's deal with what's really going on with you. I call it connecting before correcting. Right. So you definitely want to get to the correct. And, and, and I think, again, there's a whole generation of Christians that have, <laughs> that have only wanting to connect. They don't ever really want to stand true to the standard of God's word. Right. But, I mean, every story in the Bible, Zacchaeus, hey, let's go to lunch. Um, let's just, he looks at the, the thief in the tree and says, hey, let's go, let's go have a meal together. We don't know what happened at the meal time, but he came out giving away everything back to anyone he had stolen from and multiplied it. So um, we definitely want to get there. And I set that as the standard, that we don't bow. We stay true to the standard of God's word, but we're effective at the same time. And again, I think that's the genius of the life of Daniel. He lived through four different administrations in Babylon. All of them were prepared to kill him or, or, or torture him or mistreat him. And yet somehow he won them over and influenced all four administrations. And I, and I really think that's what God's called us to do. And well, they were very different administrations. <laughs> Absolutely. They were. Well, and you also found out, I think a lot of times we get in our mind that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel were the only people that were captured. Uh, they weren't. And uh, you also know that other people decided. <laughs> 21 minutes. 21 minutes past the hour. 866 we be big is our number we thank you for being with us today uh we'll go another edition of rick and bubba university the podcast today that'll come out this weekend we'll talk about ticks and uh meat allergies and all that uh so that that that, that'll be that that's come that's an appointment podcast this weekend also uh yesterday's bible study is archived caution it's a rough ride Wow. Genesis 19. Uh, It's available on our YouTube and podcast channel archive if you missed it live yesterday. Uh, So uh, know that's available, and we're working and getting out all the highlights from yesterday. We'll walk through yesterday's broadcast and pro-am on the show today as well. Oh, my goodness. What are we doing? Have we lost our lives? You know why we're doing this? This is what Del Murphy would do. The wonderful will of meat has been illuminated. It's plugged in, it's ready to spin, and it's time for you to take action. On the wonderful will of meat, of course, you'll have 
meet uh, from our friends, Harry, harryanddavid.com, if it lands on meat. 1-800-Flowers.com has uh, roses on the wheel. Cord Buddy's got a Cord Buddy. Danny Moultrie uh, and the folks at uh, Pradco have the Moultrie Mobile Delta Base Camera. Uh, we got BuzzBox Coffee. We got Blaze TV subscriptions. We got Rick and Bubba goodies out of the Rick and Bubba store. But, Bubba, not everybody's a winner. Yep. There are some potential uh, pitfalls. You could land on, hey, you could land on, can't, ain't got nothing. You ain't going to have nothing. I hope you didn't think you could have something. And then we got that. And then we've also got, uh, you know, Pippet, meaning you mean you're eaten by jaws. Pippet. And, of course, we land, could land on Henry the Horse, uh, which is a lot of fun for all, but not, not any winner for you other than just the content <laughs> of hearing from everybody's favorite horse. All right, so let's, uh, let's start in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, Christy is listening on 104.7 WZZK. Christy, welcome to the wonderful Willow Meet. Thank you. So what do you say, Speedy spinning today, so what do you say to Spinny? A speed. <laughs> spinny. Wow, what a wheel. Let it rip, Spinny. There you go. Go, Spinny, go. That could be his name for the one for Will of Meat only, though, right? <laughs> so here we go. Speedy is spinning. Around and round she goes. Let's Where see. she stops, nobody knows. Let's go, Christy. Come on, let's go. Rock and Roll City wants to, wants to give you a go. Let's see. Come on, we the oh, money here. Yeah! Moultrie, Moultrie, Moultrie. View it. Christy, do you you realize right now that you just picked up the Moultrie Mobile Delta Base camera uh, from from Moultrie, and uh, and we'll be sending that to you. Hey, Adler, just so you know, we don't hear y'all, so your mic may not be on. I, I have it up. Okay, there we go. All right, so Greg, can we get a go for Christy? Go, 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 go. Christy, congratulations, and thank you for listening to the Rick and Bubba Show. Uh, look, are you a big? Do you like to hunt? Uh, no, but my son does. And there you go. Say, you, I know you got a hunter in the family. There somewhere. you go. How about that, Mama? Thank you very much. <laughs> and y'all have a great weekend. Hey, hey, Rick, it's not Friday yet, buddy. <laughs> it is for you, but not for everybody else. <laughs> All right, so there it is. All right, so let's go to uh, uh, Andalusia, Alabama. Andalusia. Andalusia, Alabama, where you got us on 1077. And, and Jordan. All right, Jordan. Fire it in there. Is standing by. Jordan, what do you say to Speedy? Wow, what a wheel. Let it rip, Speedy. It's a reverse, a reverse run out of game <laughs> for Andalusia. <laughs> uh, here we go. Bubba, what famous comedian is from Andalusia? Andalusia is the home of Rick. A lot of people don't know. Uh, oh! Me, 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 me. Not, not world famous comedian me. <laughs> Killer B. <laughs> well, I was about to say that, and the wheel stopped. <laughs> well, we have to say that when it stops. Jordan, you won meat. You got meat, buddy. Uh, Fifty dollar gift card. Fifty dollar gift card uh, from our friends at HarryandDavid.com. Uh, we will put you on hold and uh, look for that coming to you in an email, okay? Jordan, thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, you, you can tell for the people that are listening live that, you know, people are not shouting as, as loud because yeah. they're waking people right, up. Right. Wanna... How about Drake, Jordan we can't get a go for Jordan. My goodness, you want me? Go! Go! Go, 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 go! Way to go, Jordan. To Pensacola. The home of Ted Trailer. Uh, Eric is standing by. Eric, what do you say to Speedy? Wow, what a wheel. So far, nothing but winners. Atta boy, Mojo Rick. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, he wants to say thank you for that. Sorry about that, Eric. <laughs> Look at Rock and Roll City owning it. All right, here we go. Rock and Roll City, where the beat never sleeps. <laughs> Come on. Did the guitar laugh at that? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we're good. Uh, yeah! yeah! Spencer! 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 Flip it! Boy, the wheel is on fire today. Eric, you got the, the sought-after uh, Rick and Bubba Spatchler. Uh, we're running out of them. We're th looking for a game plan, but right now they're becoming hard to get, but we got one for you. So uh, we're going to put you on hold, and that spatula will be sent to Pensacola. Get on that grill and let us see you working it, Okay. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, uh, guys. Hey, thanks, Eric. Greg, what about a go for Eric? Go! Go! Go, 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 go! Wow, wow. We go to Stacy wow. in, in Enterprise, Alabama. Stacy, what do you say to Speedy? Well, what a wheel. Let it rip, Spinny. There it oh, is. it's a stanger. Oh, he put a little anguish. Ah. Got a little anguish on it. Uh, Stacy. Yeah. yeah. Buzz box, buzz box, buzz box. Drink it. Stacy, uh, are you a subscriber for delicious buzz box coffee? I am. Oh, so you are. Okay, can you use this maybe to give someone to see if maybe they, they can try it for the sure. first time? Or just add it to your pile? Absolutely. Okay. Sure, right. that sounds good. Yeah, the, the, the most wonderful coffee the world has ever known. So uh, we'll put you on it hold. Really is. Thanks, Stacy. We appreciate you being a subscriber. We'll put you on hold. If you would like to subscribe uh, to BuzzBox Coffee, just go to the Sponsors button at rickandbubba.com. You can find it there. I think uh, also if you look at our website on your phone, you can sit down at the bottom there, and we'll send you your first pound for free too. So there you go. Stacy wins, Bubba. Nothing but winners today. Nothing. Nothing but I mean, winners. That's outstanding spinning right there, Speedy. Uh, speedy, wow. Uh, that's our way to work. Oh, wait, go Rock and Roll City. Have y'all got, have y'all got something in somewhere, the break? Somewhere Young Scruggs is going, how can that be? <laughs> so Rock and Roll City is going to continue to play for those of you that uh, have the YouTube option. Yeah, mini concert in the break. Little, Stand by. Little mini concert in the break. And they, and... <laughs> All right, we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, Greg. Ah. Check, check. There we go. Check it, check it. I am the mayor of rock and roll, rock and roll city. I am the mayor, and Greg is the sheriff of rock and roll city. Hello, Mr. Sheriff. There's only room for one sheriff in this town of Rock and Roll City. <laughs> expect us to make a stand right here surely it wants to be killed let's just all you know let's go ahead and bow to where they want us to bow but then secret we'll still be devoted to god and i think one of the things that's covered in here too is is when you're going to talk about the example of, of daniel and shadrach meshach and abednego they didn't wait to the moment to find out what they were going to do they already knew what they would do before they ever got put in that situation yeah first few chapters i get into settling your core really knowing what your core beliefs are before the dilemma before mm -hmm. the the encounter happens because it's it's coming all of our way and again, I think by and large, the average Christian is ill-equipped. We did a series on this four years ago. Uh, I thought it was just going to be yet another one of the series that we would do at our church. Man, it, get, it kept getting hit over and over and rewatched and rewatched. In fact, um, I really, really wasn't planning on writing on this until I saw that we had really struck a nerve that the average Christian that goes to church knows they have this dilemma coming in their workplace or their school or the mom who has her kids coming home from school saying, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a friend that is, and you fill in the blank, and I don't know how to handle this. And most moms don't even know how to respond back to their children or what to say and how to stand in that situation. So hopefully, again, it becomes kind of a playbook uh, how to live through these days that we live in. We'll come back. We're talking with Chris Hodges. Uh, the book's called The Daniel Dilemma. Now, we put it at rickandbubba.com. You, uh, you can get it easily there. Uh, we put a, diff a couple of different links. It's also available where, where books are sold, but we've, we've got you some links that kind of get you uh, right in where you want to be. Grab the book easy, The Daniel Dilemma by Chris Hodges, How to Stand Firm and Love Well in a Culture Full of Compromise. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Bubba, you said uh, it has been unsealed. We now know who Mueller will bring an indictment against. Is yes, that correct? Yes. As predicted, Rick, uh, Paul Manafort, uh, has arrived at the FBI headquarters to surrender to authorities. Him and Rick Gates uh, are both uh, in the initial indictment coming out of this. 
the charges being against them are being an unregistered agent for a foreign principal, false and misleading foreign agents uh, registration act statements, false statements, and seven counts of failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial accounts, um, which basically, if you want to put it under uh, a nutshell, would be conspiracy and money laundry. So there you go. And uh, the let's see what else here. Uh, there may be more coming, but that will be the initial uh, group. Now, they did say that that uh, these charges are dealing strictly with financial crimes and do not include any charges related to the broader question uh, that formed the basis of Mueller's investigation, and that is Russian involvement in the 2016 election or uh, some type of uh, connection to the Trump administration or campaign. So really we opened the door on you because of looking for this, and we found things out about you. Yep. that you can be charged with, but they, there's nothing in it that has anything to do with collusion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And most of this is uh, more paperwork issues, it looks like, than anything. But you got to get your paperwork right. Ed you is dealing it, with that. Yep, Ed's in the great state of Georgia. Yes, sir. Hey, Ed. Yes, sir. How you guys doing this morning? Hey, hey Ed. Man, I, you're doing good. You, you are truly the heartbeat of America. Thank you, Ed. Um, you tell me like it is, and I love you. Show. Thank you. Dig this. Um, recently, I was arrested for kissing a store clerk on the cheek. <laughs> well, now, oh, Ed, time Ed, turn Ed, it down. Ed, what now? What, Ed? Oh, yeah. Arrested. Now, yeah. Ed, did she ask for that kiss, or were you holding her down well, when I, you gave it to I, her? I had been trying to be real, real nice with the girl for um, several weeks. Mm-hmm. And thought things were kind of materializing a little bit, wow. and time and circumstance created the opportunity. And I, sh- but if you kiss it, It is 35 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number, and uh, we thank you for being with us. Uh, GoodRx.com slash Bubba. Trying to help you out a little bit here. Saving money, and boy, when you see the latest inflation stuff, it's just, I uh, mean, it, it, it just, wow. Every, everything the Biden administration is touching uh, there's supply and, and demand issues and problems, and this is going up, and this is going up. And I like how he says he's going, he's going, he's going to fix it, and acting like they're not the ones who caused it. But anyway, uh, you got to save money everywhere you can. What if I said savings uh, of something that a lot of us have to have, um, and up to eighty percent, and that is on all the prescription drugs. Uh, that uh, that you need and have maybe been prescribed to you by your doctor, uh, and did you know that you, you could be there could be a difference in the price of the prescriptions you need as much as a hundred dollars from one drugstore to the other, one pharmacy to the other. Uh, true. Uh, uh, now, how do I know that? Well, you use GoodRx.com/bubba. That's how you know, uh, and you can save on your prescription costs with this free service. You can instantly compare prescription prices at pharmacies in your neighborhood. And you find discounts, like I said, that could equal savings as high as 80%. Uh, So uh, make the move. Pharmacies like CVS, Kroger, Walgreens, they're all there. Uh, And uh, take the money you saved and put it toward all the other things that have gotten more expensive. Um, uh, Go to uh, go to GoodRx, Simple Smart Savings on your prescriptions, GoodRx.com slash Bubba. We also also have that link set up for you at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. All right, so looking back. Yesterday, we did the show on location uh, at Greystone Country Club, uh, the region's tradition. The Champions Tour is in Birmingham, Alabama. We've been broadcasting and participating in the Celebrity Pro-Am 20-plus years. We can say that was zero reservation. Yeah, we really don't know how many years. We don't know how many, but it's it's been a lot. And there's also been some historic moments, uh, historic interviews. Uh, it, it seems to always spawn something. Uh, and yesterday was no exception. Yeah, Rick, it, it was great. We had a great group, and uh, we have fun every year, and we had a lot of fun yesterday. Uh, Steve Stricker, who is our pro, it was a pleasure to meet him. 
uh, his wife Caddy's for him, and uh, it, it, we had a great time talking to them. And yeah, and Steve is so is such a nice guy, and he was uh, so good to help us yesterday with some golf questions, and um, we just had uh, a, a lot of fun. And uh, uh, Riley Green, of course, you yeah. know, country music star, good to spend a little time with him. I I know so so many of Riley's family members. Uh, a lot of them I went to school with, and Betty grew up next to. Um, his grandparents, so a lot of ties there. Got to meet Jake Peavy, yeah. who uh, I have admired for many years and, and was very impressed. He was a lot of fun yesterday. And how about him and Riley Green both can hit a golf ball a mile? I really? mean, they can yeah, tattoo good. it. They can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Greg, did so. you teach Riley how to play golf? I, I thought I saw Speedy drop that in. That's yeah, funny. Right, yeah, Since right. y'all always. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, might as well say that. Well, he said it yesterday. I, I didn't have anything to do with oh. that. <laughs> he was very complimentary of you, Greg, and, and what you've done for him. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm hey, sure he's yeah. embraced it. No, he really has. He's embraced he it. He thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, he thinks yeah. it is. He does. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun with that. We'd even ask him questions about how Greg helped him out along on the course. You know, oh, he, sure. he, he gives a good story. That, that, that's that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we just we had a great time. The team did good. I, I We're – I just texted Gene a minute ago, and he said the last group got off at like seven thirty last night, so he doesn't have the final numbers. But uh, our group was scoring pretty good, so we may be in the running for this thing. Well, uh, I I know we have a, a Speedy did a great job caddying as always. Well, yeah, and and concern kind of broke out. I started getting concerned because you know the last hour of of the show, uh, you and Speedy were gone, and of course that that caused its own issues right. because we all were punchy and and, <laughs> and, and, and and we were starting to get hot and it was starting you know and, and it all warmed that up a little yeah. bit yeah and I worried I worried about the heat uh, I worried about uh, you know you physically yesterday well yeah. I, I must have been looking worse than I felt because people kept asking me how do you feel no I kept and, getting it too I mean uh, people, people so. would see me and say hey have you checked on Bubba and I'm like <laughs> was it, I mean, should I be concerned well you know I was conserving Rick you know I was I was hyper stepping and right. yeah. uh, oh. you know, I kind of, I kind of went low gear there in the middle hole, so I'd have a little something for the finish, you know. Right. Yeah. And uh, but, uh, <laughs> but well, I mean, we, we, you know, we have the video, and we're well, gonna, and, and, and this is it, this but, is but, one of the one of the fun moments we had where I I listened to my caddy and let him talk me into going into a sand well, trap. Yeah. <laughs> Heels first. Yeah. It was. But uh, but what was so <laughs> funny about this to me was probably not the video. It won't be near as funny today. But we were tired yesterday, mm-hmm. and, you know, you kind of get that punch drunk, we yeah. call it. And we got to laughing at this video at home, and there was just – there was, like, different runs of it. We would really laugh real hard, and we'd stop and go do something else, and we'd come back and laugh at it again. <laughs> the first time through, we're laughing at Speedy and the sounds he's making. Yeah. yeah. Then the the next time through, it's how many times I slip and almost fall in the sand. Right. Yes. And uh, the third time was me staring at the ball because I slid into the sand trap and the ball went way up between my legs so there was no way I could hit it. And I'm still staring at it trying to figure out if there's any way to get out of this mess. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but we, we we got to laughing so hard yesterday. At one point, Betty made us quit because she was afraid we are all going to well, get choked trying to eat. The good news is whenever we're ready, we can simply watch what we're talking about. And, uh, and it's, um, l- let me tell you, it is, um, this, here's a text that I got yesterday. Okay. Guys, Bubba's in the bunker has me in tears. Please. If y'all get a chance, I think Speedy is, is, is shooting it. You got to see it. Mm-hmm. I mean, this, this is just from people that were on the course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it, uh, it's, um, well, it was one of those things where it's kind of like quicksand. You, you get in there and you can't get out. Yeah, and, and uh, the yeah. angles were well, not working was, for me. You yeah, know, yeah, it, yeah. The bunker yeah. was very soft. I'll give you that. Right. But you were coming in from a top angle, and yeah. uh, that's normally not. You always want to enter from a low angle and work your way up. And now you were you now were this high. advice today yeah, that's from the, the, that's the caddy opposite who, of what he right, told who was screaming right. heels first. Yeah, that's on me. Heels first. That's on me. Right. That's on uh, me. Are, we, so, are we ready to so, watch? You're gonna have to pot it. The audio here is critical to this to hear the nuances of this whole exchange. You may not be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get it up as loud. As I can, so you can hear. You definitely hear Speedy pretty good. So Bubba's cousin. This, this, so describe to everybody who's who's listening, not watching. So you're in the bunker. So this, you're, you're in a sand trap. Yeah, here. this is a par three, and I pulled the ball to the left a little bit, got in the trap. It is pin high. I've got to point out, but it is in the sand trap, and it's just in a really difficult place 
to try to get in and get yeah, out. Yeah, it is. It's in the high spot of the <laughs> of the uh, the bunker, and it's almost up against the lip. You can't really get your feet down into the bunker. You almost have to go one one foot high, one low. Do you step in there? What do you do? How do you get it out? So Bubba is standing above it which he should have walked in from the bottom and gotten to it. But, but I, he, I took advice to go in from, that way. Yeah, from a caddy. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and so he's trying to decide what to do. It's not a good situation. Well, no, I, can I say this, though, for the show, Blue and Speedy here, did the right thing. And yeah. hearing yeah. Speedy oh, laugh yeah, yeah. is going to be your first If you were a bash, you contented. took the bait. Yeah, right, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. So here we go. All right. Purple worm on. So, oh. I think I'd hit it. If I get in there, I'm going to just go to the Bubba, bottom. Is that the niblet? Yep. Show it to everybody. It's a giant <laughs> Is that your putter? I don't think oh, I can no. Get in there too. What are you going to do? Can you stand down in there? <laughs> like, just stand in between the. I, the... Think, I think I'm going to have a landslide when I do. Yeah, but step, step with your heel into it. <laughs> Speed. Step with your heel into it. It's on me. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. There you go. <laughs> no, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're Thanks, Steve. That's a good idea. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck. Oh, down he goes. <sighs> Lift your speed. You need some help. Oh, my God. Oh, you, you can't get up. Just stand on this side and backhand it. <laughs> Just right Lift the speed. Oh, Can somebody get all the king's horses and all the king's men? There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Wow. What about left-handed? Left-handed. Yeah. You might want to unbury some of what you buried. I can't even see the ball. There you go, right there. That's it. Like that. That's it. Dig it out. Yep. I'll go back to the one-handed. Just pick it up. And... How about that right there? <laughs> that was the best advice so far. Just pick it up. <laughs> hey, look, I'm looking for the ball, and it's by my foot. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> throwing sand there. <laughs> now can't get out. Now you can't so, get out. Bubba, <laughs> <laughs> you had to have help. Thank there you, you go. Now I'm fell. Oh, then you, you, are you drunk? Have you been? Have you been hanging out with John Daly? Thank you. It's not every day the president of JSU helps you get out of a bunker. You okay, buddy? They like to eat me alive. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Guys, I'm telling you, what is funny is Speedy laughing. <laughs> Me stumbling around. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the comments are I tweeted. Me, me trying to get out of it. I tweeted that out yesterday, and the comments are the funniest part of it. Oh, oh my goodness. We'll be back 15 minutes to the top. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, now, now I take it. I take it. She didn't see it that way. Well, I was, she was a humble sort, a humble and um, I thought maybe she needed to know that she was attractive, right? Mm-hmm. Or um, you could have just told her, yeah, <laughs> flowers. Well, oh, oh, let me tell you about flowers oh, with another store clerk. Well, wait, 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 how many store clerks have you got? <laughs> Ed, you, you're bringing a lot of them out of their shine, it sounds like. I bet you're well, banned from the mall. Just one, just one more store clerk. I, I sent flowers to with nothing flagrant or, you know, ambitious or whatever on the card. I just sent a small a little mixed arrangement to the lady, kind of brighten up her day, and during, she refused to accept them. All right, Ed. It, I normally uh, carry it. Ed, what is up with you and store clerks? I mean, uh, well, dig this with the VA hospital. Oh boy, there, there's a, there are a lot of devoted people out there. I'm a veteran, a Vietnam veteran. I'm pushing seventy. Thank you for your service. Mm-hmm. And um, there's this one lady out there that I became acquainted with, kind of on a nonchalant basis. Ed, um, Ed, do you hear the Ed, pattern? Ed, wait a minute. Now, it, now we're, we're talking about two clerks and now somebody at the VA hospital? Yeah, we're talking about oh, well, lady number three? I sent her some flowers. Okay. I sent her some flowers and um, told her I couldn't quit thinking about her. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Ed, 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 do you get a – When, when you, were you banned from the VA? 
They haven't seen it. They have the police call me up. Right. Um, wanting to know, like, I, like yep. asking me if I was some kind of perpetrator. Okay, Ed, Ed I, I think this. Predator, the, predator is the word, isn't it? Predator. Ed, I think Ed, today. Well, you've been accused by more than three women as being one. You might, not saying you are, but you might want to maybe. Maybe, maybe the technique, you need to back her down a click yeah. or two. Yeah, yeah. Ed, this stuff. Do you get a Christmas stuff. card from 1-800-Flowers.com? <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, dig, dig this stuff. A lot of the girls around here where I live, um, they'll pull up their tops and show you the beamers. Just to, uh, if, 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 if they think you'll buy them a cheeseburger or a Coca-Cola. Well, see, Ed, that's who you need to be hanging yeah. out with. They won't get you arrested. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, I think you're turning your affection the wrong direction here. And you, you are definitely fishing in the wrong I pond. Know, I have no girl that this is me at my apartment one time, not so long ago. And she walked me in there five minutes before she said, would you like oh to see my me? God. Oh, my God. Oh, You can't and that, say that. It was funny up to then. Oh, wow. Ed, oh, Rick, I want to thank Harvey Weinstein for calling in today. <laughs> You're welcome. Was <laughs> I was going to ask Ed if he knew what a rap sheet was. Guys, guys, did you <laughs> hear what he just, where he just went? At Ed. Ed. Okay. Yeah. And and I, I apologize. If it you, was good fun humor. It had to mess it up. I apologize if you were in, in some yeah, sort of no. way of hearing the show where you do not get the delay. Those of you that uh, that are delay protected, you you can say you're welcome. Rick, here's the thing. Ed, can't believe, Rick, Rick, Ed can't believe why these people are offended. Well, I'm just going to see if I can Ed, figure it out. Ed, I, and I'm going to try to talk to you from afar, but I will say. Oh, Ed, 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 and behind Ed, glass. You're right. Ed, if you just want to, I'm just trying to help here. And Greg made the point, and I think all the other guys did too. If every single person (laughs) that you think you're just being flirtatious with and and just trying to court them, they're not seeing it that way. Now, Ed, dig this. Right, Ed, Ed, (laughs) Ed, dig dig, dig this. Dig this, Ed. Whatever approach you have going right now, it must be changed. (laughs) Because because everybody – that you think, yeah, because he's presenting, it's just courting. Yeah, right. It's, it's just sweet hey, courting. You ain't believe what they thought. <laughs> She's sort of, it's sort of humble top. <laughs> I, I, wanna know, I thought I'd tear that sugar up and let her know that I people... I thought I'd tear that sugar up and let her know she was beautiful. <laughs> well, you could just tell her. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and then... Hey, dig this. And then you... Dig this. I think the flower sending, that it has to... Your approach, something's uh, wrong with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because and, and oh, you're 100%. And then there's this other yeah. end of the spectrum you keep talking about, <laughs> sadly, to the point you had to be dumped. Um He's met some strange women. Yes, he has. <laughs> he has. Yeah, no wonder he's going to the humble top. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they he just, said that. Oh, wow, what a phone call. I cannot believe that. What a phone call. You believe I got arrested? <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah, I Yes, yes, I, I do. I, I, got a pro- I uh, bet if I'm you moved to my to neighborhood, there would be a poster of you up. Yeah, Let me know right. you're now a resident. Wow. Yeah, he's on no. a list. I dig. guarantee you. I didn't know he lived in New Orleans. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> dig this, Ed. You, <laughs> you got to change your approach. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And, and you it's got a dollar back. A you bit. seem to be on one extreme Somewhere. or the other. Let's find somewhere in the middle of this. Yeah. yeah. Boy, that was funny. Good night. Yeah. Up to the yeah. end. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's one of those calls you keep on just one, just a yeah. little bit too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we were having, we were loving it. Well, but I think we found all the gold there was. <laughs> Top of the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show, 866. We be big is the number. As uh, we make our way back, recapping uh, some things I want to let you know about, though. If you have not registered your team to be the USFL Team of the Week this weekend, uh, we'll announce that on tomorrow's program. Uh, so you can go to rickandbubba.com. You can look at uh, under contests uh, and get your team entered in the teams that have, been, have already won in the first four weeks. They've really... Uh, we're getting good feedback that it's a really, really good experience. So uh, go ahead and do that. And also, uh, Helmsy last night was at Landmark Church in Montgomery. We'll talk to him about that before the show's over. I just want to uh, mention that when he's um, available, because I know that went well. But to Rich Wingo, tomorrow, Man Church, Crestview, Florida, at First Baptist Church, Crestview. Find that at rickandbubba.com. Just click on the Man Church there or go straight to themanchurch.com, look under events and get details and go out and enjoy Rich Wingo and spend some time. You'll It'll be worth your time. Rich is an outstanding friend and a great, great man of God and really unpacks the word well. So the men who will be attending will benefit. So, Bubba, we're looking at – so I, I know that there's some highlights from yesterday. So I know off the first tee, Speedy was updating and, and we had people updating us. Um, you know, I think, you know, as usual, you know, if you play as little as you play yep. uh, a game that is extremely difficult, you know, you're probably going to 
going to have some some really high highs and some really low lows. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, we ju- had all of that. We just saw one of the lows, but um, <laughs> the uh, off off the, the the first tee this year. We've had some that were more disastrous, but we've also had some that were more beautiful. Yeah, the, yeah, the, this, yeah. One, this one, this uh, one, this one leaked off to the right there a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cart yeah. cart path under a bush is that? Well, correct? It, got, it got on the other side of the cart path, but it didn't go in the ditch. It so. did get behind a tree. I actually, yeah. uh, okay. I got a shot, a still shot of you behind that tree on my story. Right, uh, and I, I, I think I put, oh, hey, yeah, this didn't right. start the way we wanted. Right, but then he bounced back on two, hit one right down the middle. Of course, nobody had, has footage of that, of course. Actually, I, I did. It's I put that out too. Yeah. Can we no, watch it? Right. Can we just it's on, watch it's it? It's on page here 12. No, to your no, point. no, you're right. <laughs> uh, but uh, we actually used Bubba's score on two. Uh, okay, he, there he you made, go. He yeah. made a 5 3. Yeah, yeah that's. Which, uh, which he got two strokes, which that means he yeah, got handicap, a par. Eagle. Handi- oh, handicap really yeah. helps. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the, so the learned. Well, you look, you look different. You look yeah. a lot like. Uh, looks like Randy Jones. Yeah. 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 So, so here, oh, here's, here we go. Here's, okay. So this, Bub. this is the second hole. This is, this is the tee shot here. This is number one. Oh, of course. And look to yeah. the, look to the uh, top right there along the tree line. That's where it's going. There's people walking. Yeah. Right. That's where mm-hmm. it's going. And yeah. I think he only hit two spectators. Right, yeah, the whole bad. day. Yeah, you only hit two this year. Yeah, one too bad. No, yeah. that ain't bad at all. all right, so. It's gonna. Yeah, I left it open there a little bit. Well, it's number one. There's Riley. Hey, right. Riley. Lucy. There's Lu- Coach Saban. Lucy from Children's Hospital had given me some good luck on that. Yeah, hole. yeah. Coach Saban, yeah. mad that we're holding, holding him up. Him up. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, already holding him if up. If you're, you know, that's one of those things. I was listening to the response. The response really tells you the whole thing. Yeah, they, yeah. they were some, you know. It, it was lukewarm. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was yeah. a little bit of. It was a, a couple of bless you hearts in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah but yeah. but so it so it, it sailed off to the right there. A little, but little that, bit. That, little you're, bit. You're, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of bit if it went all the way across the car path. I well, mean, well, it's uh, right. you know, th- th- for me though, Rick, if I find it, that's a positive. <laughs> right. I mean, there there's some holes I never found <laughs> right. it. So uh, yeah, and you know. and now you so said you like eighteen, it was just gone. So I know we're looking to try to find the uh, the one that was was it the worst the tree one. Was that the worst well, one, or I was had, the worm uh, burner that went down the cart path and people were running from it? Which yeah, one? That one was that was, a that good was one. sort of funny to me. Yeah, uh, right, right. because it was hopping and jumping. It looked like a rabbit running down <laughs> through there, and people. Yeah. Some people saw it. Some people didn't. Right. And it uh, it rolled up one lady's ankle there a little bit. There you yeah, go. The sisters a... that we see down there on that hole every year. Yeah. 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 It got uh, a scream out of one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. so, but you know, you, you have those. But, but like I, I had a couple of putts from the fringe that went in. Nobody ever has video of those. No. Yeah, never. Yeah. I no. mean, there's never any video He did make that. real one really uh, good long putt to help save uh, that hole for the team. There the, you go. The, the one that Speedy thought he had the video of, which was funny, we were we were not out of bounds, but we were close mm-hmm. up in the lady's yard. Right. And it was past where she was sitting watching. Right. So I, I told her, I said, you, you really need to get I, out and take cover. If something is, is <laughs> going on with this video, but audio I think might work. If It might paint the picture. He's in the <laughs> – yeah, coming from me. <laughs> he, he's off in the – now I'm talking about he's so far off he's in the pine straw and the trees. Okay. Okay. And he's, he's a, somebody's actually walked out from their house <clears> – <throat> And it's it's the homeowners that are helping, okay. and she's standing by the hey, car. But yard. it's not it's not uh, it's not out of bounds. It's not ob. No, it's no. not just out, just inside that. And uh, <laughs> I'm about hit the here. stake yeah. when I swing. Richard, it's Richard. I'm... Richard. Heads up. Heads up. We got Richard. Yeah, listen to this. He's he's about to hit it, then hit the tree, then it go, the ball goes into the golf cart, <laughs> and she screams. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Listen. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> Sam would be better than video, but it is. <laughs> you hear that ball hit that tree? Oh, my God! Oh, 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 hey, it was, boom, boom. In, all, in all fairness, in all fairness, <laughs> I warned her and I asked her to take cover behind you the did. cart. You did. And, and I think uh, the reason she wanted video is she said, I got to have video of Bubba hitting out of my yard. <laughs> yeah. you know? right. She got a good one. Yeah, she yeah. did. Boy, did she here. I mean, good night. Oh, I got to have, have it one more time. Yeah. 
He's, he's, he's getting over the ball now. Got to hit it just past the tree onto the green. And <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> the ball literally came yeah. through the cart, yeah. spinning yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Oh, so if we could put these in the instant replay on this board, I'd do it. <laughs> Oh gosh, we could say that. Oh my gosh. Right, so, Speedy, this, this does this does ask the question because there's a lot of cameras, a lot of video. Oh there. gosh, that's did good. anybody get any of the good shots? Okay, yeah. did, is there is there anybody that Speedy's got that holding. putt I rolled in yeah. from the fringe? Yeah. How about the time when everybody's like screaming, you know, chanting "ba ba ba ba" stuff oh, like that? Why oh, wouldn't Speedy gosh. film and all that? Yeah, uh, yeah you know, I, I, only gets a good I, I, shot. I told you, 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 look, look, you could, look, he's right here. I, I'm right down the middle. This is on my story. Well, I, let's I, hear I, it. I, right I videoed right that. Yes, too. Let's hear the audio of that. Uh, that's going to come from Adler this time. Okay, uh, okay. from the in but, the but, studio, <laughs> uh, video out from the. I uh, look good. Right. He's, he's switching over the audio <laughs> feed here. Buddy. He didn't have it. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, good boy. There's two athletes. Oh me. <laughs> I was just glad that Bo yeah, remembered that go. run that I never yeah. can find footage of. Yeah. There you go. Do it, right? Please welcome. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I'm glad. So there were some good things that happened? Yeah, there's a few things. There, there was one. Uh, yeah. Our team, I, I don't know what our final score was, but we, we were. We scored pretty well. We had to be 19, 20 under somewhere in there. <laughs> that makes me feel better because the only reports I kept getting made me call our key man insurance agent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, so let's talk about it. I mean, we've been talking about this on the show. Uh, it, it's it's crazy to watch uh, the current administration start talking to us about all the issues going on with inflation and 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 and, and what's happening. When when aren't they the one? Why don't they do do stop doing the things that keep causing this? But it's time to really start thinking about uh, the Fed, exactly what we knew. We told you this was going to happen. The Fed is realizing the dire straits of our economy. Uh, th- thanks to the loose monetary policy, apparently, uh, you know who would have thought this? And we did it again yesterday, by the way. Uh, you just can't spend trillions every year with no repercussions. Bubba, you you have talked about this as many times as I think you possibly can. It's a supply and demand situation. You can't have more money out there than you got supply. That's I mean, right. this it's, is it's this, a this, classic this, formula for inflation. This is not complicated. Eighth grade level. Uh, so uh, the Fed has been raising rates now. Uh, and plans uh, uh, to seven times this year we're going to have this happen. So uh, you're starting to see the ripple effects of the housing market. Uh, you know, buying power is diminishing. Have you considered what's going to happen if, if, if the star, stock market, uh, you know, start, if, it, if, it, if it stalls out, what's going to happen to the economy? And, you know, we see that all the markers of a recession are there too. So you might want to take um, uh, some of your uh, stock market profits now and solidify them into gold from Birch Gold. Throughout history, gold has maintained its value uh, really better than any other investment in the world. So why don't you find out how to do it? Get your information to make a decision. Here's what you need to do. Text Rick Bubba, put it together, Rick Bubba, and text that to 989-898 for a free zero obligation. Okay, It's just information kit uh, on holding gold in a tax-sheltered retirement account. Again, the message is us, Rick Bubba. Don't put Ann, just put it together. Rick Bubba, and text that to 989-898 and secure the gains you've uh, made while you can. And join the thousands of Happy Birch Gold customers with countless five-star reviews and an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. So text Rick Bubba to 989-898 and protect your future with gold.
could have heard another verse. I huh? bet you could have. It's a good one. Man. Well, I started to go with it, but is it a little early for the word, you know, that he has in the second lyric? <laughs> 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 Mama, what does it mean to say? Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Bubba, we got a lot. You know, I don't know about you, but do you always get a little angst when Moultrie's kind of keeping around? You like he's toting oh, some yeah. trivia question. It's going to turn the place upside down. Oh, wait till down. you see it. Oh, wait really? Wait till you see it. All right. Um, you know, the Dan segments are always something. They really uh, are. And, you know, some mornings we're blessed that yeah. he brings breakfast. Today was not one of those blessed That's days. That's two in a row now. <laughs> uh, you know, I keep scoring that kind of stuff. You know? Look, I'm just thankful for the ones that come, and they're so good. I, I don't want to be that guy that thinks – because he brought us a gift, I expect it every time. But right, well, you know, because that's it, not it the way. It sure to go. was good. Though. Yeah, that's that's yeah. definitely not the right attitude. No, to have, it, it? It, it is. Really, and it his is. poor wife works so hard to get it done. We yeah. should be so appreciative that we've ever got. I know. It just once would right. be nice. Sure, and you know, but we'll uh, we'll see. It, this is that thing where you know Dan started out, you know, thinking that he <laughs> should bring us something in return for lots of airtime, and and uh, and then he's kind of faded. On you know what I mean? It's it's <laughs> that time of year starting to get busy for him. Oh, it is. Right. It, hey, how about it is a fun time of year? Well, let me tell you something, and, and we do. Our, our bow season is already open in our state, and gun season's a couple of weeks away. And uh, so it's it's a fun time right now. Well, and I know this is something that probably happened, but maybe not. But in, in our state, you know, this is difficult deer hunting here. It's it's a difficult deal. Uh, we got It's good, but the terrain, everything, and, you know, the the, the thing that keeps frustrating me, I, I, may, I may call just a – just to complete, what is it? Or, we say, oh, there's a word where you say, I don't want this anymore. I can't think of it. Uh, it. Embargo? No. Um, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to ban. <laughs> I'm going to do this. There's a better word than that, but I'm going to ban. I, I'm done with everybody show me the gigantic deer in your neighborhood. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done with it. Okay, I don't see deer anything near that where we hunt. And I'm tired of seeing yeah. Okay, I understand that in neighborhoods that bucks don't they don't have any pressure they don't have any predators uh, y'all feed them they eat all sorts of protein where do they stay during the day and, and I know they're yeah. gigantic I've seen it please stop showing it to me because it's really kind of disheartening to see that people in their neighborhoods have deer they're not just a little bit better than the deer we have where we're allowed to hunt a lot better yeah. they're not even close embargo uh, no. it, did you see memorandum did you see Ryan when he came for. by our friend Ryan oh Mike, yeah oh yeah that was just another one he, he, yeah he he It is the Rick and Bubba Show, six minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba Show rolling through. We've been recapping yesterday's live broadcast. We'd love to hear your feedback, too, uh, at 866-WE-BE-BIG. A, a lot was going on during that. We're recapping more of what we didn't get to cover much of yesterday, and that was uh, Bubba actually out playing uh, in Speedy, his caddy. Uh, and um, and those of you who got to see them out there on the course, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Welcome back, uh, Bill Bussey. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for being part of the little party we call Rick and Bubba. All right, so Speedy, did you say you had some breaking uh, news? Yeah, just a little bit here. Yeah, a little, um, little breaking news? Uh, pro Steve Stricker, Bill Bubba Bussey, Randy Jones from JSU, MLB All-Star Jake Peavy, and country music star Riley Green shot 53, which came in third place How about that? in the Pro-Am on Wednesday. So, Bubba, you did win third place. Congratulations. Congratulations. So what uh, – let's see, what did that end up? Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, 53, it looks like maybe y'all might have been tied. You won a, a scorecard match uh, playoff or something mm-hmm. to get third. Mm-hmm. But, but, um, that's pretty good. That I is. think you guys finished third by yourself. And first and second had the scorecard okay. match up. Oh, match the scorecard playoff. thing. According to you the know, way that's reading. Uh huh. Look, look I, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I see the asterisk there yeah. on 52. You yeah, see who's yeah. on that winning team, Bill? Yeah, Suka. Landon Suka. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. <laughs> So Retief Goosen was the uh, pro for that uh, team, and then Doug Barron, uh, you, another you, one. You, play, they say he plays every day. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you think there's more that you could have done for the team? All they need is what two strokes. Uh, you know, we're a stroke off. You know, you, you yeah, were one stroke, one stroke they, off. Well, they first and second was fifty two. And we were 50 did, or do you think you did uh, all yeah. you could do? I mean, in the condition uh, you're in, but this, that one this stage of life, do you think that? 
There were, did you, that you did I, all you could possibly do I, for the I team. Was, I was not happy with my performance on 18, and I had two strokes there, and that, that, that hurt us. But do I, you, I don't think I've ever finished 18. That's, you, that's you, fatigue there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a tough one. I, I actually was able to capture this putt for you. Do you remember the one on two? You had a lengthy putt, and it lipped out. Do you uh, remember that? It was right there by the water. Yes, and yeah. if that goes, I'm y'all, right. yeah. But anyway, mm-hmm, yeah. sorry about that. Just to even Do you bring have that video up. Of that? Uh, I put, yeah, I put it out. It was out on the store yesterday. You could tell it li- lipped out. It just like, it hit the edge of the the hole mm. and kind of. Tuesday had a pro am too. And if you had played Tuesday, y'all to won. Uh, that was the gosh one stroke, yeah, all yeah. that. But you get third, you get third. Yeah, what's that? Look, we're proud to do that. We had a great time though. Listen, on the fun meter, we won. Yeah. Right. Not hands down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was it. Was a lot of fun. It, yeah, was. it was. I thought the whole pro- the whole broadcast went went well. The the interviews went well. There like is, I say, the, the oh, uh, is this it? Let's yeah. speak. Okay. Pot, potty that right. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Adler. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody, ooh, because it almost went in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gosh, if I'd hit that, I'd I, been I, in the I, top. Didn't, I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't that, say that was a really good role. You know what I'm talking about? I remember this, Greg. You remember this. Now, certainly, there's <clears> other coaches, <throat> I'm sure, that. that have oh, said the same it. thing. Uh, I think even uh, Paul Bear Bryant used to say this, too. But uh, it's like they're, they're talking about football at that time, mm-hmm. but it, it applies to anything. <clears throat> you know, there's going to be four to five plays that decide this thing. Yeah, but, but, right. here, but here's the problem. You don't know when they're coming. Right. That's right. So you got you got you got to play every single play like yeah. it's, like yeah. that's the one. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So I guess we ended up nineteen under. Mm-hmm. Stroke. Good putt. Oh, get the oh, hole. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. That would have won it. <laughs> there it is, bud. <laughs> There's Riley. Yeah. Everybody contributed. Mm-hmm. Dang, Everybody. Oh, gone one there stroke. You, I wish she. I wish she was eight off. Mm. Nobody would even care then. You know, <laughs> know. <laughs> right? You know, my own. Um, well, now it's a shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah. You want me to get Candy you? Candy Woody did. You want me to get you a bowl of if and buts? Candy <laughs> 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 nuts. <laughs> you know I love that. Uh, uh, sure. I'm play. Oh, Adler's got more. Uh, no, I've got a question. I'm uh, not a golf guy, so I really don't know how it works. When, like in the sand pit, um, how many times? To- like, sand how, trap. How, yeah. how, how, sand trap. Sorry, um, when Bubba's in it, it is a sand pit. How, <laughs> how how many times? To- like, how do you count that? When did hey, you, he did just you, he just picked up? He's done. He, like he, he didn't even play his par is, yeah. is is the 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 highest score you could get on any hole. Well, so tell, once you get okay. to that point, you yeah. You just, but what you he's asking up. about is like how, how the team like you literally if you have a horrible hole, you're really not involved in it. Right? No, no, right. you yeah. you basically pick up and ride that hole. Yeah. You just and get you're done. You're done. Okay. That's why he went ahead and picked that ball up. Understand. Uh, and the fact that I know, yeah, I, mean, I, I had grounded my club, my, sure. my butt. Uh, I mean, every, I was, I, I had about six rule violations there. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, first thing, it just became a, a challenge at that point to get out. Speedy, you know what? As soon as I saw that score, I could tell when Bubba turned around. You know what he was saying in his mind? Oh, good God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God! Oh, good God! <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, yeah. did Speedy do a good job caddying? Yeah, he did a great oh, job. He always does. What are you when, about? when when and, you know, when he always brings uh, gets all kind of great footage and stuff mm-hmm, like yeah. we've seen there. Well, when <laughs> when, when the um, when you guys went away, it was just us. <laughs> there he is. There's we we had there. a. Um, uh, it, 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 we, we, I know you had your fun. No, we had a, we had a whole discussion. That's good, Adler. We had, you know, because you know you, we love what your hat said on the front of it, uh-huh. but the way it fits your head. Was a little. We had that discussion. Oh, did you? Yeah, and then uh, and then <laughs> I've really come to determine y'all just don't the way I don't like the way I look. No, because no, no, everything I wear, no, y'all look, make fun. Look, of. I mean, look at everybody in here. We all got our <laughs> stuff. Just, and we just yeah, see yeah, me. I see you see me in the yeah. You weren't there to defend yourself. Yeah, you weren't there, mm-hmm. and of course that's when we're the most dangerous. Yeah, it makes yeah. it more fun. Yeah. yeah, and and you know, and there's always a discussion about your legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. Well, that's mean, a funny joke, right? Uh, I, I, all I said was, if you, if you were at a chicken restaurant, <laughs> and, be and you ordered chicken, they brought you Speedy's legs, <laughs> which is great. You'd be mad. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> well, where's the meat? <laughs>
own chicken that's good. dinner. Didn't that's I good. own Jerry, by the oh, way? Oh, I owned it because <laughs> for my boys. Speedy's wife loved it. Oh, it, my bald head and my chicken legs are the two things like my them. boys get on me about. <laughs> oh, okay. Of course, then I throw them around the house. But, sure. Uh, sure no, but I, I used to. Of course, I own it. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah try to avoid that. Now, who's, um, your, who's your caddy? Was, that was hilarious. Yeah. It really was. Yeah, but you're yeah. right. I mean, you know. No, I mean, oh, at one time somebody, you know, they asked us, you know, Rick. was Bubba doing some some work? <laughs> what? It didn't look like that. <laughs> it didn't look like that. Huh? It didn't look like he that. He has reading glasses on. Like right. I had special needs? Is that what y'all think I have? No, just like you No, might. we don't think you no, do. No, we, no, <laughs> well, we, we, well no. I don't know. I'm just Sometimes. saying it looked like that maybe, you know, this was an important opportunity. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Dang it. Yeah. Maybe you'd hope for it. All right. So I mean, it, it was. I mean, that was. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it, yesterday and today, Hams just hates this whole line of talking yeah. about. It. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, look, it just look. I just wore a goofy hat for the for the round. No, you the, know, spent about, thirty bucks on it. How about that? Really? Hey, yeah. the hat was funny. Yeah. It was hilarious. Can't get it back. <laughs> no. Already wore it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how about it's one of those hats too? You probably won't wear that often. No, ever again. Yeah, I don't know when I'll ever wear it again. But it's sure. Yeah, next year. Nah, probably not. Probably you not. Can. Not if I look special, like you said. No, I do. No, 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 no. What you're saying? Charm. That's no, what you said off air. No, I thought no. it was somebody famous. No, I had somebody. <laughs> I had somebody come by, choking back tears, and said, "Good for Bubba." That's, and, that's uh, the, wrong. The, 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 that's wrong. The, hey, how about the um, the um, so Bubba? After every year, you assess yourself. Uh, uh, like in what way? Like do you do you say I think I got another pro am in me? Oh yeah, uh, this fires me up. I, I think the remote I'm, setup I'm, went well. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, yeah. Okay. Start there. And, right. Uh, oh yeah, that was yeah, fine. I, no I, problem I, there. I got a little work to do on the golf course, no doubt. Well, I'm just talking. Do you desire to do anything? Oh yeah, to I do mean, more. I, I, I love it now. I can't. You know, it's uh, when you're trying to do all of it in one day. It's you know it gets to be a little much. Right. At points, mm-hmm. but. Uh, but I always enjoy it. We had, like I said, we had a great time. Two, yeah, con- two concerns great for me, great if time. I could just air them. Yeah, okay. um, there was one concern. By the way, Trooper, and he gets after it. He does. And he knows, hey, I, I've got a long day here, but I can't quit. It's I got to get day. I got to get going. It is very hard. And he had some doubters a few holes in. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was one was There was one, one moment yeah, when he couldn't Betty. catch his breath. That did include Betty. I was, Betty. A, I was yeah. a little concerned when he couldn't catch his breath. <laughs> right. Uh, and remember, we're not running. We're, we're riding in carts. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a <laughs> little concerned. Are you telling me you got winded riding in a cart? <laughs> yeah. Well, Rick, you got to get in and out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm like, well, Bubba, you know, that, that – uh, and then the other is when he was coming off one of the greens and someone wanted a pitcher – Met so many great people. They wanted a picture with him, and he stepped in a little bit of a hole, and Uh-oh. it and it jarred his knee. And Uh-oh. I could see, injured, I could see back. the face, and it went. It, I, well, that hurt. That hurt right there. And I thought, well, he's done. <laughs> and and it was on, that was on eight. Fall through it. And though. I'm like, man, this is a big gallery hole coming up. Listen, you can't be doing that. I'm glad it worked out. But if the story would have been Bubba had to drop out because he got hurt getting a picture made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd have been good. And I got a, I got a bone to pick with the two of you. <laughs> What'd we do? I during the kickoff hour. Put that hat on and said, hey, I bought this goofy hat. Does it look okay? And y'all looked at me and said, oh, yeah, it looks First fine. First of all, I didn't say anything negative about the hat. So you okay. can take me out of all right. All right, so you're I out. I did, but it, I really so didn't you mean lied. it. So you lied to me? No, I, I just wanted to make fun of that. How about we were friends? <laughs> <laughs> I say it really doesn't look bad. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And that's a prime example. I do like seeing them because I'm trying to get him to dart them and bring them to where we hunt. And let yeah. them go. Well, it, where they want to be out in the wild. And if we could get some of these nimrods to understand, <laughs> if we would all <laughs> let the bucks mature, we could have these kind of bucks where we actually hunt. You know, hmm. if we just wouldn't gun down everything you see, you know, that has a horn sticking out somewhere. <laughs> uh, but but anyway, um, but there's because no, because in the places where they're allowed to mature, they're actually really nice. Yeah. I mean, well, so it's it's not a genetic problem in our state. It's a it's a it's a it's a brown. It's down. That's our problem. We need to uh, you know what? Yeah. we need to pursue some of these neighborhood deer. Well, get rid of them. I will tell you this. Get them out of there. I've got some guys, and and it's bow only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They have been given permission for an area that has been suburbia, mm-hmm. but it's got its own natural area that's big, right. and it's not a lot. I mean, we're probably talking a hundred acres, maybe something like that, maybe less. Right. But they they show me the bucks they take every year. 
<laughs> and and it is unbelievable. Isn't that funny? I, I mean, Sa- it, save it, getting it, a, a membership in a club, you know, halfway across the state, wherever you live. It, it, just it, go into the backyard. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it, look, it's not just kind of better than what, what I'll see at the pharmacy. It, it's even close. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean it, it's just like you saying that, you know, uh, uh, my dear are Vanderbilt and everybody in the neighborhood's got Alabama. <laughs> you know it. Sorry, Vandy. Yeah, well, sorry. Well, it's it is. Best analogy I can come up with right now. Uh, but, but so stop showing them to me because I don't want to see deer that I can't shoot. Yeah. You know, hey, man, look at this. Where is this behind my house? Thanks, man. <laughs> but and then, then to, to just add insult. See, that ought to sell crossbows yeah. lower. How about this? To add insult to injury, I'm going out Sunday, this past Sunday morning, you know, and it got kind of crisp and just so wonderful and cold and oh, just so, yeah. so number one. And, of course, exactly where, you know, I see the pictures of all the – you know the giant bucks because you know they're they're hiding up behind Walmart <laughs> supermarket. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and all of a sudden one of them just just stretched right across the road in front of me like, "What's up?" <laughs> yep, yep. I said, "Hey, buddy, how you doing?" Kid, going nice. back to your safe spot, <laughs> sanctuary. <over there>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go over there. I'm sure the marshes will have more protein for you. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. So anyway, uh, so let's can we stop that? I mean, not just to, if you if you're gonna show me some pictures of some bucks somewhere where I can hunt, then I'll look. Not not under the treehouse in the backyard. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to say that by the swing set. <laughs> I showed y'all that one. It's unbelievable. I can't. I'm, it's like I keep going back to that neighbor saying, "Now seriously, you today's the day you can let me off the hook on that." You're kidding around, right? That deer is really not roaming, right? <laughs> The Rick and Bubba Show, 866, we be big our number. You know that music, On the Hunt by Leonard Skinner. What that means, means Danny Moultrie has returned. And uh, we'll be talking about the great outdoors with Dan Moultrie. Welcome back, Dan. How are you today, sir? morning how are you i'm good so uh, did, did you put that casserole somewhere where i can't find it <laughs> <laughs> you know what there's a lot of late hours driving back and forth yeah, yeah. now to the farm yeah. wow, wow. maybe if i can get up here i just you know what i see now maybe it was appreciated patty cooking it like was. that and so uh, i'm gonna have to go back to the to getting her to get up maybe for hey look i don't want to be i know greg appreciates yeah, it yeah i don't well, i don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, listen that's I right. did, dan and i don't want to be that guy that expects you to keep doing right. something that was obviously a, a very nice Gift and incredible, and it took a lot of effort. Now, I don't, gosh, I sure do look forward to it when I see you right. coming. I, I mean, I, I mean, I hate to bring this up. I don't think Patty lives that far from here. Does she? No. Uh, I mean, if you're at the farm, I don't know what would hurt her from dropping it by. Uh, Ashley, <laughs> she could bring Ashley, it in. Yeah, so Ashley. Ashley. She could bring it in. The uh, uh, I know you could go by. No, it's fine. And, hey, uh, hey, guys, I've got. I'm gonna come out and tell y'all. And now it's in the Black Panthers. Oh, here we wow. go. I, didn't but know what about to say. I was telling go. Bill, mm. we were shooting doves mm. last week, we whenever go. whenever it was, a week ago. Had one of the game fish guys with us. Mm-hmm. Farmer that's on there comes up and he shows me this picture of the biggest diamond back rattlesnake oh, you've ever seen. Oh my god. What? And I, and I told him I said, "Where's that? Somebody bring that in from Texas or somewhere or, or South Florida or South Georgia?" He said, "No, that was killed right here." And I said, "What?" He said, no, it's down at Auburn right now. They're doing some analysis on it. I said, you're telling me that got killed right here off the farm in what? middle Alabama. He said, absolutely. And the guy from Game and Fish goes, yeah. He said, those were stocked with gopher tor- tortoises several years ago. Never have heard that in my life, guys. Wait, wait, why would we stock diamond back rattlers? Come I don't, on, I don't for know, tortoises. but I'm, I don't want any conspiracy cover ups. Oh, now, mm. I, can't, I, I can't say anything about Black Panthers, but I'm going to tell you, I saw the picture, I saw the deal, and I asked the <laughs> farmer, I said, How did you? Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Oh. 21 minutes now past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show, uh, another Rick and Bubba University, the podcast coming out this weekend. Also, and this kind of spawned uh, from, we, we had um, somebody reach out to us about the Rick and Bubba store, and the, and, and the person was trying to figure out, you know, we certainly love the American made and, and all this. Sometimes that's harder to do than you would realize since our country's decided not to manufacture anything anymore. Uh, but what we do at rickandbubba.com with our stuff, we deal with American vendors. Uh, but, I mean, those vendors might be, you know, outsourcing stuff to wherever they can get it for a good price. So we started thinking about that, and the guy was like, well, I'll tell you what, I want, I want, to, know, I want to know what products on there are American-made. 
And like, well, I mean, you, you, uh, we, we, we have to do some research on that. But so we start thinking, is, is it even possible anymore to come up with anything that you can honestly say is, is 100% American made? And, and it does happen, but it requires a little work. But it, it spawned an idea for this T-shirt, and we just it just launched in the Rick and Bubba store, um, I believe, uh, first of the week. Uh, and it's got uh, the Rick and Bubba logo on the front, and this is uh, this is, and then on the back it says the show and this shirt is made in America, made, <laughs> made, made in the USA. <laughs> so th- if those of you that this means something to you, and you're real, real, uh, by golly, I'm committed to American only. This is this one shirt. We can tell you every single bit of it is completely made in the USA. Now it's eight dollars <laughs> more than yeah, any yeah, other t-shirt yeah, yeah. like it. Right but, now, right, now so. of course it, you know it's a. Uh, it's not worth anything because we're printing money and it no longer has value. But now this uh, this shirt and, and uh, that's the that's the logo that uh, we, uh, we that we had. we don't we're, we we kind of started a new line with that new logo that I like. It's not new, but yeah. we're, we're using it more than we did at one time. That we, like we started using that back when the show was on Turner South, and Bubba and I really like that logo. So it's it's got that on the front and then on the back the show. Me and the Rick and Bubba show and the T-shirt are both made in the USA. Yeah, trying to find a T-shirt made in the USA <laughs> is like trying to find a computer chip made in the USA. <laughs> yeah. It is. So, so, uh, so we we did we did accomplish that, and that yep. is the case. So you can uh, yep. fly those colors proudly. That's right. So if you want to get a shirt for twelve hundred bucks, go get it. <laughs> no, I'm just it's, it's not. It's not that. <laughs> it's not that it, much. Eleven fifty. It, right. It's uh, about it's about the price of the others. Uh, you know. So uh, go check it. You can you can find that at rickandbubba.com. Of course, you won't get it till this time next year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, under, it's under the store there at rickandbubba.com. So, you know, we'll, we'll continue, especially when we'll do phone calls when we come back next segment. But looking back over the broadcast yesterday, you know, I, I will say this, and I mentioned it in passing, but I want to land there for just a minute because Bubba and I even looked at some highlights today. You and I getting to interview Dale Murphy may not be a big deal to, to some people in the audience, but for us, that was a huge deal. And Greg, oh, I know it was. You too. And, and Helms, it was, Murphy, your age, do you, do you, oh, you, you remember? Oh, hero of mine. Yeah. I wore three a ton yeah, yeah, yeah. growing hero, up as a yeah, kid. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's 100%. Yeah. Exactly. Rick and I spent part of the show this morning looking at Dale Murphy highlights. Yeah, right. and, and it was yeah. so funny. Love him. I forgot how good he was. Only we could have a tell of two cities, Charles Barkley at one end of the table, Dale Murphy at the other. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I felt, because Murph showed up, you know, and he's extremely kind, and, uh, and he walked up with literally 30 seconds left in the segment. So we kind of said, hey, can you hang on through the break? It was the top of the hour break, which is uh, one minute longer than the other breaks. And he stayed there patiently, and, uh, and then we get, by the time we get to talking, Charles walks up. And uh, and you know Charles, you know if Charles has the floor, uh, and uh, but he was he was very he, you could tell he uh, brought a shout out from Ernie Johnson to Dale Murphy, yeah. you know with his ties to the Braves. So I, I hope that we did a good job of giving you enough Dale and Charles. Right. We we tried to kind of mix it as we could, but uh, that was a big moment. I mean, a, as a kid, I mean Dale Murphy and a teenager, Dale Murphy was was it. Yeah, and, oh, um, yeah. and Rick, can and, we just look at a few highlights? Well, I mean, right. no, we can't. Uh-huh. The, the, the one I love is when uh, when he hits one, and, and the announcer goes, "Oh boy, <laughs> I mean, oh boy!" So and, anyway, and a uh, d- defense too. Yeah, I mean, he caught a lot of balls. Going he, d- over. you know, he was a good right fielder. Yes, he was. He went and got some, uh, made some catches, and to be a big guy like that, yeah, uh, moving around. So we got to, we got to do that, and uh, I, and you know, I. I I, I just assumed he would be nice, but it was it was so good to meet him, and he was just so gracious, yeah, super guy, yeah. And he's going to do some more stuff with the show, so we're excited. Yeah, about I, that. We are excited about it, so we will get to unpack it even more. And, and then, Bubba, there was, the, it, and you were there. Were you there at all? Did you were were you complete? Did you ever experience the mascots at all? No, okay. no. I, I saw them out by the big USFL football, but yeah. I never uh, saw them up close. Uh, once or twice on the course, we may have passed some. So out there, mascots all be from Auburn, Big Al from Alabama, and then two uh, USFL uh, mascots, one the Philadelphia Stars. And, and the Vulcan. Uh, oh, right. that one, But the Vulcan didn't come over to us. No. But, and then the other was the Stallion from the Birmingham Stallions. Yes. Now, I, I, I don't want to pull back the curtain, but I will. In the worlds of ma- world of mascots, you know, Helmsy was an aspiring mascot. It's real hot in that costume. It if is. If the weather's up. Aspiring. Real hot. I saw Helms give probably his best oh. mascot performance ever at the Gardendale Christmas yeah. Parade several yeah. years yeah. ago as oh, a yeah. country coyote. Yeah, you know, that one for longevity, but in a spurt, I don't know that he was ever more enthusiastic than when he was the Eagle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Outside the studio. NASA. NASA yeah. Eagle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway. That was an honor, by the way. So <laughs> they, they, they do shifts. 
when they're going to be there all day. An honor. The same, Wish Elon Musk could have seen that. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the same people don't stay in the costume throughout a whole day because it's impossible. Yeah. yeah and so or they, a whole ball game. Yeah, so they do shifts, okay? <laughs> Well, what they, was that biscuit? Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the, they all came over to us. All be sat down beside me. The USFL mascots came over. There I am trying to figure out if he's what that is. Uh, you just saw that moment I told so you about. So what is the stars? Well, he finally t- uh, he didn't tell us. He signed and made movements that he's an alien. Yeah. He's an alien, but he's but the mascot really like for the stars. Is. Right, you're right. Stars well, it, it, in the it, out in the universe. It, and, it's got an alien, alien look to it. Yeah. Uh, but but the thing about it is they they came over and and like all be <laughs> sat down beside me here came over and there's only so much you can do on the radio with mascots and you know and there's a moment when it's kind of it's what it, mascot was that not, you know there's there's a time the when, yeah there's there's a time when it's kind of over there's not much else you can do I so we got shaking it so we did a lot of energy with the mascots and they left okay mm-hmm. and we we gave and we gave all we could to mascots oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah well apparently the shift changed. <laughs> And they didn't pass along. We've already been over to the Rick and Bubba show. <laughs> and I think it was, what, maybe a half hour at the most? <laughs> if that. It's yeah. like the end of yeah. one shift, the yeah. beginning of the next. Yeah. <laughs> like in, about, in less, about a half hour at the most, they all come back as if it's the first time they've come over. <laughs> Look, and, and we're like, okay, we, now we don't know what to do at all. Yeah. Now we're like, okay, oh, and here come the same mascots back again. <laughs> and uh, and they're doing exactly what they did when they came yeah. the last time. We're coming around. Uh, and we're like, yeah, around. Yeah, how do you let a mascot know that the he, that he has already been here? Uh, so and, and, and you know, and, and they you don't talk, so there's only so much you can do with them. Right. You know, watching Greg struggle with it, you know how he is with puppets anyway. Yeah. Because really, what's a mascot, Greg? It's a big it's a puppet. giant puppet. Yeah, it is. So they're talking to humans, right? right. Talking. They ain't talking. They ain't talking. So they did a good job. But oh, we they got, did a great job. We got but caught we, on we had show. our fill of mascots. Yeah. We didn't need them that quick. Yeah, right. Well, they all came back again. And, and, we, and we it's started tough up on radio. It is. It is tough. Phone calls when we come back. 866 We Be Big is the number. All 10 lines are available. We'll chat with you about that or anything you want to talk about uh, when the Rick and Bubba show continues. 866 We Be Big. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. besides seeing it and he said across my field i could see drags it looked like you had a bowling ball dragging it on a string where that big diamond Bubba, I'm so, so sorry. there you go there Bubba. you go guys Bubba, i'm so sorry i'd He'll rather, never I'd rather have a black pen <laughs> yeah they, but Bubba. and, and at I least told, you can see that Bubba, look like somebody drug a bowling yeah, ball I know. And, no. and, and i told Bubba that's why this. you need to kill every single one of them you ever see and, and i told Bubba i'm this. gonna bring we, mongooses we, we, in we were <laughs> We were there was a whole group of people and everybody. Rick was oh we love the show we love the trivia mm-hmm. questions but Black Panther couldn't be better <laughs> and, and and we started to leave and, and one of the guys got me had his daughter and came up and said hey 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 he said I want to talk to you he said what's that I I, I oh, know oh what gosh. I really did see what's what in the world what is that Dan can you see that. <laughs> Dan, I believe, I believe you, said, say, you said Black I Panther, and there's one outside. Dan, Dan. Dan. Oh my God. Look at that Black Panther. I, I, hey, I'm right in the middle of the story. It, it, that, that, oh it, it just came out of the dark. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is going on outside the window? We have a, black, we have a confirmed sight. <laughs> Damn, they're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> There's a black panther. Look at it. Strut that there. It's, it's, on, on the, it's on the prowl. It's on, I love the prowl. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> They're everywhere. I that just came out of the darkness. I know. Well, that was scary. I didn't that's, know what that was. That's the way they operate. You know, they you, come out of the you dark. You got to watch that. Now, can you confirm you just saw one? No, I would say it's either Labrador or a beaver I saw. <laughs> House cat. House and cat. Oh, no, no, it's in here. Go, go Black Panther. <laughs> 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 it's in here scratching. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you, hey, stop. you wacky bushes. <laughs> I was about to say, when it was walking off, I went, huh. Oh. <laughs>
Can't find the door. What a, what a pretty black panther. That reminds me of a gorilla that came by here one day. Well, <laughs> yeah. that black funny. panther can dance. Well, well <laughs> the thing I'm concerned about is the fact that that, uh, <laughs> you know what, that, uh, that this thing, that, that costume is somewhere in somebody's house. <laughs> <laughs> I just flashed back to Barney. Well, <laughs> so no, no, no secrets, no cover ups. Now no. we got Diamondbacks and Black Panther. That's right. You saw, you saw that Black Panther just as straight as you could <laughs> yeah. see it. Absolutely. That's funny. Yeah, those of you that don't have RBTV, we'll, well, you missed out. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to. Get, we already get. A, we got to get a picture with Dan with the Panther. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course, somebody yeah. bring the Panther. Unless right. the Panther's gone. Don't let the Panther. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know they're hard. To, they're hard. They to are. Well, they're corral. elusive. They're very elusive. Yeah, very elusive. So Diamondbacks and now Black Panther. How about that? There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh Dan Dan, we were <laughs> we I just sorry, I can't believe what I just saw. I know. We um <laughs> have to deal with that. We were talking earlier and, and I've already told everybody in our state just a minute ago. I said I don't want there to be I, I don't want there to be anybody else give show me pictures of gigantic bucks living in their suburban neighborhood. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I said I it's said I've done it. I said I want to see pictures in places I can hunt and if I, I don't want to see you know, because what we're seeing though, and, and I guess it happens in a lot mm-hmm. in our state's really been working to get back. That in this state, if we would just we manage won't. and follow the things we're trying to do, I, I've seen the 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 level of bucks we could see because you know why everybody keeps sending me pictures of them in their neighborhoods. Every one of them, Rick, that I get, just like you, hey, this is right by you and Rick's house. Oh, I know. I mean, I know. Every time, so I'm thinking, why am Rick and I not? Oh, I told Bubba this? Sunday morning, I had one just go across the street in my neighborhood, look at me like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. 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 See, I am here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because everybody feeds them along the yeah. ridge and yeah. all that, and they just they just got like they like it. So really, if they're if if we were would let them grow up. Mm-hmm. Man, that's I, all, and they're they're monsters. They're big. I, I mean, it's uh, age, nutrition, genetics. Yeah, that's yeah. the well, I, well. What this keeps showing is the gen- genetics are here. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they're here, and all they need is a little age, just a little and, age and nutrition, little food. Yeah, they're getting that. Yeah, the, so, uh, but it is getting better. Yeah, that's right. Even even where we hunt, it's better. Let's go to Andy in Birmingham, one zero four seven WZZK. Andy, go ahead. Hey guys, how are you this morning? Good, it's great. Hey, happy Halloween, and I appreciate what you've been uh, you're talking about, Trump and how it's not equal and all that. And we got our Senate race here in Alabama, and we got this one guy, Doug Jones, and he's not politicking like he's a Democrat, but people don't realize that when he gets to Washington, he's going to be right there with Nancy Pelosi and Schubert and all these other libs, and nobody... Thirty-five minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six. We be bigs. Our number. Lines are available. If you make a move now, you will get in. Here we go. Eight six six. We be big. Uh, as you're lining up to get in here, I do want to point you to CarShield.com/bubba. CarShield.com/bubba. Go there right now. Look. In life, you can count on three things, death, taxes, and the car breaking down. I uh, can't do anything about the first two for you, but I, I tell you what, we can help you uh, with the car breaking down part. Uh, you don't have to worry about it if you've got uh, your car protected under carshield.com slash Bubba. Let's face it, uh, the automobile warranty goes goes out goes away pretty quick. Uh, and uh, so if, if your automobile no longer has warranty, uh, get a protection plan from carshield.com. Uh, and uh, go there right now, slash Bubba, uh, or you can call them at 1-800-391-8888, and you can save yourself 10% by doing that. They're also linked at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. How does it work? Well, uh, you go to carshield.com slash Bubba, find a protection plan that works with you. You'll get coast-to-coast roadside assistance, rental car options, trip reimbursement at no extra cost. And then the protection plan, if, if, your, if your breakdown is covered under the plan, they will deal directly with the ASC certified mechanic of your choice, uh, and then they'll pay them directly while you have the rental car, you got trip reimbursement, and you got roadside assistance anytime. Uh, so go to rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. We'll save you 10% if you click on carshield.com slash bubba. To the phones we go, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Uh, we start... Uh, with Brian in the great state of Alabama. Brian, you got 30 seconds on the Rick and Bubba show. Go ahead. Hello. I was going to tell you, we have got a a nurse practitioner running for election 
for coroner's office, and she has posted on her webpage, Planned Parenthood isn't killing children. You're thinking of the NRA. Well, I, I guess um, if that's something that people do not like, then they would say, well, that's probably not the choice for me, and you have to be thankful that she's that open about it. That kind of helps you make your decision, doesn't it? Uh, if what you say, uh, if what you say is accurate, yeah, and uh, we we have no idea. We're just yeah. going off the call, but right. you know, for a coroner, I don't know that that's uh, probably a big uh, campaign issue anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, you know what I say. Appreciate you letting us know. Yeah, you know, and, 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 and if I disagree with that, you probably wouldn't be the person that uh, that I would go with. Uh, let's go to Amanda. Amanda, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. Thirty seconds. Go ahead. Good morning, guys. How are y'all? We're, We're doing, great. Doing great. Um, I was calling. I wanted to see. I didn't know who of the guys on the show watch Netflix or like documentaries. But there's a new documentary that's called Our Father. Um, it's about a infertility specialist in Indiana that was secretly inseminating all these women with his own. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I, I think actually... I heard about that documentary. Yes. Too. Yeah, I remember that, uh, us talking about that story. Yeah. Yes, I, I am familiar with that. What uh, in the world wow. are we thinking? Uh, well, eight, we, we've just got <laughs> we got so far off the path on things, Rick, and, and, oh and it's brought on so so many problems that we sure. couldn't even, uh, no pun intended, conceive years oh, ago. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, that's that's what made Genesis 19 so timely yesterday. Yep. yep. Uh, well, let's go. But hey, it's been that way for a long time. It has. Just you, sure has. Get off the path, you know. Of course, he'll have enough. Yeah, uh, we uh, let's go to Chris in Florida. Chris, thirty seconds. Go ahead. Biggins, how's it going? Good. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know you should put the explicit content on the uh, podcast yesterday because Speedy felt like during the kickoff hour, I thought I was he Speedy was getting off the troop ship. He was dropping so many cuss words at the guy. I thought. Uh, I, I I didn't I didn't hear it. Did, 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 I, I didn't I follow just, that exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speedy said three minor cusses yesterday during the case. Oh, three in the one hour. Three. And that's what the guy was talking about. Oh, okay. Two. Right. Uh, it was three, but but it's fine. It's a minor cuss. Yeah. And look, it's on location. We're all edgy, a little jumpy, well, having some fun. Well, yeah. Did should I go get some soap? Nah, I the fact so. that you don't remember it's more no, concerning. No, than the I fact don't remember the cuss. third one. I remember the. Se- I remember two. <laughs> I remember too because I, I remember I remember Greg's reaction. He was so proud. I was like, wow. "Is that what you're looking for?" Now nah, he's holding up. Four. It's a good influence. Greg, girl, well, Greg, I want to say it may have been four. I, the guy may have been kind by saying three. Yeah. Greg, well, you're not. You're not, not much about me. I got you up. Yeah. You got to turn your mic on, Greg. <laughs> I got it up. You oh, have to turn boy. it on. Can I tell you, I love Greg talking in there. Yeah. Right. yeah there must be a switch in there somewhere. No? Okay. Well, I hate to get and talk. Right. <laughs> Speedy got you. Well, Greg's told him four. And he's not going to miss one. I don't know about that. Uh, I think it was one of his. He's trying to give it one of his to mine. Uh, hey, let's go to You're Ke- not alone. He did join you in the party. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? That's that's blood and water. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He actually started yeah. in the break. That's the way that's hey, what it led hey, on air. And hey, I, I, I need to be That's the way to help Greg out. I know. I need yeah. to do better. You right. become the company he keeps, Speedy. That's know, important to know. know. Have you listened to the archive from yesterday yet? No, I haven't. Okay, I haven't. I probably need to. <laughs> Keith in Florida. Keith, go ahead. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, remember, you, there's a very important part in there called he lingered. I got a question for you about your golf. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Well, y'all, y'all wasn't playing the tips, were you? Were you playing the forward tees, but not the very forward tees? Uh, the pros were playing the back tees, and then the pro am group was playing the white tees, which were their next ones up. Yeah, and then like on two of the holes, same uh, the, the one. White, yeah. You know, the amateurs played at the tips with the pros, but but most were a couple of up, couple up. Mm. Uh, so, got so one or two up, depending on which yeah. Hole but it now was. there was a couple of times it was about a yeah a hundred yards difference uh, yeah. in the in the in the two, but most of them were up. Okay, uh, not all the way up. I hope we make halfway. Steve proud with our number three finish. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, let's see here we go. Let's at, go uh, twenty twenty one's a magic number. Yeah, <laughs> yep. uh, let's go to Jordan. All right, Jordan, fire it in there. Jordan, thirty seconds. Go ahead. Morning, fellas. How are we today? We're, We're good. good. I hope you're good. <laughs> All right, here's what I need. I need a Beth Moens call on Bubba hitting the tree and then huh. through the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's that one. 
Uh, well, he's coming off. He he already had some trouble in the sand trap, mm. and now he's he's getting he's inside. Uh, he's sitting there in the yard, mm. and he's gonna try to hit it out of here. Uh, you know, his Beth Moen's coming to you from the celebrity pro region's tradition, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna take. Oh, oh, good God! <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. He hit the tree, Rocky, and bounced it back to the cart. Somebody give him a timeout. Shirley in Alabama. Shirley, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Yes, good morning. I just wanted to say, a few days ago, you were talking about man charge. Mm-hmm. And one of the topics that came up is that young single men need support and help. Sure. But I want to propose another group of men who need that as well, and that is more mature men, widowers, and divorced men, heaven forbid. They need help and support as well in this area. Oh, no doubt, and we talk about that ad nauseum. Uh, I know you being female, you're probably not familiar with some of the stuff that we do, but we, we probably talk about that one more than yeah. uh, more than any. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, yesterday's message in the Wednesday Bible study comes down pretty hard on, uh, you know, the, the, the saddest thing, you know, it, it is sad. And, and speaking from experience, when you experience seeing a young man that that doesn't have any depth spiritually, uh, you know, and, and it's not an excuse. But the saddest is when you see these men that have been around, you know, they're, they're 60, 70, 80 years old, and they're spiritual infants, and it doesn't embarrass them. Uh, and, we, and we have the job that we're supposed to be mentoring and preparing uh, the next generation of men but but we're not able to teach them because we ourselves are are so spiritually immature, and uh, and you'll see like we talked about in the message yesterday is um, I, I think that that Moses makes it real real clear and wants us to see that when these men show up to to do depravity that is unspeakable, Moses makes sure that we hear loud and clear that the young and the old men were together, meaning these young men were just following with the old men. And and what they were telling them to do and what they taught them, oh, it it is. Well, at one time we would have said unfathomable. It's not right, now. It's right, it really right. sounds an awful lot of, lot of, about what goes on now. <laughs> but yeah, no. The as a matter of fact, I'll tell you this, uh, Shirley. I think that was your name. And this is good news because you know maybe we need to do something about things as opposed to always talking about problems, which is why the manchurch dot com was put together when God finally said, "You ever going to do anything about it?" Uh, probably the biggest participation we have is older men. And and, and some of the fruit we're seeing is, is really quite encouraging. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Nobody knows he's a Democrat. Well, you got to hide behind the scenes. Well, you have to look into it. You know, I was really surprised because when, you know, this first started, I thought to myself, you know, if somebody claims to be a Democrat in Alabama, that, that may not mean what it means, say, in California or in the Northeast. And, buddy, I started looking into this guy. Wow. I mean, he, he's far, far to the left. I mean, way out there on, a, on abortion and, and uh, some really major, major issues. So I, I really was surprised because there was a time, you know, you thought, well, that doesn't mean the same thing it means in more of the some of the more conservative states, but this guy is way out on the left. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I, you know, I think Doug's a good guy and he's well known. But uh, when that. you put uh, when you put when you put your name in that group, you you share a common belief, and and he's he as you said, he is very far to the left on the abortion issue and other things that. You know, I couldn't support under any circumstance. No, I, like I said, I don't know him personally, but I know what he stands for, and I reject it. I mean, I, I, I can't, I don't, I can't stand with a guy that that has that kind of view. No, I mean, and and usually in our state, I was just making the point. It, it, it I've, I haven't seen a Democrat be this openly uh, li- liberal and, and far to the left on the social issues, and and I'm telling you, Alabama better be careful because I know some people mad about the Luther thing and all that. I get it. And I certainly understand that, but I got news for you: you don't want this guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean yeah. you know, you, 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 Roy Moore may ride up in a cowboy hat and <laughs> on his horse, and that might embarrass you a little bit. But you don't want to put this guy. You don't want Alabama to send a huge far left Democrat to Washington. That that is that that would be well, bad, I think bad for the country and bad for this state. To the point of what he was saying, the the way he's running so far, you wouldn't know that. 
you wouldn't know those positions. Yeah, you unless, didn't unless, look into you, it. unless you listen to all the recordings of him when he's been. I mean, that, that, that <laughs> yeah. is that is yeah. out there. I mean, people have actually called him saying who he really is. Right. And, and if you if you don't know that, then you're just not taking time to research it. So so please do. Uh, we continue eight six six. We be big. Uh, we go to Brandon Florence W L A Y. Brandon, go ahead. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Great, right. good. Um, I was wondering if y'all had um, seen the the piece that uh, Corey Feldman it got on the internet or got had an interview where um, he was going to do a tell all book. Yeah, about. On, uh, on uh, pedophiles and stuff in Hollywood, three yeah. like three of the biggest movie stars and stuff are pedophiles and yeah. yeah. Now, now I didn't I, like, I didn't know the names, but Greg mentioned that he had uh, was going to was talking about that again. You know this all this stuff about Hollywood that's coming out now, and I don't know what three actors he's talking about. Did, did he mention that Brandon, or is that just saying he's going to? Uh, he didn't. Uh, the 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 thing that I seen, he was in hiding. He had been. Yeah, Greg, that's what uh, somebody talking. tried to hit him with a car. Yeah, and, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's what Greg was talking about. Uh, Hollywood's got its problems, but I, y'all, we all got to admit we all think Corey's nuts. Okay, so I don't know that we need him to be the source of all that. Right. Well, I, can I can I just pull? I have to pull that. I was telling Bubba a minute ago. I don't, and I don't know the truth on that. Well. I wouldn't be surprised by it, right? And you know, it's a lot but of, you saw his musical right, performance. Right, it's right. hard to put him up there as a as a, a witness. No for question. But I know that some of these stars that were boys when they first started said that have yeah, have, have, yeah. have said the same thing. And then I'm looking today. So now, Kevin Spacey. You know, the whole deal we had with that, where we now somebody claims that when they were 14, that when and Spacey was 26, you know, some horrible things went on and. But what's what's getting me about all this with the Weinstein and and now Spacey and these allegations over here? Ha, have we have we looked at the smut that Hollywood puts out? Is anybody surprised? And suddenly yeah. they're they're acting aghast <laughs> that th- these kind of creeps exist in Hollywood, like like House of Cards. I mean, w- I really wanted to watch the show because I thought it would be an interesting show, and it's so nasty and smutty. We we stopped watching it. So now suddenly House of Cards taking high road. Well, right. you know what? Yeah. Now we didn't know Kevin Spacey, but but, but what about what what, what <laughs> Boy, about in that series now? What yeah. about this? But what what about the things you perpetuate oh on gosh. the screen all the time? Yeah. Now suddenly you're taking the high road. You know, suddenly you're making a moral decision that the something said about Kevin Spacey when he was 26, but we don't even know if it really happened or not. He's saying he thinks it might have, so we're canceling the show. But now the things that we've been showing you in the show that also deal with this issue, the the horrible things we put on the screen, now that doesn't bother us at all. But if Kevin Spacey at some time was actually, you know, and and, and we really, is anybody shocked when you look at the, the, like Bubba Bubba talked about when we were, we've had people on the show from Hollywood say, look, it's the darkest, most wicked evil place and suddenly we're like man i can't believe these these creeps that exist in hollywood (laughs) uh and what look at the stuff they put out look at what they do how does this surprise anyone i mean it it would be like you you know finding out you know that you you know you're sitting there you know what i I just didn't know this but i'm i've discovered that you know when i go out in the animal kingdom (laughs) that uh, man they'll just slaughter each other and and they do all kinds of things out there Ten minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba Show, thank you for being with us today. Uh, so we uh, will have, uh, we will make, uh, or a spun, sp- spun that earlier. So if you if you missed uh, earlier part of the show, will meets already happened. Uh, do want to remind you tomorrow uh, I will be out. The boys will be here, so they'll be giving you a brand new Rick and Bubba Show tomorrow. So enjoy a, a little time without me and with the guys. And uh, and pray for me as I attempt to get uh, six of us over to Startwell, Mississippi, including Mom and Dad, uh, for Big Love's graduation as he'll walk away with a Bachelor of Arts in Communication uh, from uh, Mississippi State University. Bulldogs. Uh, Bulldogs. Uh, so uh, what a what a great time we've had in Starville the last four years. More cowbells. Uh, so anyway, so that uh, so y'all enjoy that on the show tomorrow. Rick and Bubba University, the podcast will be out this weekend. We'll talk. Was it called Bubba Alpha? What? Uh, it is Alpha Gal. Alpha Alpha Gal. Uh, so that uh, has been it's becoming a concern. And is it going to be used as a biological weapon by vegans? <laughs> uh, so so anyway, so that that'll all be coming up on Rick and Bubba University, the podcast 
this weekend. Boy, the story yesterday, the headline says it all. Air traffic controller guides passenger, underline that, yeah, uh, to safe landing uh, at, the, at an airport after the pilot had a medical emergency. Can you imagine Rick. being in this situation? And the oh, guy is Rick. pretty calm. Yeah, when he calls and, in, hey, yeah, you know, I, I don't, my pilot's out. I got, I don't know mm-hmm. anything about flying airplane. Right, and uh, so, and was able to successfully land. So apparently, wow. there were wow. two passengers: the one who lands the plane, and another one. And uh, the pilot told them he wasn't feeling well, and then fell against the controls, putting the aircraft into a nosedive Not that. and oh, a sharp right. turn. Oh, We've seen right. that in movies. Hey, now, oh. you know, hey, yeah, just like a movie. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. diving to the ground. Yeah. Right. So yeah, like uh, we have actually the landing, uh, him, him coming in, uh, and um, and and uh, do, do we have audio awesome. of yeah. this? Yeah, we got yeah, all look that. Look at okay. that. All right, here it is. Here we go. So this guy has no idea what he's doing. So, I mean, we're watching him come on in, and uh, so I've never landed a plane, and, I, and I'm, I'm about to land one. I'd like to see him set it on down. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's new, Greg. We he's new now. Oh. That's I'll tell you what, that is a pretty yeah. good landing that for a first try. Is, that is something else. How about something the guy leading. talking him through it? How about when everybody walks away, it's number one. Yeah, and, uh, and the um, – That's something else, man. Uh, he, <laughs> wow. He, I love when air traffic asks him, uh, what is your position? He says, I have no idea. <laughs> he, said, he, he said, I can see the coast of Florida in front of me, and I have no idea. Speedy, that is the one thing that's not on your list. Mm-hmm. You could just land a plane, <laughs> yeah, I know. Them out, add that to all the other things you've done. Yeah, right. But you know, I, w- I was going to say that not not that, but just everybody has an idea how they'll react in in a panic situation. But you don't really know until you're. Guys, in that's it. a panic there. And you know, you have some people that go, "Oh no, nah, I'll stand up," and then when it happens, they like yeah. run away or something. Yeah. You know, they flee. Uh, this guy here, there was no other what, nobody else there but him, so he had to do it. Yeah, he's but he could have panicked and not, you know, but oh, he I stayed know. calm. Just lost it and then he stayed calm. Wow, how about that? That's amazing. Let, let me tell you, when, uh, he's he, the me monster this, of stories. And I, evidently, whoever was in the tower was pretty good at talking people. You know, through right. it. now, now the, the tower guy got got props too. Yeah, I, I want you to imagine this. So the first thing that he hears is from the pasture. I've got a serious situation here, telling the air traffic control. My pilot has gone incoherent. I have no idea how to fly the airplane. Do we have audio of any of this? And uh, I don't know what, what different makes it. a plane, how different are the control. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So not only you gotta, uh, you're flying this. Right. You know, okay, do that. Oh, that's, that was a lot that had to take mm-hmm. place. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, uh, so let's, uh, you, you, what are you saying in there, Adler? You got an, another deal there? I'm looking. I'm looking for. Oh, it. you're looking for. It. I didn't know if that was the signal of look to the screen or that. That's your signal for. I'm looking for it. Okay, okay. I'm laser eyes. I have to learn my signals. I, I, I kind of want to hear how panicked he is. You know. You would have thought I would have got it too after spending so much time on mascots yesterday. Well, <laughs> that's true, right? Uh, but but he does stay ice. I think I cold. found it. Okay. I think I found something. Check this out. Okay. Suffered a medical emergency. I've got a serious situation here. My pilot has uh, gone. The FAA saying this. Wow, man, he was very calm on that. Uh, Who's that man. news reporter? I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, what was that? Guy? I, he's actually gone incoherent. <laughs> uh, a serious situation. Here. So, but I mean, what? Hey, you know, the, I will say this, and you're right. Some people still, still fall apart. Okay, mm-hmm. but I have to say. You really have no choice now. You gotta you try it. You gotta yeah, what, what, uh, Rick, well, let's all turn it. Listen to this because, the, as you said, the air traffic controller asked him if he knows where he is. He says he has no idea, and then he tells him to maintain wings level and just try to follow the coastline, either north or south. He says we'll try to find you. In other words, they're oh, going to the radar oh then trying goodness. to run, wow. run him down. Here's some more of the guy talking. Okay. <laughs> Do. No idea how to fly the airplane. Uh, Roger, what's your position? I have no idea. I see the coast of Florida in front of me, and I have no idea. The air traffic controller carefully guiding the passenger to become the pilot. Try to hold the wings level and see if you can start uh, descending for me. Yeah, I'm up descending right now at 550 feet a minute. No. Maintain wings level and uh, just try to follow the coast either north or southbound. We're trying to locate you. 
That's what you were talking about. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Woo! Man. You're trying to locate me. What? Uh, come on, bring her on in. They rotate. <laughs> so, uh, what? what uh, now that they were down, did the pilot make it or what was wrong with yeah, him? Yeah, I think they said he's in the hospital. Yeah, but I, yeah, I think he's still in bad shape, though. Yeah, he had a little something. Heart. Really? Mm. Look at heart situation. I think he had a cardiac event. Next time I go flying with Little Lee Hubbard, I'm going to pay more attention to what, how the yeah, plane right. works. Yeah, you never probably know. ought to. Just in you case, know, yeah. Just I in mean, in case he goes incoherent. Yeah, I, I, that, that's that's the thing. I'm like, um, that's a worst case scenario right there. But you know what? You oh, got to yeah. try. That's why I like two pilots. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. So, hey, you got to try. Like a wingman. <laughs> that's right. You got to try. Backup. Always a backup. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah mm. that, that, just for that situation alone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let you be third in line. Not second. Yeah, yeah. 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 At least, I, I, I'm a much more down. comfortable third than I am second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if I'm the third guy that's got to land it, you know, then you go. Well, we didn't have much of a shot. I mean, <laughs> I mean if I don't pull it out, I go. My goodness, you're third string. Third. Yeah, two guys want, go down. What's the odds I, of that? I don't want to be second string. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, the um, but the, that's um, who, I, who you think in the, on the staff would be better off trying to land a plane? Is it Bubba or Adler? Are you in? I mean. I, I think I, I, I probably I think maybe is it have you? got closer. Uh, was doing some ground school stuff, but I think anybody could, any of this group could do it, just because they're so dang tough. I don't yeah. think anybody in here is coachable enough on something like really? that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Even, well, I get coachable yeah. in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Yes, maybe, maybe. You know maybe what I'm saying? Because yeah, I go look, maybe, but you're going to tell me case. every move to yeah, make. I'm you, dialed in. But you'll hey, you're paying attention now. I know. Somebody's telling hey, I know you. what you're worried about for me. It's on you. Listen to this. You'll uh, push a button, it, Rick, it, before they tell you yeah, to do yeah. it. That <laughs> is a fact. Hey, hey, this is what you're. Oh wait, don't do that. This is what you're afraid of for me. Uh, I got it. <laughs> Rick, 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 I think I, I think I can do this. Hey, yeah. now, it's, it's uh, Mr. Burgess, have you ever flown a plane? From? No, I've wrote, ridden in a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> hey, Rick, Rick just, Rick just dumped the fuel. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Burgess, again. Hey, guys, just stand by. I got it. Yeah. You see that knob right yeah. there? Just don't touch it. Oh, I just did. You mean that? Oh, uh, I got a green light flashing. That lever next to it. I just pulled that. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. You got a button here flash. Don't know what it's about. Uh, Mr. Burgess, we covered this with you just about a few minutes ago. Were you listening? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's all the flashing over here? We, we just talked about that. <laughs> That's it. They'd be like, please hold your altitude. And Greg'd be like, What's wrong with your voice? <laughs> <laughs> you sound goofy. Yeah. <laughs> That's, so That's so true. Uh, I bet you can't take me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then Speedy be cussing. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't say uh, that. Filthy mouth. Right. Uh, if I knew Greg was with me, I would. <laughs> 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 top of the hour. If you're leaving us, enjoy the day. If you got more, Rick and Bubba, we'll do a top of the hour break. Lord willing, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. They're, they act like animals. Yeah. How, did you not know that animals do oh. animal things? That's I mean, the name. Yeah. So somebody's saying, are you surprised all this stuff funny about Hollywood? No. I'm not surprised by any of it because I see what they perpetuate all the time. Yeah. They're in any. Oh, stress, 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 stress. Uh, when you're trying to buy or sell a home, one of the most stressful things you can do. It, it can be 10 times worse. What? If you're not working with the right agent, you don't want that. Hey, what can make this worse? Uh, not have the right agent. That's what can make that worse. So uh, what if I could be the guy, and, and, and all, of, all of us here on the show walked in and said, hey, if you're buying and selling a home, we know who you need to call. Would you, would you love that? Well, uh, your home is, you know, if you, generally speaking, the, the biggest investment you got. So that's a lot of responsibility. And you need an agent that, uh, you know, is going to take this situation, buying or selling, what, seriously? You want somebody you can trust, which is why we just simply call it real estate agents I can trust. Uh, it, it's, to, it's to the point. Uh, look, we're going to work with only the best agents in every market all across Rick and Bubba land. Uh, the homework's been done. Every agent's been vetted. Uh, they're not, no, we're not just going to let anybody join this network. And, uh, and you're only going to find full-time agents. Now, if somebody does this on the side, they're not going to be in the network. Okay, and they're, I mean, that's just, we're just not going to do that. Not going to have any part-time, part-time or inexperienced agents. So uh, here's what happens. When you go to real estate agents I trust, so, so our team is going to say, look, we'll go ahead and make the introduction. 
We'll be with you through the whole process of buying and selling. Make sure you're satisfied satisfied with the agent. Of course, they've been vetted out, so you're going to love them. And uh, and they have long track records. They're the best sellers in their field, and and practically every market. So no matter where you are, go to a real estate agents I trust, and and we can hook you up. Uh, they're all part of the audience. They share the values that you hear every day here on the program. And like I said, they're almost anywhere you go. Uh, so go to realestateagentsitrust.com. Uh, need some basic info, okay? Our team then will contact you, make the introduction to the preferred agent in your town, and let's take this stressful process and let's do it right. goes uh chaos you know society they put smut out they live in in, in, in just total debauchery and suddenly we're fun- it's funny to watch them try to figure out what lines they want to draw well we got to draw the line there <laughs> well, i tell you harvey weinstein we got to draw the line right there <laughs> kevin spacey we got to get this show off the air <laughs> and and these are horrible things but when so this is what finally woke you up and you know they're all admitting too. They knew these people were creeps, right. Yeah, right? And and so they really don't even say anything about it till they now their own political correctness right. catches them in their own trap, right? And they're like, well, we right suddenly suddenly we're going to be above the fray. Suddenly we're suddenly we're high road, right? Uh, it's ridiculous. Eight six six, we be big. We continue. Let's go to Josh in Huntsville. Josh, go ahead. Good morning, gentlemen. How are y'all? Good. Good. Hey, long time listener. I've been listening to you guys. I used to listen to you guys on the way to ho- on the way to school. Thank you so much. And uh, oh. and when we would uh, <laughs> when I was in Afghanistan, if we had the internet connection, we were streaming y'all in the park, listening. Thank you. Listening to y'all eleven and a half hours ahead. But <laughs> with what you with what you guys said about Trump, you know, I got to tell you, from being under in Afghanistan under the current administration, it's really really hard to be a soldier when your hands are tied and you can't do your job because of what's going on back home. And the biggest reason, you know, being a leader in the National Guard and having deployed, I can't tell you how excited we are about having Trump because this is the guy who's actually going to let us do our jobs. Yeah, well, that's and kind of the, we, the yeah. That's what do the, our jobs it saves lives. That's that's the response I have been getting from military folks uh, of all all races. Uh, all backgrounds that they that there is a new excitement and uh, lift in the morale since Trump has been in, yeah. and they love the fact that they're calling Kim Jong Un Rocket Man, yeah, and I, calling him out on all these stunts he's doing. Yeah, I'm sure there's exceptions, but yeah. unlike oh, you, yeah. In, yeah. in general, that's Overall. kind of what I've been hearing too. As we make our way back, all right. So we talked a, a little bit um, in the last segment about the NFL and uh, ESPN and, and some of the things that are, that are going on during this bizarre time. First of all, Bubba, the ratings are in on Sunday night, and Sunday night football uh, was crushed in the ratings by the World Series. Well, that's what the headline says. World yep. Series crushes Sunday night football in ratings as it becomes second highest rated game five in 14 years. And that was the big shootout game, thirteen to twelve. Yeah, yeah, and, and they're having a great World Series. Um, it's they're do, they're really cranking up the patriotism, which I think is by design. Um, it, it is kind of sad that there actually was a time that a World Series game couldn't beat a regular season Sunday night football game. That's kind of sad. Didn't think that ever happened, but uh, it is it is new, uh, and they continue to look at the ratings uh, plummeting on NFL football. And you were telling me something you had. You had heard about ESPN. Well, I tweeted out a story. It's uh, from the Hollywood Reporter, uh, James Andrew Miller, and he wrote a column that says why ESPN could abandon NFL. Six minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show, 866 We Be Big is... Our number, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here uh, as we start a brand new hour. We thank you for being with us uh, as the Rick and Bubba Show continues. 
And welcome back, fresh off uh, 18 holes in a pro am, <laughs> Bill Bubba Bus. And a third place finish. Yeah, well. <laughs> hey, if only, though. Oh, man. If only. I know. If only. Uh, mm. Rick, I uh, want to thank everybody for uh, being part of the Rick and Bubba show. And my goodness. You're welcome, uh, buddy. It's been quite a run. And. We appreciate all of you being supportive. Yeah, I am enjoying everybody providing videos and pictures uh, of uh, the pain of the aging process Mm -hmm. with all of us. Uh, One of my friends is enjoying the fact that he saw me have to put my glasses over my sunglasses to read something. That was good look. Right? Yeah, that, 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 that one. Let me, let me say that one again. That, that was look. <laughs> the, the caller, the caller called in. Somebody's been doing a little Photoshop in there. He said he wanted to know if he was hanging out with John Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's non denominational bubble. Uh, so the uh, Bush uh, <laughs> You love that one, don't you? Is that one your favorite? <laughs> the, the, the choice of non denominational. It is funny because there's there's all Always a hole yeah. that uh, that Barclays vodka uh, bunch sponsors mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. Redmont. Yeah, and uh, so they Terry all Edward. they all gave you they all give you a bottle of vodka to make a picture with. And I always tell them I can't hold it because I'm Baptist. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I make the guy that uh, brought it out there hold it or That's try funny. to. But anyway, it, that joke always just that, goes it, it slays. Yeah. Yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. The denominational humor slays. Yeah. Right. I love every bit. Even when it's on me. <laughs> yeah. And you know, with smartphones and everything, there's always uh, people that's got you know video and from different angles and we actually have another angle of you getting in the sand trap mm-hmm. uh, that <laughs> <laughs> that's so wrong look, look, in so look. many ways <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> There he goes. How about that? There he goes. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look, there Funny. goes the other one. Doing the <laughs> trying to get in. That's tough to get down there. That's it tough is. one, y'all. It is. It's tough. Tough to get uh, down. Tough to get. Look, Ray, he just going to roll. Look, <laughs> <laughs> more like He cannot deny what the laws of physics. Got, hey, got it done, That's though. Good. Got it done. Mm. All right, so, and I, I, and I hate to bring this up because I know, it, and I do, and look, I'm all about, and it'll be a different story we'll do in a minute, but. I'm I'm all about. I'm certainly in the world of. I know, uh, and Bub, don't think I'm transitioning topics because I'm not. It's going to okay. tie to this Thank topic. You. It's going to sound you. like I am. Yeah, I got you. Because it just hit me when Greg was telling me that what he just said in the break. I know that the the coronavirus and all of its different you know different strands. It's not going away. Okay, I mean you know, the, the pandemic may go away, but the the virus is you know. But but the good news is even right now it seems it seems and there's always exceptions and those are terribly sad that uh, it's it's not it's severity because of a just the the variants and we have more treatments and yes you know the, the vaccine all that uh, natural antibodies all that you know it doesn't seem like it is as disruptive to our lives meaning deadly which which I think is good, even though that I'm not saying that they'll, that they'll never be anybody. Right. And I think, but as a society, we've got to move on. Now I'm back to what we're talking about, because Greg said, you know, there's been a, a Major League Baseball game that got canceled because of cases. That, and these are just people that test positive. Doesn't mean yeah. they're and gravely sick. I think it was the coaching staff. The coaching staff or whatever. But here's the thing I'm worried about. We can't get this Maverick movie. Uh, we can't get it out. I, I'm it, begging it, it, them to roll it in the theater right just, now. Just right? hey, look, just Quick. roll it. We we can't sit here and does get, this movie bring on a new wave of COVID? If you're if every you're, time let, they try to release, it. listen. If you're waiting, maybe the, when they're trying to release it, they need to see the cycle. <laughs> yeah, but, but listen, because yeah. it does have a cycle. Yes, it does. If, if you if you're with, if you're stopping an event, if you're stopping some kind of gathering, you're stopping. You you know you're closing. Don't do that. You you got you got to move on. Most people are are, are 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 doing fine, and most people aren't affected by it. And the people who get sick, you know, go get your treatments. Go go home. Do what you got. When you feel better, go back, and uh, and let's minimize. And I think we've done that. The severity of it on people's lives, uh, and protect those like we should have done for the very beginning that are the most vulnerable. Vulnerable. Uh, and, vulnerable. Uh, yeah, vulnerable. that's a tough word for me. And vulnerable. then but we gotta vulnerable. keep we, we look uh, we're already in horrifying <laughs> shape as far as an economy. Oh and and, and, nice. we, and we're just gonna have to we we it, it the, we, that a beat? we gotta get in the mindset that we can't we don't shut down the economy during flu season. Yes. Okay. And 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 that that's the way we're gonna have to deal with this moving forward. And we've had flus that were real bad and flus that were mild and and in between and 
And uh, and this is something that has been terrible, but it's 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 with us. I mean, we're going to have to deal with it. And praise God, right now it seems like the severity of it, as far as hospitalizations and deaths, uh, is it's is been not, manageable. Has been yeah. manageable. And let's and let's that's we got to concentrate on treating, and and and, uh, and and taking care of people when they get it. This this delusion that if we all mask up and and hide in our homes, it won't get us. It's just not true. So, uh, so, so we we, we no, got really. I, I think, and I know that I should pick a more important topic that I want this movie to come out. Right, right. Yeah. Well, well, and back to to what you were saying, and you're hearing more and more talk about uh, you know immunity and T cells. We'll play you and, a clip about that and and all of that. But the the key to get to that is you have to get out and get exposed. That is correct. Now, if you're in a high risk group, you don't want to do no, that. But that, the general population, you, you be smart. The only way we ever defeat this is when everybody's toting antibodies. Yeah. And the only way you can do that is to be exposed, mm-hmm. because because the uh, right now the the vaccine it may be a help as a treatment, but it doesn't keep you from testing positive. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We got a bunch in the government that way now. Yes, yeah. coming off, you know, being positive. Yeah. And so. they couldn't if they was another booster, they'd have to give it to them in their ear. Oh, I'm telling you, know? they they've boosted themselves to death. Love mm-hmm. it. Can't have enough. So it's official now that Kelly McGillis. And Meg Ryan were not invited. That is correct. Now they have out. they have said that much uh, in different interviews, but the director of the, the new Top Gun Maverick has confirmed that the two female lead characters were never considered in this part of the sequel. Uh, he said in an interview that those stories were not stories we were throwing around. Um, he went on to say in another part of the interview, he said, I didn't want every storyline to be looking backwards. It was important to in- introduce some new characters and new storylines. Mm-hmm. Which are going to ruin it, but yeah. yeah right. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I mean. If we, you think about it, Meg Ryan's role in the first one was not very big. It no, wasn't. No. Kelly McGillis, pretty no, big. Well, pretty, yeah. You're talking I mean, about the second character up against. Uh, and, and the sad thing, it sounds like what they're you saying. You call is, sign Charlie. That's it, right. It, well, and, and again, in women. You, you better listen to her because our government does. Yeah, you, you, right. Again. Yeah, right. You've heard women talk, complain about this forever, and rightfully so, that as men age, we still think we're sharp. Yeah. But if they age, everybody tries to put them out to the pasture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, I, well, I'm and, looking at Kelly McGillis here, and I, I don't see her. I don't, I don't see her up there. Who, who, who does Kelly, who looks more like themselves? Jennifer wow. Gray. Or Kelly McGillis. Mm. That's a tough Man, one. That's a tough, tough one right one, there. Well, that's why I brought that's it up. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Mm. And so, but what I'm saying is what we're going to find is Tom Cruise is just as old as Kelly McGillis, but he'll end up with some younger chick oh, in yeah. this one. Yeah. Well, that's and exactly the, the actress that they're bringing in, she's, I mean, she's very well known and, and very good actress and have won a lot of awards. You're saying and, Kelly McGillis is not a good actress? No, I'm just saying I, that, that you're probably going to see – she she's really really uh, acclaimed in her acting. What do you think the age difference is in those two right there? I don't know. You got to give Tom mm-hmm. Jennifer. Oh, he doesn't look his age. No, no he, doesn't. he doesn't. Jennifer he doesn't. Colin, Jennifer Con Connolly Connolly is yeah. uh, fifty one. Yeah, she's she's old. Mm-hmm. What is uh, what's what's Tommy? Tom's in his sixties and McGillis McGinnis or whatever is in her sixties. McGillis well. is sixty four. Meg Ryan is sixty. Mm-hmm. But then again, we talk about. Uh, in the particular in this movie, what, what he looks like, but they started filming this thing probably ten years ago. No, you're <laughs> yeah, right. It's, it's, I mean, it's been a long been time. Forever, it, it has been a very long time. And it comes out May the 27th, and they're they're really trying to beat another wave coming through. Mm, right? <laughs> I, I, no, that's what I'm Top talking. Top Gun versus the virus. <laughs> <laughs> but the virus is always going to be here. You you can't even take that. Into but Rick, account you got to admit, every time they start to come out, it no, seems like we have another wave. No, I know. Yeah, I know. That's it's like this movie's tied to it somehow. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about what Bubba just mentioned. And, and this is not Tucker Carlson. This, this is not, uh, you know, some scary right wing. Good morning, America. Uh, and Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Uh, listen to what she has to say on Good Morning America when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. You can. Football. And he goes into talking about that, um, you know, NFL football was basically the backbone of ESPN that helped carry it to the heights that it is now. But uh, they said after the next contract, would ESPN consider not even being in the NFL game, much like ABC jumped off uh, and decided not to – they were losing money with it. Right. And this is back when it was going good. So – He's saying that some of the uh, insiders, the number crunchers at ESPN, have been given the assignment 
to revamp their business model, uh, assuming that NFL was not a part of it, what would that look like? Which just the fact that if that's true, that they're even looking at it, I think would be, you know, shocking to a lot of people. Well, you, you have to look. It'd be, you know, the, the part that is just boggling my mind. Now, I do know there are some people that are trying to do something. I, I saw where Roger Goodell's contract's about to be up, and there's the owners, a lot of the owners are saying, we cannot sign this guy up again. Uh, because there's been such a lack of leadership in this. I heard a very interesting discussion mm-hmm. yesterday from Jason Whitlock and Colin Cowherd on this, and they, the owners, and uh, want Jerry Jones to kind of maneuver his franchise off to his family, and for him to jump into this spot. And the the argument was that Roger Goodell has aligned himself with a lot of people out of touch with society. Right, people on the left. Right, uh, I think there was even a Clinton individual or Clinton campaign manager, or some someone in the Clinton. Some of their marketing era. people yeah. are Clinton Obama folks, yeah. and so they just said they're completely out of touch with who actually watches and supports gotta, the NFL. You got to know your audience, and uh, and where Jerry Jones would be uh, rough in some aspects of making these changes and. With his leadership, it would be best for the NFL. Now, he's the one that is dragging uh, the process of Goodell's contract being renewed. So right. he's he's in the middle of it. Even though Roger Goodell was actually and is married to a former Fox News anchor, apparently that doesn't you know carry in through his politics well, you, they, or understanding of marketing. Just like ESPN, the NFL has lost touch with the the man and the woman that that loves sports and supports this kind of programming, and they're catering to people that aren't their core audience, and and it's and it's a huge mistake because now you've offended the people that that help you pay the bills. Mm-hmm. You don't understand the audience, and and it looks like to me that Major League Baseball and even the NBA uh, understands that this deal involving patriotism. It's just not a place to go. And you still have your, your outlets to uh, voice anything you want to. I mean, yeah. you, it's not like your voice can't be heard. It's, it's just this particular strategy, as we've talked about time and time again, is just a bad strategy because if I were the, you know, the, the I was in charge of the NFL, I would sit down with all parties, the players and the owners, and I would say, gentlemen, at what point do we start being concerned that none of us are going to be able to do this for a living anymore. Um, when when dealing with, um, I'm, I'm running into a bit of a, a situation. I've been um, telling you about. You know, I've been working on trying to do better. Right. And uh, and I admit openly that I loathe working out. I always have. I've never liked it from the time <laughs> when I was forced to do it. You know, there's so few things. You know, we've talked about that. It, in my personality, if I can get resolved to something, I normally do really well. The problem is I just don't get resolved to a lot of things. And I stuck to one goal when I left, um, you know, athletics, and I said I will never work out like that ever again. <laughs> and, and, I've, and I've really, really stuck to that. I've really done a great job. That'll with that a way to honor your pledge, right? Well, and you know. I think I made that same pledge. Yeah, <laughs> well, and, you, and you know with me, and I, I had many people throughout the, the time that I was forced to do these kinds of workouts that would say to me, Burgess, if you would just do the workout mm-hmm. with the same commitment, that you have to not doing the workout, right? You would you would be so much better off, right? So that's still in me. You know what I mean? I, there, that's that, I have to fight that right. all the time. Of the I'm going to you know to push and you know and, and you know our friend Rich Wingo who you know was you know just uh, he said he said it's one of the most disappointing things he found out about me <laughs> is that I was a person who would skirt a workout because he around. loves it doesn't oh he's just all he in it. he used to be a strength and conditioning coach which was rick <laughs> he works out in a hoodie yeah. i know so rick, uh, year round more. I know. year round he's in that hood i know greg yeah, i've well, seen it and i feel and terrible and There's i a had lot of push-ups I, too so you know. so so with in the situation scary. that that i'm in now i'm in the old people division Hey, 21 minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba show, 866, we be big. This saw a pretty good one. The name of this year's CD, My Pilot is Incoherent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as uh, we make our way back, and we were just talking about it going into the break, and hey, 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 hey. 
The coronavirus, the never-ending uh, coronavirus. Uh, and uh, so more variants. We got to the point now, you look at variants and subvariants, and there's letters and numbers. I don't even know what all that means. Uh, but, um, you know, the, it's interesting as we've gone through now two years and a few months. Yeah. So uh, is that, you know, we're coming back and we're saying things that you were not allowed to say uh, early on. Um, uh, and, and, you know, maybe, maybe instead of just vilifying some of these uh, theories early on, you could say things like, well, you know, time will tell us we just don't know that yet. That's okay. You can say that. But you can't go after these things and squash them and start screaming, no, 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 uh, and, and when you don't know either. Uh, you, you can't even say, well, we don't know. That's one thing we, we, we hope. Or, yeah. Well, the never-ending thing about uh, antibodies and T-cells and, you know, uh, you remember, remember in the early days we would treat those with natural antibodies as if they just didn't exist. Yeah, well, you know, I have the natural antibodies. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we have, and you remember the early day. Why this is important? In the early days, we we had until you know the Trump administration. By the way, um, regardless how you feel about that on either topic, you know who started the operation? What was it called? Uh, um, warp speed. Warp speed to try to get the supply of vaccines into the market quickly. Now that could, you know, some people were a little bit afraid of that. And I understand, but I mean, then the people who say that it was done, you have to give the Trump administration credit for that. Mm-hmm. It is interesting. A lot of people who are against the vax are, are pro Trump, and then people who hate Trump are pro vax. And what they don't realize is that Trump was actually one that got the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, uh, but anyway, so in there, no one knows where to stand with Trump on that one. But uh, but the bottom line is this: uh, you can also feel different about different things. That might be a concept. But remember. We were we were we were acting like if you had natural antibodies, you need to get the vaccine anyway. When we really were short on vaccines to begin with, we should have been making sure that vaccine got to those that high had, risk that yeah. were high risk. And if somebody is young, healthy, and has already had it, let's let's don't be wasting vaccines on them mm-hmm. because they don't need it. Right now, you can say, well, they need it later when it wanes. Okay, I'll have that conversation, but they didn't need it then. But now you're going to hear this is Good Morning America. Uh, and uh, and this is Dr. Jennifer uh, Ashton. I can't believe that this doctor was allowed to be on Good Morning America because guess what she's going to talk about? The ineffectiveness of boosters and the value of T-cells. So uh, so she, she'll be removed from she all. Be. Uh, she'll, she'll be declared not a doctor, not a scientist. <laughs> You know, uh, all this will be gone. And you kind of are you surprised Good Morning America would run this? Well, let's did they see. not know it? Did they not know? Let's right. hear the whole clip. All right, here see how it plays out. Right. Dr. Ashton here. We were trying to get a handle on, yes, uh, you got some new data on boosters. There's a here. new published study out in Lancet, uh, the journal Lancet Infectious Disease, about the fourth dose and what happens to our antibody levels. It is not a surprise that they've released new data confirming that after the fourth dose of Pfizer or Moderna, that antibody levels rise significantly. They surge. Uh, in the several weeks after that dose. We've known that for a while, but here are the caveats. We don't know how long that lasts, number one. Um, And our immune response, remember, is not just about antibodies. It's about that T-cell response also, which you can't really measure as well as just a pure antibody level. And it's about whether or not they're blocking or neutralizing antibodies to the variant that we're seeing. So uh, when people hear these headlines, they shouldn't be surprised. Yes, of course, you're going to get a, a surge in your antibody levels, but how long that lasts is the issue. And it's certainly not just about more boosting for everyone. People who have high antibody levels, there's the potential. I want to underscore the potential. We haven't seen any evidence of this, um, of this immune phenomenon known as tolerance, where if you mm. already have high antibody levels and you get another booster, that your immune system can start to say, well, what, what am I needed for and can kind of start to wow. shut down. Wow. So um, we, if you're in that category of people who the FDA and CDC is recommending to get a booster, 50 and over, 65 and over with a, with a chronic medical condition, yes, by all means, but everyone else don't think that yeah. more boosting is the answer. Uh-oh, oh, she, uh-oh, no, uh-oh. Yeah. And I, you said, know what she just said? I hope y'all got a picture because that's she the gone. last time she'll ever be on there. But you know <laughs> what? If they'll just listen... Yep. She's she's actually she's, being level. She's talking about science, right? she, and she's being fair on all of it. Yeah, she's just saying we don't need to live in a fantasy world. Do our boosters effective? And when they give you a surge, yes, they will. People who are high risk, do they need to have them? Yeah, they do. But if you're healthy and you've had it and you have antibodies and you're sitting there, 
you know what she's saying is don't run out and get a booster every time a new one comes out if you're a perfectly healthy person who's already had COVID. Yeah, and you, I mean, do, you do have a tolerance situation yeah, at some right. point. And, uh, you know, we've seen that with antibiotics <clears throat> and other things. You can do too much. And uh, the T-cells are what we used to call the filing cabinet, Rick, is really the key long term. Yeah, and then is. if you're exposed yeah. again, the T-cells will go to the filing cabinet and pull out the recipe for antibodies and kick them up again. So, mm-hmm. um you know, whether you've had it or you've been uh, given the vaccine and boosted and all that, you know, the vaccine does not fight COVID. It, all it does is cause your body to turn on the things to fight it. So that's the key is the, is the antibodies and the T cells, short term and long term, uh, uh, you know, aggression against the virus. So, And I want to be fair. At least she's being fair and discussing it. I appreciate that. And I want to be fair what she said, too. Her being a scientist and a doctor, she said, there is potential that your natural antibodies will look at this and go, well, I guess I'm not needed. We haven't seen much any evidence of that yet, but I'm concerned we could yeah. with all the yeah. boosting and boosting. So I want to be fair. She didn't say it is. She just said there's potential that it could based on what we know about science if we overdo this. Yeah, and, we, and we've yeah, seen it before. It's, yeah, right. uh, you know, the overuse of antibiotics uh, yeah. in our age group caused yeah. a lot of problems oh, yeah. and ineffectiveness to that and some gout issues and other things. So. Um, we've seen it before. That's that's not a stretch. She's saying if you're if you have comorbidities, you probably need some help. Yep. But if you don't, uh, and 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 you've 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 had uh, the vaccine and one of the early on, or you've had COVID or a combination of the two, you're you're really not in need of you know a a, a booster extravaganza. Yeah. And uh, it, because it, it has potential to actually have a. a, a a negative effect. Now, now, again, that's not. She's not talking about people that are at risk. Right. No. We're, 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 well, know. again, sadly, I know this is crazy. It's hard to have one size fits all, especially yeah, it when is. it comes to medicine. And I think, um, with, and I think that's been a problem all along. Is that we start this propaganda machine and we treat every single person as if everybody were little clones of each other. We're not. What we need to say is: here's all the things available to you. You and your doctor get together who knows your health history, knows your situation, and and here are the things that are available to you. But we don't do that. We run PSA after PSA saying that the whole wide world needs to be vaccinated and boosted, and if you don't, you're a horrible person and you will surely die, and that just isn't true. And and what happens is when people see that that doesn't appear to be true, then they stop listening to things they need to listen to. Right. Hey, we're all in this together. Right. We've got to fight this wisely. And not not destroy our whole country and our all of our rights and everything else while we're doing it. Well, and if you don't think it, that, that we're pushing toward those midterm elections with it, ha <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Bottom of the hour. have them drop boxes, Rick. Uh, 866, we be big. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And that's fine. That's the where geriatric. I, that's where I should be. I, that's where I should be. Uh, you know, they have this little term they use, and, and I've, what I've done is I've drafted with a seventy-year-old, mm-hmm. um, and you know the seventy-year-old. And and matter of fact, his his thing that now has become the discussion among the trainers is waiting for him to use his phrase. Just wait till you're seventy. Mm-hmm. That's his phrase. Yeah. Okay. No, no matter what anyone yeah. says, he will say, "Just wait till you're seventy. Because it's know, worse. Then. Yeah, yeah. If I was seventy and in there, I'm going to. I might say that too. Yeah. And he's not just kind of in there. I mean, he gets. No one it. else can probably say that. No. Right. Well, that's what we tell the thirty year olds. Wait till you're fifty. Right. Right. <laughs> well, he'll, he'll throw down the seventy card in a minute. Just drop it. And and as he and it's a great card. I mean, yeah. nobody can. What can you who, say? Who can go against it? <laughs> so I've I've moved over into. I know I'm 53, but I get over there with the 70, 60 something year olds, and I and I kind of move over in there, and I try to avoid the the other area. Smart. Well, so I've got it all worked out now, and then it never fails. You you work and work to get it down to where you have your system, uh-huh. you have your guy who kind of knows the deal, and then one day you walk in and there's the new guy. New guy. <laughs> He's ready I, to make his mark. And I'm like, oh, it's new guy. Yep. I got to program him. We'll call him Sean. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, new guy. Yeah, and he uh, didn't know the deal. He didn't, he didn't know how, how you know, because, you know, y'all know me. I, I have to, I'm I'm very 
I, I need a little special attention. Do I you ever to, say read my file? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you need to you need to talk about the the other guy. <laughs> he, he knows all my stuff. Yeah, yeah. we have an understanding. He, right, right. Like, like I don't <laughs> he knows I, me. I don't jump on the box. I step up on it and get down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, you know when if don't you touch t- me, if you tell us, 15, <laughs> that sounds like going upstairs. You're right. Fifteen reps to me is ten. You we all know this, <laughs> right? Well, well, his his thing is he he foolishly I think doesn't think I belong with the senior citizens, and I and I'm like, hang on now. Don't though easy. Hey, don't let this hair fool you. Yeah, don't, <laughs> right. Don't, look, I, I know my hair is fantastic, but that's no. This is a mistake. <laughs> but the joints are not. The joints are not. They they, they, they ain't getting hurt. And uh, so, um, so it's become a little bit of a bone of contention. Uh-oh. And uh, for instance, I prefer to do the weight part with a thirty-five pound bar. I don't want to do the forty-five pound bar. Okay, I, and it, it, I, I I like I like the thirty-five pound bar better. I can handle it better. You know, I got a lot of arthritis in my thumbs and all thinner. that. Yes, yeah, thinner. And how do they, yeah? How do they look different? Uh, well, they don't. Just, they they they're the the forty five pound is has got a bigger thicker bar. Mm-hmm. The thirty five pounds a little thinner, easier to grip, and plus, even though even though I, well, the point I kept trying to make is it's just math. I can still get to where I need to be. I'm just starting at thirty five, not forty five. Yeah. You like the you I like the feel of the, the bar. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I, this is what I like. The old bar you know we used I mean? to use yeah. was the 45, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's there. It, yeah, it's do, do the, don't yeah. worry, it's there. And it's a big old thick, heavy thing. Sure, yeah. and, yes, uh, and, and and also little things like, you know, when to me there's too much warm-up. You know oh, what I, mean? I, I, I hate yeah. warm-up. I want to I want to get on into it because that means it's going to be over quicker. Yeah, you, I, you know what I mean? I'm with er, er, you. Go ahead and go through some reps with just the bar. Well, he looks, and I've got weight on it because I'm already moving into what we're supposed to do. <laughs> get it set up. Mr. Freelance. Mr. Burgess. We're not to that yet. You need to talk to my guy. Yeah, <laughs> he lets you, you know what happens. You got to you got to you got to break in a new guy. Right, I got this. You know, and you know, of course, Sean's. You know, he's probably got one percent body fat. You know yeah, I mean? Rick, you ought to carry your own file with you, like uh, right. you know the guy did in Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So when you go in, you have your own medical file and yeah, you just lay right, it down right. like yeah, yeah. Swayze did. You know. Yeah. They have a little something they call RX, oh, and, what, and what that means is that means drugs that you pick up. Yeah. Right? R- RX, <laughs> RX means this is the maximum. This is everybody. This is for the men. This is the RX for the women. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. he was frustrated because I'm in between. It's a prescription. You know what I mean? He well, goes, you don't care about RX. He's, he's, I've age. never cared about. Here's, you got he, the workout, and if you want an RX, you got this. It's a little you know. The, the old, max. The, the, where'd you come up with this weight? And I'm like, well, this is this is what I do. This is if if you. Got, tells you the way if you've got the women it. here and you've got the young people here i'm right in here yeah i mean that makes sense to me but that's that's not an option I, well now do you come up with that number I or do you ask you them to, what you should do i come up with the number <laughs> and, and and what i do is i'm like you need to talk to my guy you know what i mean it's Look, like uh, rick you gotta deal. break in and you go yeah yeah and i'm like who, who is why is sean like this and and so, <laughs> why is he so aggressive? Where, where is where is your guy? He'll, he'll make me do well what's happened you know God forbid that he actually wants to spend time with his wife and children. He's <laughs> actually hired more people, so he's not doing every single class. You know, and I mean, well, he's got three small kids, him, but, right? but what about me? So you know the whole, the whole he, class he's got, he's works gone to spend out. time with his kids. And he's left me. Rick, your your whole group works out at one time. Yeah, there's <laughs> different groups at different times, so, yeah. and, um, and you can move to Span's class. Yeah, there's things that they know that I avoid. Yeah, yeah. Well, Span, I, I really do want to work out with some men, not, not just all the women. <laughs> You know his his women's class. That's a different thing. That's not for. That's I would never belong in. It is thirty five minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us. Learbubba.com. Uh, Bubba, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, yeah, it happened again yesterday. I'm, I was watching some of the people talking about the $40 billion bill uh, the American people were given yesterday, and, and certainly a lot of it is for a good cause, but there's all kinds of other uh, pork uh, that's packed in there too that's uh, spawned debate. But uh, let me tell you what this means again. We're printing more money. Anyway, print, 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 print. Uh, money we don't have. Uh, so uh, now's a great time to go to Learbubba.com. A Federal Reserve, the Federal Reserve Survey just shared, I mean, it just came out, uh, that dating back to the 50s, whenever inflation and unemployment have hit today's level, uh, your old friend, uh, here it comes, recession. 
so you need to be prepared. I don't think any of us can afford to let that happen again. The team at Lear Capital shared how investing in physical gold and precious metals can be an excellent strategy against what's coming. First of all, it's a hedge, which is good. And then, uh, two, the closer a recession gets, the more the gold could be worth. So if you'd like to find out more, here's what we want you to do. We've set up this URL, URL Lear, L-E-A-R, Lear Bubba, Dot com. Look, don't let another 2008 come up and catch you by surprise. Uh, Washington, it's obvious they don't have the answers. As a matter of fact, the weird part right now with this current administration, it's like they keep talking about what's happening, but they've not offered one uh, – it seemed any indication <laughs> that they are going to do anything about it. Where's the strategy? It's not there, and maybe it'll come, but it's not there now. So right now we're going to make it a little more enticing for you. Um, if you go, you'll receive up to $10,000 in free bonus coins based on the value of the gold coins that you purchase. So go to LearBubba.com for more information or call 1-800-707-4575. There's also a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. All right, so Bubba, what, this, this next piece of video uh, and audio that we're going to get into, I see what it says. The actor James Cromwell... Uh, and who is James Cromwell? Uh, he's in the the show Succession. Okay, I'm according not... to this clip. Yeah, uh, and Rick, he has uh, apparently is protesting uh, extra charge for vegan milk at Starbucks, and he is attempting to glue himself to the counter. Okay, so he's going to protest by gluing himself to the counter of a Starbucks. Uh, yeah, so he and he's doing this because vegan milk costs more yes. than cow's milk. Yes. What What is vegan milk? Is that Is that the one? The uh, one? What do you milk a plant? Is this him? <laughs> Y'all know James. Oh yeah, he's in everything. Yeah. yeah. Just saw him yesterday yeah. in one of the Jurassic Park movies. In the in we the show in the show the Succession mile. that they're talking about, he's the brother of the guy when that owns will the you company. Stop charging us more for vegan milk. <laughs> when will you stop raking in huge profits? While customers, animals, and the environment suffer, when will you stop penalizing people for their ethnicity or their morals? The senseless upcharge hurts animals. Cows don't want to be exploited! Just like us! Cows don't want to be separated from their babies! Just like us! Bone they can't move. Well, then we're going to be getting them removed. We're going to have to have somebody come remove them, and then they'll... Unfortunately, they cannot be doing that. So, in the meantime, you guys go outside, and then we'll get somebody here to remove them. Is he really trying to super glue himself to the counter? He glued his butt and sit up there. I liked him much better, Rick, when he was trying to get the secretariat. Yeah, Remember? I, yeah, I yeah. He was the guy. He was, was the coin the, flip. Yes. He was the other guy. I don't guy. like him at all right now. I wish I I'd have never seen what this. They're gluing Green their Merle. hand to it. Yeah, they're gluing their hand yeah. to it. Well, I, I, I mean, minute. so he wants, he's saying by what is charging for vegan milk, you're encouraging people to not get it. So now, right. because they got to talk mm-hmm. about separating cows from calves or oh, something. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they get on another tangent. But, <laughs> yeah. but what what is <laughs> vegan milk exactly? Yeah, you don't want to see how they get it. Uh, well, I know there's almond milk. Yeah, and I know there's a, I know there's a soy milk. Mm-hmm. So I have to do all uh, that lactose free stuff because yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't wouldn't do regular milk gassy. anymore. Wouldn't soy. vegan milk be any kind of like just plant based milk? Yeah, yeah. isn't that what it's soy? Is, uh, I mean, I have almond. it all the time. It's not your traditional milk. It's no. not any good, but I have to have it if I'm. How you do you know. milk an almond? It seems tough, like buddy. Be <laughs> you have to have really strong, <laughs> tiny little fingers. Yes, you do. Yes. Huh? Well, I, I, I go back to this, though. <laughs> Don't miss what one of them screamed out and think about the whole thing we're going on with Roe v. Wade right yeah. now. Uh, yeah, we don't want I heard to separate yeah. them. Cows couldn't, shouldn't be separated from their babies, right. from their calves. Right. Sure. Uh, you know, and, and I, somebody made a presentation, some guy from Texas, and it's funny how the left doesn't even understand the point you're trying to make. They're so obsessed with this. So he got up and he was making the point. I forget his name. I'd give you credit, sir, if I could remember your name. But he got up and he said, you know, it is illegal to tamper with the eggs of turtles. Yeah. And they said yeah. because they are potentially little turtles. So you're not allowed to crush them, break them. But even though it has. Oh, go down to the beach. Yeah, 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 yeah. And said same thing with eagles. I mean, it's a federal crime oh, yeah. for you to prevent baby turtles and baby eagles from being born. That's right. Okay. And so, and so anyway, he goes, but then we take human babies. That's yeah. a great point. And we got nothing to protect them. Uh, and so then, of course, it comes back because I watched MSNBC do this because I want to see them, you know, scream and yell. This is now. They, this is when you know you can't have a, a discussion with somebody. Well, thank you very much for comparing women to eagles and turtles. 
See. No, that wasn't his point. His, yeah. his point was that we care more about the yeah, you just uh, made about, about the potential for yeah. baby animals to be born than we do about denying the poten- uh, the life for a baby human to be born. Yeah, that was his point. Yeah. Once again, the rock comparing women to eagles and turtles. No, no, no. That's not what you missed the whole point. <laughs> you the point. What he was saying is that You've animals elevated them above. People. We've elevated yeah. animals above humans. Yeah. And, and and but that you see what I mean? Now when you when someone watches you say that and that's their takeaway, well I can't even have a discussion. You with can't. You. No. You can't. Oh, yeah. And, and we gonna say that. Person. Yeah. Why did y'all show me this? This is your fault. By the way. <laughs> it's Adler's fault for putting it in the potential thing, and it's Bubba's fault for picking it. I actually liked that actor till right then. Yeah. Yep. Right? Sorry. He's been in a lot of shows. Yeah. You think I'm gonna be able to Sorry, watch him? Sorry, dude. And they use him to Helmsley's point. They used to put him in a role that's kind of like, oh, this guy. Yeah. yeah I mean, he and he's still, he's usually in a big military role. He was you a know, farmer in Babe, right? He, that'll do, pig. That'll yes, do. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was the warden. <laughs> right. He was the that'll warden do. on the Green, Green Mile. Mile. He was, Bingo. Was. That's the one I was sure thinking was. about. Yeah. He wanted to know what happened with Edward Delacroix. Wasn't he also involved <laughs> in that 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 uh, that, that horrible? Uh, it was a terrible situation. It was a movie. Who was the actor that was trying to? Oh, Rick. Come on, Rick. Come tell on, us. Rick. And he's 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 where he's like he's like in a jag situation similar to a few good men. And the colonel's daughter had been attacked uh, violently and raped, and and uh, wow, and, uh, and and he was trying and he was trying to cover it up. Basically, he was trying to say that you're picking the good of the military even over your own daughter, oh, wow. and you're covering something up. And I think he was he was playing the role of that colonel too. Mm. Oh, was it I Robot that you're talking about, Rick? No, that was not <laughs> it. That was not it, my friend. Okay, he's in that. That yeah, is he not is. it. Sure, he's he in sure Deep is. Impact. Uh, oh yeah. Spider Man Three, Babe, Green Mile, like you said, Jurassic World, Some of All Y'all, Fears. He's been in a ton. That's of it, things. by the way. Some of, of All Fears. That's it. Smoking Bandit. I think that's what I'm talking about. L <laughs> A. Confidential. Okay, mm-hmm. let's just just forget it. Y'all ruined it. I mean, y'all mm-hmm. y'all got this actor, and now I didn't know he's one of these, sa- <clears throat> you know, save animals, don't drink milk. I'm I'm super glued to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, he kind of plays that role in the Succession show too that they keep describing bringing him the up. one he i just saw that the one i just saw yeah nah, well no wonder i hate yeah. it i wouldn't General's that. daughter that was it john travolta that's his john travolta going after him well, yeah his sorry. Nine it wasn't some of all fear sorry General's daughter. That was the one. Thank you. Uh, I finally saw that John Travolta movie they filmed at the Talladega Short Track. Yes, Have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as good as his lineman movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. If you had to watch one or the other, which one would it be? Uh, <laughs> toss up, right? <laughs> that is, yeah. yeah. What, what was John doing there? Uh, was that John a Nicholas? Michael, him and Nicholas Cage will make a movie. I was about to say, were those some Nicholas Cage moments? Oh yeah. Well, everybody said Nicholas Cage did because he ran out he of money. money. Yeah, yeah. He was just taking anything everybody would give him. I mean, didn't we actually like even put him in? Like one of the the various attempts at the end of time movie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah left behind. Yeah, left he behind. did a left behind. He was yeah. a pilot. What do we What do we do with John, with him in that? <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, but uh, but it's uh, I wish I hadn't seen that. <laughs> I wish I, you, I had not seen that. Yeah, what is it with it? with animal rights people gluing themselves to stuff? You know, the lady tried to glue herself to the basketball court. Didn't work yeah. out. Is it because is it because the glue comes from horses? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I Maybe. think that's just the quickest, Some, um, easiest way they can do it. It's just the H, no, we won't go. Yeah. Is that oh, what yeah. it is? Yeah, we're just going to be yeah. uh, give you H and D, hate God. and discontent. How, can you imagine being having the influence this guy's been given, and all he's doing <laughs> is trying to stand against overcharging for vegan milk? What a, what a waste of and a And the fact he could lose skin on his hand when they pull it off the yeah, counter. Sure what a waste. All right, we'll be back 15 minutes to the top of the hour. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Uh, we'll take some of your phone calls when we come back, see what's on your mind. we got other stuff to cover today, too. Uh, do you want to enjoy a little uh, Biden? Got a little Biden it, clip in, today. In, anytime there's a Biden clip, we'll give it a shot. And uh, <laughs> then we'll get to some of your phone calls at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. That's a lot of running around. Are you saying Span is in that class? Yeah. yeah. Span, Span oh, works yeah. out with the women's group. And like he does the lunchtime. Time. He does the lunchtime yeah. women's And he gets after it. He does. Yeah. He does. Not a lot of weights in there. I know, but he still But, but anyway, so so I was um, – I was That's, so, Span, that was Rick. So, like, for instance, I'm not doing all the stretches. Everybody knows that. You know, then comes over and he's critiquing on my form. But I'm at like, your age, well, shouldn't you be I, stretching? Yeah, but 
but I can't. Probably I, can't I don't stretch. know. You could blow I, something. Hey, I can't stretch like Plastic Man over oh, here. No, can't do that. You know what I mean? There's always that guy. Yeah. You know, just down there laying on the ground, one leg up in there. And I'm, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, guys, I know how this looks on paper, but this this body, this man, like I said the other day, I understand this man over here is 70 and this one over here is 67, whatever. But if you look at how my body's been treated compared to how they've taken care of theirs, I'm the same age they are. <laughs> yeah, it's about the mom. You know what I mean? I, I'm exactly the same age they are. You know, my idea of stretching. They even see it. They acknowledge it. Oh, yeah, he's one of us. <laughs> my idea of stretching <laughs> is if I can get my leg up on a park bench right. and hold it and not fall. I'm, I'm doing <laughs> – well, that's 10. it. Listen, I keep saying, Sean, I'm doing so, I'm doing so much better – than I did before. You don't know how far I've come. Hey, somebody tell Sean how far I've come. Right. I've come a long way. Yeah. I found myself looking for old pictures. Sean, come here. Look <laughs> at this. He's coming in late. You're right. You know what I mean? You're, you're thinking I'm, I'm something I'm not. You know what I mean? This All right. Is, here's what I think you need to do. All right. So you know how you've made the videos for the interns? This is the bar I use. Do you know how you made the video for the interns? Right. On, on how to answer the phone system, mm-hmm. right. whatever. Don't you think if they ever get anybody new, they go into a room yes. yeah. and they have a Burgess 100%. video? One hundred percent. Yeah, this Great is idea. how you treat Burgess. That's the electronic like, version of carrying your own file. Right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly right. right. Kind of like when I used to coach little league, they should have given all the referees a file on me. Yes. So that I hated all this learning. Yeah. You know, when I'd say things like, "No, anything close, I get." Yeah. Everybody knows that. Right. And if you see them we, making we mistakes, talk, it's like, "Hey, have you watched the video?" Yeah. I'll say things like, "I don't want you to cheat for my team where it looks obvious, but if it's one of those things where it can go either way, it always goes to my team. Everybody <laughs> knows that here." <laughs> I mean, that's that's what's been around here for years. Who's this new referee? <laughs> you know, and that's Who's the same. That? Uh, Sean's really, he's <laughs> watching me too much. He's, he's not counting, is he? Yeah. Oh. I mean, like, oh. You got a counter? Oh, you, know, you got a counter? You know what I said the other day? That's not a rep. Oh. What? Wow. No. No. It, and, and, you got oh, your bip on your hands, what you got. Well, he's a great, he's a nice <laughs> He's a nice young man, and I'm nice to meet him, but he's, he's, he's about to go on the wrong side of me. <laughs> I mean, I mean he, he just, <laughs> over looking at my bar, what kind of bar I got. Oh. You know, I mean, I just, you know, I'm doing good, but I like to, you know, I don't do partner workouts. Everybody knows that. Now, can all the ladies find their bar mm-hmm. if you've got theirs? Well, luckily, there's an actual <laughs> official 25-pound okay. women's bar that they seem to take those. But then there's them big old women that come looking for my bar. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some big ones in there. I'm talking about muscular. You know what I mean? Now, they'll come you over. Look- some strong. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll come over looking for, well, no, there's some big ones, too. <laughs> they'll, 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 you know, Rick, but, you're in no, class I, with them, but No, no, I go and work out by them, too. <clears throat> I, I go over to work out. If I get a partner, I want a big woman or an old man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, because that's where I need to be. That's that's my – now Now I'm shiny. You know what I mean? Now I'm kind of the guy carrying the workout now. Yeah. How long is your workout time-wise? About 50 minutes. Hey. Plenty of it stretching, though. Yeah, a lot of stretching. Let's cut the stretching in half. <laughs> hey. Now, when I'm rowing, everybody knows when I row, I row on four. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to break Sean in, the new guy. Oh, yeah. Well, I told Speedy in the kitchen, it's just like everybody knows. You know, I've been working out down there now since like last April or something. So everybody knows that when we get to the actual workout part, you know, they have a stretch and they have a little weight fill, mm-hmm. and then you have the actual workout. Right. When we get to the workout, they always play for me the song "I Love the Haters," and and they and Sean didn't play that. <laughs> so you, know, you have to hear that to work yeah, out. Yeah, when I get well, to the workout, you, you and every, and won't you bring your own little and every, you know, everybody little everybody earphones? I love, love the haters. Yeah, I <laughs> love the haters. You know, it just inspires uh, me. Uh, for everybody who so everybody who hates me. Well, Rick, everybody. I lo- hey, I love the haters. <laughs> uh, haters just inspire me. That's all they do. Haters gonna hate. Uh-huh. And and Sean she needs to know that. Uh, That's standard. I always <laughs> when I start working. You know, and and I know there's 17, 18 other people in there, but you know, it, it, it's it's just I like to hear I love the haters, and 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 Blake knows that. That's the other. You scaring me, man. Yeah, I, I want to come visit, but I don't know. You scaring. No, me. they've been talking about me. You need to go to James's class. Yeah. I think I'd fit in well with James's no, class. No, no. Yeah, no. you probably would. Yeah. Yeah, but, I'm just limited not. what I can do right now. The well, I know that was gimpy. that was me too. Yeah. But they'll yeah, they'll they, uh, they'll scale things for you. They yeah. will. They'll start out. They will. You'll get over. I remember I used to be sore from stretching. Mm-hmm. Just that. They took care. All right, of y'all are done today. Uh, I've never been a good stretcher. I, I mean, that's not n- now. It's very always very important, been that Bubba. Way. Very important. Very important. Uh, every time I stretch, I always hurt. I got you hurt. stretch every morning to tie your shoes. You know, that's I'm, a good no, stretch that. for you. Amen. Let's hold your breath and dive in. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've noticed. Yeah, but we no. They tell me. Eight six six, we be big, and you can join us. 
Uh, We've got another man church coming up this weekend, Rich Wingo, First Baptist Church, Crestview, Florida. Uh, Go out and see Rich as they continue to work through the men's discipleship strategy from themanchurch.com. Helmsy last night, Landmark, Montgomery. Sound like that went well. It did go well. Did you like uh, it, buddy? Yeah, a lot of fun hanging out with those men. Had some guys from from, uh, that Auburn that came in and – you know, one guy was talking about, yeah, he drove in for 15 minutes and from 15 minutes. And I was like, hey, buddy, I I, I got up at three and drove an hour. Sure. Uh, so uh-huh. I know you got to get home. It's 15 right. minutes away. Right. But no, it was Landmark's one of those churches where if I was in Montgomery and I was searching for a church home, they'd be on the list. All right, good. And you know me. I don't say that about no, everybody. No, you really don't. You don't. Um, they've got it figured out. They've got the discipleship strategy down to a T. And I took some notes last night, and I can't wait to share them with you later. All fair, they they're doing it the way that this whole thing was designed to do. Right, they and even got a little add-ins that I kind of like too. Good, we always yeah. looking, always looking yeah. for those. Well so, done. Well, I'm glad it was a lot of fun. I'm glad it went well. Enjoyed hanging. Honored that they would ask me to do it, and it was fun. Yeah, well, it's just I love I love we're seeing the fruit now. It's been a lot of hard work, and and boy, we're seeing we're seeing it come in. Uh, so thank you for being willing to go too, uh, Bubba. We have Biden. We have Biden. We have Biden. Where did Here's the leader of the free world. Uh, is uh, that uh, the, I'm not sure you we're going to be able to follow this. This is kind of the new trend. Uh, and you know what? And Greg, I think it was you that said this. I have learned to give him a pass on this inflation thing because I honestly think it is possible that there is a scenario where the president really doesn't know he's caused this. Yeah, because they keep telling him, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, I, I, th- I, I, he, I, I don't think he really knows how this has happened. <laughs> well, it, obviously, he's, doing heck of he's not doing anything to fix it. Well, he he, he, Greg, he'll get mad, too. He got when he, on, was, man. he was screaming about people pulling up and getting food. Out of, it's America! <laughs> but anyway, so uh, so here he is. And, oh, really? and I'm looking at what he says, and let's see if we can figure it out. Here, here's the leader of the free world. And I agree with what Chairman Powell said last week, that the number one threat is the strength, and that strength that we built is inflation. What did he say? Anybody? The number one threat is that strength we built in inflation. Is that great? Give, me, give me one more time, Adler. I, I can't because Don't forget that. the topics around him. Tackling uh, inflation, lowering, lowering costs, cost. uh, lowering co- tackling inflation. That's what's all around That's him. what he's uh-huh. here to talk about. And he's going to tell you where we got in this situation. And I agree with what Chairman Powell said last week, that the number one threat is the strength, and that strength that we built is inflation. The number one threat is the strength that we've built, and that, that is strength in, is inflation. That is that, that's what he said, right? Is, is, one more time. Is the strength? Yeah, it's almost like that first. After strength. being outside all day yesterday, my head is hurting. I can't. I can't really make that work I'm, together. I'm going to say really. he's. Help me out, I'm, I'm going to say he's throwing a strength in there that this that's not where it's supposed to. I be. think it, yes, out of order somewhere. Yeah, and I agree with what Chairman Powell said last week that the number one threat is the strength, and that strength that we built is inflation. The number one threat. Okay. If you took all that middle part out, is inflation. The number one threat do, is inflation. Do, that, we, do, that strength do, that we built. Do, do, you, do you think? <laughs> do you think inflation. he's trying to say I agree with whoever this other person was, <laughs> Chairman Powell? Yeah, I yeah. agree with I Chairman, Chairman Powell. Powell. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what is, he's is that what he say. means? Maybe that's what you he's may be on it. The right. number one threat is the strength, and that strength that we built is inflation. <laughs> yeah. So he, it's just words well, that are not I in the right place, it. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, they were just words there because you could get them. You could hear this if I was the president. You know, which imagine that. Uh, me getting up uh, and I would say, look, we're a strong nation, but I'm going to tell you right now, and there's a lot of threats to, to, the, to the strength of our nation, but one of the biggest threats to our strength is inflation. <laughs> that would be the correct way Isn't to say it. Isn't that what he's trying to say? Right. Is that what he's trying to say? Yes, I think so. Okay. Can we have it again? Sure. Uh, <laughs> do you want to um, – also, I've also got that uh, rant about food shortages – uh, there's a little bit of an echo, so it makes Mushmouth ba- Biden seem a little bit more mushmouthy oh. too. But uh, <laughs> you heard this great? He gets mad. About but it. Oh, he, one more time, here's that clip. Okay. And I agree with what Chairman Powell said last week that the number one threat is the strength, and that strength that we built is inflation. Okay. Got that. <sighs> Hi you. <laughs> All right, here's here he is yelling about uh, food shortages, Greg. and he's going to br- blame the MAGA guys. 
But he Remember see those long lines you'd see in a television? Right. People lining up in all kinds of vehicles just to get a box of food in their trunk. How quickly we forget people were hurting. And what did the MAGA crowd want to do? Forget it. Forget it. God, this is the United States of America. The idea that people would have to wait in line an hour, hour and a half to get a box of food in their trunk. It's just unbelievable. What is he doing? What is, <laughs> you know, the only thing what worse than waiting an, an hour for a box of food is waiting two hours. Can I tell you why he's mad? <laughs> can I tell you? It's a half trunk. a box now. Yeah, can I tell you why he's mad? He's mad because this is part of, of what he's going through right now. The, the frustration of these loss of cognitive skills, if you have a loved one that's going through it, they get, they get ill and they get angry and they get frustrated with what's going on. And keep in mind, it's like the Biden administration knows we're in a bind, and, of course, the Democrats have to find scapegoats. And, they, and they're running out of them. It's like, it's, I saw a story in this last night. It's like every time they try to get one to stick, it won't stick. He just throws out MAGA. As if people that Donald Trump and people who support Donald Trump caused inflation, yeah. and and and, and, and they they have caused this. Now he doesn't really walk that out where we understand his narrative. He just kind of throws a bunch of words together and acts real angry. Yeah, and, and uh, he's it, he's got uh, righteous anger about something that he's not. It doesn't even add up. He's indignant, but we're not sure quite about <laughs> right, what. Right. I mean, now he I, should be mad, but he should be at himself. I think somebody told him people are having to try to are looking for food and we run out of food, and he thinks in the United States of America. But what he doesn't realize it's his policies that are causing it. One thing when you start some sort of, you, you try to go in and force things like the all the stuff they're doing to save the world and thinking we're ready to transition to a new fuel and we're not even the leader. And the technology that might be a good replacement. Of course, again, we're going to have to deal with batteries, but we'll get to, we'll yep. get to that later. Yep. Yep. But I'm talking about if you want to come all fossil fuels, one of the leading people in the technology that's trying to take us there is saying we're not ready. Right. And, and so you start all this and, and you start trying to punish people and force them out of automobiles that require fossil fuels. Now, keep in mind, there's not enough electric cars for them. Okay, and you're trying to not yet. You're trying to force them out of something as opposed to just letting the natural process take place. Then you cause things like this: the the cost of everything going up, and and, and everything and, they do on top of it is even making it worse. Like right. you said, more environmental rules. This look, even if that was your plan. Okay, let's just say you're being smart. You've been through COVID. You have a war going on in Russia. It's already pressuring the economy in bad ways. You, you delay all of your uh, environmental stuff. You just put it off. You go, we, we can't tackle all that at one time. That That's logical. But they won't do that, see. Yeah. They'll, they'll turn it up yeah. and even try to force it more. Or just be wise. Don't kill the golden goose until you've got something else that's going to lay gold eggs. I mean, you, you can't do that. You can't go, kill that goose. I don't like these gold yeah. eggs. All right, where are we getting eggs now? I don't know. Yeah. We need, a, oh, we need, another, we need right. another layer before we kill that one. And didn't the Biden administration just delay decisions on new oil and gas leases? Sure. Or, and permits? Of course. Which, when the, pros, the price of oil goes up, the price of everything goes everything up. Everything goes up. Manufacturing, shipping. Everything. Yeah. everything. Because, of, because of the shipping. It's part, probably yeah. the biggest culprit on inflation. Yeah. Top of the hour, we'll take phone calls next. If you leave us, have a good day. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. They're ready for you. They bring it up a lot. They asked me if I brought the unicorn. That's what they call you. (laughs) (laughs) And I'll tell you who's really after you. And I've been I've been helping you. Know that I've been helping you. Okay. You know how like if somebody's Talking to you about something you know would bother me. You yeah, don't, you yeah. don't want to talk to yeah. Rick about that. No. That's that don't, no, <laughs> no, right? And 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 it's the seventy year old. You know who that is? Oh, what to your seventy? Oh, uh, to who I think we were talking about earlier? Mm. Restaurant. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't know who you were talking about. He's now, after. He's after you. Yeah. He really is after you. Yeah. Like some days he'll stand before me and almost plead, and I'm like, "Don't, don't look." It, See, I don't, I, I don't want that much fuss made over me. You know. Yeah. Well, he's he's no, know that I've kept him off. <laughs> okay. 
And I'm just like, look, this I just, walked out of Holla the other day, and I thought that's enough workout for me for a while. Yeah, I would. No, look, you, mm. you and I are the same way. It, it's, it's, it's just same. He did. Yeah, the, oh, you, it was awful. You and I are the same way. We're, we're, you know, we always use the term like, look, <laughs> let the deer settle in the field. If you get them nervous, they'll they'll yeah, leave the field. Yeah, they'll spook. You and I have to come to these kind of things on our own. Yeah. And I'm not saying yeah. that's a positive. That's just the way we are. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm right. not, you're just reporting. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm, I'm just We're reporting. Saying it should you're be that you're not going to talk these two into anything. We, no. we have to come to, and I'm talking about me and Bubba. Right. We have to come to our own conclusion that this is now what we are going to do. Yeah. And, and pretty then, much it has to be where we have no other option. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and, it's all, and it's always something has to happen that gets us so shocked that we have yeah. to make a move. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. so, anyway, it's. Um, it there, but uh, know that it's available to you if you ever want to come, and you can stay over. No, is there some turf field you can run uh-huh. on? Too? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, let's yeah. get all that, buddy. You can bear crawl on it too. Get that a lot at home because I track in those little black yeah. beads. I hear, about, I get, I get in trouble for that a <laughs> yeah. lot, a lot. Try, they travel like sand. Do you throw football in? <laughs> Shoot basketball? No. Mm-mm. None of that. Yeah, but you're going, to, you're going to the park now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're going to work out. Yeah, that you might want to. Well, pick, look, you might want to pick you up a YMCA membership. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Got that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or maybe get in the church league. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, there's that some that of now. these basketball guys that get together and play basketball. And you know what I know so about the, what we do for a living? Have you noticed at our age, anything a group of men get together to do, they do it before they go to work. Yeah. But we, we never. Yeah. We can, well, they, yeah. yeah. If we did that. it before we went to work, we'd have to do it the night before. No. <laughs> yeah. I know. No, I know. <laughs> do you know that the running joke uh, for for Bub, we're talking about, hey, everybody's on him. When's he coming? Mm-hmm. Forever, Greg and I were asked that question, and how do you too at certain places that we would go? Yeah. And it would be, where's Bubba? I know. And for the longest time, we made excuses. Well, he's it. And then finally, one day, I said, I got to tell you something. He's not coming. Right. He's yeah. out. Right. Don't it's ask okay. again. It's okay. He's Please not don't. coming. <laughs> well, I th- I, my, my quote was, if you spook him, he'll leave the greenfield. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let him come out here and nibble a little bit. He may ride by one day. We put him on crawl with therapy. Let him start there. Yeah. yeah. yeah he loves oh, Bubba, they got, got crawl over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bubba, they got a nice one, too. Uh-huh. I'm talking oh, about a nice. you may have him now. What about you the, see that? I'm talking about a nice one. What about the recliners that you sit back and you put those? Yeah, have you seen these things where they squeeze you? Oh yeah, they the put cold the, squeeze. They put these things in, and, and, and it compresses your muscles too. Have you seen that? Oh, yet? you sit in a recliner and watch a big screen TV. Rick, Bubba. you may have him over there today. I know. You know what else? I, I got? don't know exactly what you're describing there. I'm trying to well, let me picture you, what be, you've got. Well, there. be careful when you put the pants on. <laughs> but, what, but, but, but what I'm, it's, I never heard of this part. See, it looks like you didn't either. And I knew about the freezing. Yeah. And they've yeah. got the cryotherapy, and it's a really nice one. It's not yeah. like in you know, any shady place or anything. It, it's a really really nice one. And then they've got. These compression things they put like on your legs or whatever, and it mm-hmm. it cold squeezes your muscles to get them to recover. I get all kinds of gadgets. Am I making that up? No. Do I have that right? Kinda. Now, yeah, I have it. They've been trying. Hey. To get, they've been trying to get me over there, but I haven't done that. But and then of course the needling's there too. Oh boy, dry needle. I'm telling you, that dry needle's. Like, I haven't got, got life on that yet. Well, you may not have anything that needs it, but right. I, I have a knot over here that I struggle with, and it really helps. You know what else mm-hmm. I got? Toe pass. <laughs> Toe pass surgery. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but I think won't you just come over and kind of kick the tires on the crawl therapy and go over and do something like that and just kind of ease into it. Mm-hmm. Take do, a look hey, around. Let me tell you this: mm-hmm. do not go to Span's deal. Do not. They get after it. Well, it, they, it's all cardio. That's all it is. Well, the yeah, knees will take that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they, you don't. You don't want to be part. I'm of trying that. to say them. I'd rather. I'd rather be able to walk. You know? What's step one, Bubba? Do you think in you getting back? Step one: picking up a medicine ball. Just walk in and pick it up and set it. There you go. <laughs> and keep in mind, and look, look how Span's built. See, his body's more like a woman, so it fits. Rick, Rick. No, Rick. no, Span is going to get I'm you, man. Gonna he's lean, <laughs> buddy. I, I, that's a compliment. I would say that he's in. A, he's in a, like an aerobics line of class with a bunch of women, and that, that works for him. I still won the last tennis match. Yeah. Yeah. Bubba. Rick and Bubba. This Thursday, Rick and Bubba show members headed to Washington, D.C., the East Wing of the White House, where we'll be interviewing some of the folks with the Trump administration, and we'll have those interviews for you on Friday's edition of the Rick and Bubba show. Speedy, uh, the real Greg Burgess, and Helmsy are here. Uh, also, uh, we have um, Adler doing RBTV, and we got Scad Row and Swim Shady and Peg Leg Meg at Rick and Bubba University getting their degree in common sense. There's Bubba. Hi. You know, when you said that we're going to the White House to do interviews, somebody just reached down and adjusted their knob because yes, they didn't they think did. they heard that. We have been invited to the White House to do interviews about tax reform. <clears throat> and I know a lot of you are waiting for us to unpack tax reform well, for you, but I mean. You know what? I, I think on that one topic, we probably got as good a grasp on it as anybody. Well, yeah, because we do have our degree in common sense and it seems to lack like it. 
We're so we'll, we'll talk with some of the members of the administration, and there's, we don't know who we're going to get, uh, but we've re- we've made requests. We will get some. We don't know who. Right. And, of course, we asked for Trump, but you never, yeah. you never know how yeah. that's going to go. And then Bubba uncomfortably asked to interview Melania. Which is really weird. What I mean, well, I mean, well, Betty, it, Betty it really wanted be. to uh, to meet her before she she she's interested in a couple of things about Melania and asked me if I could, you know if I could get close enough to interview her just to find out. Probably would like to talk to her about any tips she could give her for how to deal with a husband who can be difficult. Right. right. You know what right, I mean. Right. So that, uh, that's that's probably yeah. part of it. <laughs> that, part that, of that, it. Could, <laughs> that could be it. She's gonna be a tax reform <laughs> spokesman. Yes. Uh, well, Melania, you never know. Melania may know all about it. She might. Mm-hmm. Y'all hear that pin drop? What yeah. is that? What are you, some kind of misogynist? No, not at all. Huh? Not at all. It's just she's not on the short list. Speedy of, does uh, massages. <laughs> <laughs> no, <sure. laughs> I just wish you could have heard the the three three Mississippi seconds of silence. It was uh, when I we asked the White House about that. Well, it was just like she's the first lady. She might want to talk about her platform. Three well, Mississippi. Look, she, she's bound to be pretty sharp, doesn't she? Speak about four or five languages. <laughs> All right, seven minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866, we be big. Thanks for being with us. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Uh, to start another hour, and we welcome back for a brand new hour. Hey, right there, uh, there's Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here. Thank right all there. of you for joining us. Dial us up, 866-WE-BE-BIG. We would love to chat with you. Lines are available. We'll start this hour actually talking to you. Uh, also, don't forget, make some programming notes. Another Rick and Bubba University, the podcast, coming out this weekend. Uh, we'll do that today. And then tomorrow, Bubba Rama. It'll be Bubba and the boys. Uh, I will be away uh, is part of our family. Uh, they limit it, unfortunately, to only eight people. But I understand because these are big colleges with a lot of people. So those, uh, uh, a Big Love got us some tickets. We're going to see him graduate from Mississippi State University. His ceremony for the school that he's in will actually be 930 in the morning central time in Mississippi. So nothing much we can do there. And uh, so I'll have to miss the show tomorrow. Appreciate the guys stepping up and uh, uh, allowing me that opportunity to be there for – this special moment, of course, it will probably lead to a great story on Monday's show, I'm sure, as I have to try to get the family to Mississippi in a Coliseum, sit down, and after our kid goes across the stage, get them out of the Coliseum quietly while not ruining the experience for other people. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, And then take everybody to lunch. Quite a task. Mm. <sighs> so uh, <laughs> to, the, to the phones we go, 866-WE-BE-BIG, uh, uh, and then, of course, you, you've got a, a you know college kids uh, that uh, is I know that this is the good news when it comes to your kids in graduation and, and some of you know this already, but college graduation, there's only so much they can do to mess up a cap and gown. Now they mm-hmm. can, yeah, yeah, they can, you know, like what shoes he's gonna have on, right. what pants he's got underneath it, all that. I'm sure all that. There's no telling, oh, you know, right. you know, and, and uh, Keep but, the yeah, on, kid. Yeah, but but the good news is there's only so much you can mess up as as a as a, right. as a cap and gown. Yeah. So. Uh, so I think we'll be okay there. But try with uh, combing your hair, buddy. Right. If you wouldn't, wouldn't so mind it looks that. nice. Right. And y'all throw yeah. it. Right. Did, did you did you did you leave that cap underneath something? It, it looks well, like you just you, hope they get there with it. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. it looks like you just found it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go to the phones. Uh, Rick and Kalira. Rick, welcome to the Rick and Bubba show. Go ahead. Good morning, Green Acres. Thank hey, you. Thank you. It? Thank you. <laughs> man, man. Go ahead. And you, Rick, you will love the MSU graduation experience. They do it right. They're they're, they're the Chick Fil A of uh, of uh, graduation, so yeah. they do it right. Well, let me tell you how I, just, how I, I agree with that. Yeah, because you know uh, uh, Scott Garoski's son and my son are, are big big buddies. They've known each other all the way through going to church together in high school and everything. And and Drew uh, Garoski graduated in December. He he got it done in less than four years. So. The fact that what's eating Scott Garoski even told me it runs smoothly, <laughs> and I mean, I mean, if you talk about yeah. somebody could find fault in it, right? And uh, he said, "Hey, you know, they they do it right." So I'm glad. I'm, that's good news. Don't want to mojo it, but no, go ahead. No. So, Rick, what's on your mind? And I was, th- well, I was thinking about that uh, uh, airplane landing by the guy who'd never flown before. Yeah. 
and I'm certainly glad that it wasn't Chandler Cox behind the wheel and it wasn't Charles Barkley in the air traffic control because that would have that would have resulted in completely different results. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Chandler, you got any idea how to Yeah, oh yeah, you see you you you're, you're right. Uh, just put I mean just land the plane. I mean I got to get back and talk to Ernie Johnson. He want to tell me, hey, uh, Daryl, uh, he just want to say hello. Uh, to the phones. Did, did Barkley we got, make it on last night? Did uh, I'm they do sure. coverage again? Or was it? You know, I don't know. Network? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> Hi there. No, bro. I made my way back. I had to fly private. I'm tired, man. <laughs> Let's go to Whitney. I mean, Whitney. Whitney. Wendy uh, in Tennessee. Hey, Wendy. Hi, good morning. Hey. How are you? We're, We're fantastic. Great. We hope you're good, Wendy. Who's walking down the streets of the city, dialing up the Rick and Bubba show? Everyone knows it's Wendy. Okay. So, Wendy, what's on your mind? <laughs> well, uh, I am the Wendy that won the Moultrie and the Furmaster package like three weeks ago. Hey, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I bet you don't kill the big old gobbler. <laughs> no, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. We are actually turkey hunters. We are like deer hunters. Um, but um, it took me a while, you know, to figure out all of the because it was a massive amount of calls <laughs> that was in that prize box. Um, so, um, but my favorite though is the Spurmaster one, Gary's. <laughs> um, and so when I figured out how to use it. It didn't call no turkey up, but I tell you what, my husband popped out of nowhere and gave me the best back massage I've ever had in my life. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes. I, I mean, little Gwen calls me in with the slur master all the time. I mean, that, that's funny. That's good. Uh, to the phone, Sandy, Bay St. Louis. Sandy. Sandy, how you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? Good. All right, good. Rick, have you been to the hunt before? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. You've sat in those chairs. I have. <laughs> and nope. you're going to take your father there. I know. <laughs> thanks. You're going to be so miserable. <laughs> thanks, Sandy. Thanks. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> I love the way she's laughing. Yeah, thank, you. <laughs> thank you for that. Thanks. That's <laughs> fine. Good Sandy, we, we get to leave. Hey, whenever, whenever they call Big Love out, though, we get to leave. We ain't got to stay the whole time. Easy. I've, already told him to, I've already told him to sit up front. Don't be meandering around. So I mean, Rick, we, he'll want to wait around and get pictures with his fellow graduates. Well, they, we can do that after, you know, yeah, once outside. You, yeah, so outside. You go outside. Yeah, and wait. A, yeah. uh, You'll want one of them skinny chairs. <laughs> I, I, boy, those chairs. I mean, they. You haven't told your parents about. Oh, it won't take long. Are you giving them? Mm-mm. I mean, I wouldn't do that because I would say, man, it's going to take a while. So when it doesn't, mm-hmm. everybody's like, oh wow, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. But my biggest controversy now is nobody wants to sit in the very back seats of uh, mom and dad's car because everybody now claims they get car sick. Yeah. The entire family. Yeah. Well, somebody's got to sit back there. You may, you may have to take more than one car. Right? I know. That I may have a backup. I may have to take one myself. I meet everybody there. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm just about to that point a lot of times. I really? don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Philip. Of course, and, if you know, diesel wasn't $5 a gallon. <laughs> right. <hell. laughs> Philip in, uh, in Alabama. Philip, go ahead. Uh, how you doing, you guys? Great. Doing great. Good, good. I wanted to make a comment. I'm driving down the road wearing my gloves with my matching penny. Uh, the talk on the radio this morning is about Speedy. The reason he was cussing on the course is because they wouldn't allow him to smoke his cigarette. And there we go. And there, there we is. go. Waiting on that one. That one. And, uh, it took longer than I thought, by the way. Well, they, they were some smoking cigars, so they were letting yeah, some smoking go. Yeah, you got to smoke yeah. cigar, go. Uh, Cliff in Mississippi. Back to it's no sport. Uh, Cliff in Mississippi, <laughs> hey, go ahead. Hey. Hey, Rick. Listen, my daughter is graduating at 9.30 in the morning as well. And what I need to do, I need to get you to save me eight seats in the Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just hey, at, least, at least it's a pretty big Coliseum. Yeah, quick question, though. On the way over, are y'all going over Cotaquilla Mountain or, or around? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right. I, yeah, that's that, a big that, argument. Uh, why, now, why are you going this way, son? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you, yeah. Well, you going to go through Gordo and Reform? Yeah, Any way you go, he ain't going to lie. Bubba told no. me you can go around all that. <laughs> yeah, Bubba <laughs> found another way to. Yeah. yeah, it's very scenic. We didn't think we were ever going to see him. You got about 30 extra minutes to spare. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's go to. Uh, ready for the toll? I am. I'm okay. always ready for that. Okay. Why Big Love won't do that is uh, it did drives me nuts. <laughs> you won't pay a dollar fifty to miss all of Tuscaloosa? Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> let's say too much. Let's go to Kevin in Odenville. Kevin, go ahead. 
Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. hey. Ooh, in a bucket. That's so funny. Mac, Mac, Mac. <laughs> Is that what he did? Uh, I think. His phone, if not, I his phone went yeah, south. I didn't get it. That might be the uh, worst phone we've had today. Jeremy, Jeremy and Prattville. Jeremy, go ahead. Hey, guys. Love the show. I'm a truck driver, and no, I do not wear gloves while I drive. But I had one question about the pronunciation of Talladega. Yeah. Just My pants. mother and I have had this discussion before about Talad. She calls it Talladega. Yeah. D-I-G. I Talladega. Well, the locals say Talladega. Yeah, Greg, you're you're this your uh, kind of. I'm a Talladega person. Talladega. Yeah. I say Talladega. I may be wrong. Yeah, Talladega. Like big yeah, D I G. Yeah. Y'all are all saying different things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually I actually say oh, Talladega. Point. You say Diga. Yes. Diga. I don't say Diga. I, I say, say Diga. I say Talladega. What about Talladega? I what about Dega? I I don't say. I never say Dega. Okay. Never. I say Dega. You do. Yeah. Like daytime. Yeah. yeah I say okay. Diga Longy. Yeah. Yes. Talladega. You do say D. Yeah, yeah. Hard E. Yeah, yeah. And proud of it. How would Beth Moen say it, Rick? <laughs> We're standing down here at Talladega. <laughs> Coming out of turn one here at Talladega. I think Greg and I are probably technically wrong, but we're just the way that everybody yeah. says it. Grand Throw Marshal it Chandler Cox. Start <laughs> your engines. He starts mine. All the way. Look at that. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. If you're a regular. You know, I haven't mastered one yet. Let's let's be honest. She's probably smarter than all of us. Oh, oh no! Yeah, this yeah, is not yeah, about yeah, her yes, being yes. smart. It's, right. it's not. It's not. It has it's nothing to do with that. What do you think? She's some dumb. I just don't, she I just think don't, she's a trophy wife. I just don't mm-hmm. think she's out. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, on the list of of spokesmen for the tax reform. I bill. guess you're looking through that filter of some kind of <laughs> ego. Yeah, she may have been an advisor on. Yeah. It. I, I can was, promise I you this: looking. if she came on the show, he would not ask a, a tax reform question right. at all. Well, Speedy didn't think she can handle it. That's not true. Because he's a male chauvinist. Hey, thirty-five pound bar hush. That's just not. But you understand the point why. Use it. I know. Right. <laughs> That's brilliant, actually. <laughs> um, but he was. She wasn't on the list of names available. I can tell you that. Right. Well. But we asked for. Her. Did you put her on the list? Mm-hmm. You okay. did. You never know. Um, we we're. By the way, this this question here. We're not taking Greg with us. Christy uh, Richard. No, Greg's been banned. He's not going. Yeah. No shirtless walk by. I need a shirtless walk by. Well, <laughs> that would be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, 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 the, 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 the shirtless walk bys have been a tradition on the show for a long time. Now Greg has taken up that 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 banner, but mm-hmm. uh, yes. right. you know we've we've walked through some of the best best sets and shots and live things that you've ever seen. Well, Sherry, Sherry and I, my my, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> my wife and I, the cheese straws got, got into quick. the discussion about one of the most famous ones. Yeah, uh, at dinner on Saturday night after we uh, had the the deal at Jacksonville State. And Sherry and I got home and, and went out to dinner, and we were discussing that that came up Saturday night about the the most famous shirtless mm-hmm. walkthrough that remember like that, it was yesterday that really really angered oh a, still uh, to this day. Well, you know, but you know, ain't nothing between us but air and opportunity, <laughs> right, right? You know, I mean, that. surely we could move on. Was that been eighteen years ago? Uh, but anyway, the uh, <laughs> by, about three presidents later, <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, but the funny thing was, see, my wife was working. Uh, which yeah. she appreciated that for mm-hmm. the television station that we did that to, which she said she appreciated us bringing that uh, drama to her. Yeah. But, uh, and, uh, but, but it, you know how somebody will just go on and on about something. And then finally she was like, Hey, I understand that you made the point. All right. Now I'm getting to the point where that's my husband. And you really, if, if this is what you want to do, go do it, <laughs> take him on. But I got to warn you, it, it may not go the way you want. All right. Because I, I, you know, I still knew then. I still had a little bit of old Rick in me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't. I, I was. I, I, I'd become a follower of Jesus, but I was still new. I tell you, there's there's <laughs> you another know? one you have forgotten about that really would probably be we could get a lot of mileage out of if, uh, if I could dub it and get it into you. It's pretty funny. With Paulie. Oh yeah. Were we shirtless in that one too? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And gosh. you know you can't have fun like that now because it yeah. wasn't an issue then. Mm. But. Yeah, you know, you could take your shirt off and kiss somebody else on top of the head and not be a big deal. But yeah, now, you yeah. Know, well, undoubtedly, yeah, I saw a story uh, over the weekend. You can take your shirt off at a pet rally; it's not a big deal, <laughs> hey, even if you're the head football coach. Rick. Boy, that was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs>
You talk about <laughs> lacking discernment and wisdom. Now, but um, now, why are you getting on him like you got on me yesterday? I, I said Rick. But did you get in trouble with this too? I brought it he up. Brought a couple it up times twice and made him uncomfortable. Well, it was in the news. I mean, that's it, what I uh, said. Yeah, I mean, just how about if you don't about want it. nobody to talk about it, don't do it. Very uncomfortable Thank you. about it. Well said. Well, it made us all uncomfortable. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, oh, I couldn't watch. You it. was secondhand embarrassment. I don't know oh, how you made it. <laughs> you hadn't even seen it. I had sure to kind of, be honest with you. I had to kind of force through it and see it real fast. Right, let me so ask you, that. you had that in HW the same day. Does, I know. Uh, no, does it bother you then? Honestly, with that in you, when Bubba and I would walk into live shots and Greg walks into live no, see, shots, that's funny to me. Yeah, that that's funny because I know it's coming. It right. depends on where we're at. Right for for me, if it's something that's dear to you, it bothers you, doesn't it? Well, like the region's he tradition wants to be thing serious. was uncomfortable. Yeah, he didn't like it. That. Was uncomfortable. You thought golf should be treated better. Well, I, I, you know, I, well, I'm just asking. I've matured in that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but that I couldn't great, really care anymore. Great, that was a great uh, opportunity, though. It was. It was a great opportunity, and I laughed. Look, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying I don't well, laugh you, about it. You I think it's a, funny. I'm just not going to do it. You got to have several things in place. You got to have a good area in the back you can walk through. Yeah. You got to have yeah. somewhere you can get prepped, and you know, you had Look, it all. That was. I mean, it was tailor made for that. Look, Helmsy has been very. I, I mean, he, he, he's not hiding it. Yeah, I'm very he, open he, lo- about he loves what the show brings him. Okay, as far as you know, availabilities and and chances to do things, whatever. But it sometimes yeah. it, it embarrasses him too. Well, it's like bringing your family places. Sometimes you're like, okay, guys, look, th- you know, I know what you mean. And I've I, look, and I think I've grow, I've grown out of it, growing out of it a little bit too. But we've all gone really places did. that we're glad that the show's not with us. <clears throat> when ten, I'll say this: yeah. ten, probably eight to ten years ago, when we did regions, I was mm-hmm. I was just it was awful for me to be there. To oh, be buddy, honest. I'm sorry. Yeah, did we embarrass you? So, It is 22 minutes past. You want to hear how the chief says it? Yeah. He's from Calhoun County. That's true. He's from. Yeah. He ain't from around here, though. He's from Calhoun County. Yeah. That's why I got called to ask us, because he knew we'd know. Let's see what he says. The Taladay. Saying Dago. 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 He's saying Dago. He ain't from around here. Day. How, how would y'all say it in Mississippi, Speedy? Call it Dago Day. Y'all said Dago. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. They don't say that in Tallahassee County, I promise you that. <laughs> in Calhoun County. Let's try it again. Talladega. Talladega. He, he said says more Dega. He said Dega that yeah. time. Talladega. <laughs> He's, he's, in, he's in between Dig and Day. He is. I was in Talladega. Talladega. <laughs> <Now I'm laughs> <big. laughs> How does Tebow say it, Greg? Talladega. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. It was so quick. It was so quick. Oh, my goodness. All right, so what what is this? You, you mentioned this, Bubba, too, and I'll let you know. Video, video three there, Adler. So what's what's happening here? You you were trying to tell me this earlier in the show too, where the they sent the video out at, to honor people who got out of the car to help the woman. And what is, yeah, what is this? I, I, what, have, I have not seen what, the clip. What, what is I, I was, all this? I was Adler? reading about it earlier this or morning. Or Speedy, the one. So what what is this? Are they saying that this is the way we should behave? And Cut they want three. People, they want people to see it. Yeah, it, this is this happened in Boynton Beach, and uh, evidently a lady passed out in a car, and then other passengers know. jumped out. And this is just security footage, so there is not audio. And by the way, why do we have tons and tons of cameras that can record images but not video or, or no audio, audio now? Yeah, can we know. add audio to security cameras now? That doesn't seem like that would be a very big stretch, would it? No. We, have, we have cameras on phones now. Let's add microphones to security cameras. But mm-hmm. anywho. Yeah, you're talking about a very little amount of, uh, you know, of memory trying mm-hmm. to save the audio. Yeah, so yeah. this is an intersection cam here. Okay. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. and you can that. see where pe- other people jump in, other... Um, uh, no, bike. we're talking about the car coming across there. there you go. <laughs> Look at it just wow. creeping oh, through yeah. that busy intersection. Oh, and no. now this lady runs up, and she's like, oh, my goodness. She's knocking on the window. Help, help. Person oh, my wow. goodness. Motorcycle guy doesn't help at all. He really no. doesn't. He Nobody's doesn't. helping. She's, like, screaming. And then finally other people come around. They're like, oh, my goodness. And don't the get car, in front of it. Don't get in front of it. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. trying to stop it. And then uh-huh. they stop the car. Because she was out. that slow roll. She's out, man. And now they're trying to break the windows. Get in there, and then I think what's somebody, Joe Biden doing trying to break the window? I think somebody brings up with one of those uh, hammer things. Yeah. Oh, safety hammer! Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's the Rick and Bubba one. Boom, Look, there you go, right there. I think it was the Rick and Bubba one. 
and then they get in the back seat of the car, What's unlock it, and the dude jumps in to unlock the front, and then they unlock the driver's seat, and man, she's still out the whole yeah, time she's a, out. Of course, they, did, they did a good job. There's Greg that. leaving. You see the other cars like just riding light. by. It's Greg no, they leaving. Got they, they got it. They got yeah, it. I'm out. They don't need any more help. No, Greg, yeah. Greg, my, if I get out of my car, I'm just blocking the road. Yeah. That's right. It's another How am I going to make my haircut appointment? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Greg, I've got hungry. Wow, that's tough. Drive through college. That's going to mess my afternoon. That's right. But it it does it does take some initiative to be that first person to try to help. Do you love the blue car backed up Oh my gosh, she's just to hit me. Man, oh, yeah. Well, it, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, look at the guy for a minute right here. Look at Joe Biden. Joe Biden goes over here. He, he what did they? He, he's like, oh, that hurt. Joe, look at Joe. <laughs> he did it one <laughs> time. <laughs> it is Joe. He tried it one time. <laughs> look, there he goes. He's like, yeah, that's, that's you. Oh, there's some more people here. I'm out. Uh, yeah, they got it. Boom. What was wrong with the person they were saying? She had some medical emergency, but she's fine now. And she says later that she wishes she was a millionaire so that she could buy a boat for everybody that helped. A boat? Why a boat? I don't know why she picked a boat. She's kind of mad about her windshield. Oh, Boynton (laughs) Beach. This is in Florida. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, water. Okay. Boats are are part of the commodity Well, she said my back door is open. Why'd you break it? Yeah, why'd you break the window? That's also in the lesson this week. Do y'all remember when I was in Washington, D.C.? and the person fell asleep and smashed into the gas station yeah. and I was right there and I like yeah. jumped in the I back of the that, bed yeah. and I was like telling everybody what to do and stuff. People no. will break your windows. People will, if you fall asleep behind the wheel, your, your windows are getting smashed. You, you just got to know that. We, yeah. I mean, we, we smashed your windows. That's, that's the cost of stuff. passing out at the wheel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. So remember a couple of weeks ago, we were backed up and I got out and a guy had fallen asleep. And that's right. And, and look, I'm talking about everybody chin and chest. To- like, yeah. <laughs> right, he, he was out. Banging on the window, and, and then the lady that uh, she, I believe, ended up being okay because I followed up with the family. She had a stroke, but nobody know, knew it. I mean, she come out, she was like, Rick, what, Rick, and, Rick. And, Rick. And, 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 I mean, okay. and I, she what, was, what was in that speed Oh, she was <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> What about being serious? Greg, Greg, but she ended up being okay. Greg, Greg what if all but this would have happened? They broke Greg. Greg Jason and I were trying to get her out. Greg, what if they went through all this, broke the window, everything, got around there, and she's returning an email? Yeah, yeah. look, she went, what? She just looked up and said, what's going on? Can y'all give me a minute? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get this in. This is a report they're waiting on. Because so they are looking down. a minute. <laughs> but I think she was on, was she on the wheel. I think she was on the wheel. <laughs> she was out. She have to act it out. Yeah. <laughs> you ever wonder that, Greg? Why, why, why does he have to act it out? <laughs> She's like, you know, <laughs> she was, it's just, Rick, Rick. <laughs> it's, it's gonna, it's like a volcano erupting. He just can't, he can't stop. Help it. It, can't. Lava's gonna flow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, and 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 praise God, the the elderly woman was oh, okay. Of but uh, JC and I pulled over, and and once we headed that way others did but um she was really trying mm-hmm. to communicate but she couldn't she was having a medical yeah, emergency don't give me that uh, so, and, i mean and then, of course there were some gregs that were you know going through the yard man get out of the way <laughs> we, <laughs> speedy's <laughs> ability to save people has been well documented I, show, I, I, but look if know, they're clearly covered what more do i am i going to do? you right. know what i like though now he's teaching the next generation <laughs> he is yeah well, Jason, we, we, we were in the if car. You, if you looked at this, it's almost like Speedy's holding a conference somewhere. <laughs> right, and that's and, not true. And this is one of the drills right. they're doing. Yeah. 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 Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere on the Rick. way home, Rick. Rick, somewhere on the way home. But look, we're gonna face an emergency. Look at the lady. Right. I look at the lady. She's coming over two lanes. Now, three. She could have got ran over. You, that ain't no sense yeah. you don't put yourself in, in I, harm's I, way. I don't see how she what? she could tell what was going on. Well, she was she was in traffic beside her. It looks like there was a, another lane in between them or something. Yeah, but she, there was nobody well, in between them. She did a great she's, job. Yeah. She's a great job. Right. She's why, a hero. Girl. Why are they she running sure at the, the Keystone right. Cop speed? If they, is, the, is the film sped up? It's sped up. Rick and Bubba. Well, I didn't know. It wasn't that you embarrassed me. It was the thought of what is about to happen. Is it going to yeah, cause I trouble? Couldn't, I couldn't enjoy myself. Right. 
because I was thinking, oh, goodness, what's about to happen? Oh, wait a minute. I see the deal. Because, see, like I'm in a situation like that, and I admit that it's, you know, and I don't mean The last few years, I I embrace it. I'm not going to go do it, but I want y'all to do it. Like, I'm like, hey, Greg, go do this. Well, there's things that you think, oh, oh, no, I'm in with the group, and they don't care if they're never invited back here, but I do. Right. And see, see, that's when we're dangerous, when I think, well, what's the worst thing going to do to us? Not have us come back to a place where where I don't care if I come here or not? I've been uninvited from some of the finest places around. I know. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you went from uninvited to Grand Marshall. One time. You got to admit, yeah. what a, that was a two points for a turnaround. That's that's a that's yeah. a big accomplishment. Do you think at any point during the White House trip we'll be at the White House and somebody's going to embarrass the show? Yes. Okay. Yep. I, well, you it's, can bet it's, on that. It's different there, though. I mean, most places don't have guards with machine guns. Right. They've already told us that. that that'll call some of your fun factor right there. All right. Somebody said questions they want us to ask. I'm confused about the tax rate on an S corp. Could you ask, please? <laughs> <laughs> that's handled. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. little give me some water uh bubba as we get ready to move forward um there is much to do uh, i know we are discussing we have we have no uh, indication yet may everything may be fine you know we're supposed to go talk tax reform tomorrow in the east wing of the white house but now the vote on the tax reform bill has been delayed so well, I, I, it's not the vote they haven't rolled it out well, yet. I yeah. yeah, they have not yeah. put it out because they don't think they got the votes they need right now. right so they're still discussing it, so there is the question, how can we discuss something that doesn't exist? Um, huh. We'll be watching that situation closely, and it may uh, require a postponement uh, of the trip. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so uh, we may be going, going there anywhere because you said it may be that they actually roll it out before we get there tomorrow. We yeah, know, they, so we'll they've got a hang-up or two, uh, and, and you know, they've got to have all Republicans on board here to make it work. And uh, especially in the Senate. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you never know when John McCain's going to go up there and pull a stunt. So, right. um, boy. The hang up, I understand, there's, there's one or two points. One is the deduction for your state and local taxes. And the, the folks from the states that have a high state tax and city taxes, uh, you know, that, that are based on income are, are not on board with this yet because they're saying, look, you take that deduction away, you may be giving us a tax cut rate on the other side. We still end up paying more, so it ain't it ain't accomplishing what it wants. Of course, those states and cities could just have lower taxes, but that's not going to happen. No, that's a whole other right. deal. So here they are on one side saying people are to pay more. On the other side, they're complaining because people – can't get a deduction. I, I don't. Yeah, it's I, 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 it, it's that, all it's that, all that seems in the a fine bit schizophrenic print. for me. Yeah. Uh, well, it, they'll they'll wrestle that around today. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Also, we had a big terror attack in New York City last night mm. or yesterday afternoon, and uh, we'll have to unpack that and ask some very uncomfortable questions dealing with that uh, again. This would be the largest loss of life in a terror attack in New York since 9/11. Um, and on a lighter and more fun side, we do have the first college football playoff out and uh, our poll out coming uh, for that, and uh, a couple of surprises maybe for some folks. Right, and the World Series goes to Game 7. Well, there's a shocker. Uh, the Dodgers uh, get it done last night and force the Game 7, and uh, so once again, baseball just continues. I was getting the, the updates last night, how they continue to be patriotic and, and I mean, just keep rolling out this stuff. They're really, really, really grabbing some ground here, and I think their strategy is is wise, and uh, and and I, w- I agree with you. I think they realize this is an opportunity, and they're taking it, taking advantage of it. I know Ham was going to hate the fact that it went to Game Seven because he knew I was going to bring it up. But sure, no, I don't, we can't I, we can't deny the facts. No, no, no. I I, I think it goes to Game Seven because we have the best two baseball teams on the planet battling it out, mm-hmm. and I can't wait to see it. I'm glad it's Game Seven. Who don't want a Game Seven? Yeah, right. That's nice. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. And if stuff. you go down that road, you just you, 
people think you're crazy. So I, yeah. you know, they no, don't. No, you you're making my point. A game seven is always better for. Every- Thirty-five minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show. Eight six six, we be big is the number. And I do want to talk about this because the story I'm about to tell you has to do with getting a good night's sleep. So sad. What about it, Adler? Jamie's crying. Uh, so as uh, we make our way back, helixsleep.com slash Bubba. See, uh, Greg, you have the Helix mattress. Uh, you and Lisa uh, sleeping uh, every night on this wonderful, wonderful mattress. Oh, yes. You know why it's customized for you? you hey, they don't want to send you somebody else's mattress. Custom made. Right? Why do you need a mattress for people that sleep on their back when you don't? That's right. Hmm? That's a waste of time. You don't sleep on your back. I don't. So uh, what good is it doing me? Uh, so they ask you about sleeping on how you sleep, and uh, I'm a stomach side guy. What about your preference on your firmness of the mattress? Right. I don't I, I don't like one that I fall down in, and I, I get. A, I, I want some, one that's firm. That's I, it. And I know what you did. You like everybody. Else, you ordered that medium, did yeah, you? yeah, I did somewhere in between. That I just really, in case I, I wasn't ready to commit extremely either way, so I went middle. Can I tell you what I wasn't ready for, Bubba, in the aging process? I'm now a firm mattress guy. Oh, listen, I am too. Firm, the firmer the better. I gotta have it, yeah, I, 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 I gotta have it now, yeah. I, I do too. If not, I have to go sleep out, out yeah. on the ground. And the fact, just the weight I'm buckling, most of them, I think that may, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it right, right there in the middle, <laughs> sinking down. Uh, but anyway, helixsleep.com slash Bubba can help you. Uh, and they'll customize a mattress, send it right to you. We're getting you $200 off uh, plus free shipping uh, and a 100-day free trial. If you don't like it, uh, then you can um, then you can send it back. But you're going to love it. Uh, so go to helixsleep.com slash Bubba and get it sent right to your house from beautiful North Carolina. And uh, I can't wait to hear you talking about it as much as Greg and Lisa talk about it. That's right. Make a note for young Scruggs. The last hour pops the most. <laughs> yeah, it does. No, I mean, really, I'm not, I'm not, know, I'm not know, trying to be a smart aleck. I heard it. I heard it too, I'm not trying too. to be a smart aleck. I think that, you know, if you're trying to if you're trying to follow the problem, mm-hmm. you want all that information because you would think, well, then it can't be what I think it is because then it would pop the same amount all the time. The popping is worse in this hour than the other hours. Really? Yeah. And usually right around now. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Isn't yeah. that crazy? That is weird. So think about it. Does that mean that the rest of people are starting to use other things? Are we sharing something? Which would take him back yep. to some yeah. other suggestions yeah. he's had. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so just huh. – so, so, There it is again. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's popping right now. Right there, right there again. It's again. bacon. Yeah. It's bacon right now. It is. Okay, we, there is bacon. Well, I hadn't heard it yet. Yeah. Well, then no. we got problems. <laughs> right, Greg. Greg, no, that's another problem. Yeah. That's uh, another. I want you to stay with that one time and go, well, what are you talking about? What are y'all talking about? What's so – Got to tell you what happened to me last night. As you know, Bubba, we just talked about sleep. For everybody, sleep is important, okay? But if you're somebody well, – the thing about it with the way our lives are, and a lot of people work this way, we don't have it to give up. You know, we, we don't have it to lose because let's say that I have to be at work at, say, 8, mm-hmm. okay? And I have some issues during my sleep. It's almost like – Getting up at eight has allowed me a bigger window to try yeah, to definitely. grab six out of. Yeah. yeah. So we don't have a very big window to try to go get six or seven out of it. It's not. Ooh. It's a very small window Mm-mm. because that 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 wake up time it, it's 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 moved in mm-hmm. and it doesn't mm. give you. It, hey, Greg, the only room you got is on the front end. But oh my goodness, I I yeah, just really you don't want to do that. I just really can't live a life where I go to bed at seven, eight o'clock. And, I, and I, Rick, I just, I, in the, the daylight. No. Yeah. And you know, I have the theory that every minute, every hour you get up before six o'clock is multiplied by two so if you get up at four it's really like getting up at two in the morning yeah but yeah. You, you but you know how sometimes and, and i know, affected me and, and i know for <laughs> us for us apparently it takes a lot a lot but oh, but boy. there are times when you finally go i'm gonna make that change because i'm now being hassled so much by not making the change i'm gonna make the change All right and i'm so gonna op- i'm gonna said. openly admit that, that, that we love wow. the, that, that we love the simply safe bubba dot com systems they are the new innovative deal we talk about them a lot and i ha- and i am using them but i'm not using it at at the house we've been in for 20 years because i'm too lazy and i just don't want to fool with making the change and that's on me now that's probably about to happen right, right. because about what happened last night so i'm so archaic on on the security system for that house now the security <laughs> system works mm-hmm. but i'm just talking about the the, the design of yeah. it yeah 
and that well, is, it was it's what was there when you got yeah, the house. Yeah, that's how was, that's yeah. how it was done yeah. back then. So it it's still tied to a landline mm. phone line. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Huh. And and of course mm. you know it's been so long since I fooled with it. I'm just doing the I'm leaving. It's on. I'm home. It's off. I really have no other interaction with it. Mm-hmm. You know, other than then you do the one where you go to bed and everything's on except where you are. So anyway, uh, so. We we're, we're Sherry and I. I mean, we are sawing logs. I mean, we are in the we're in the deepest of sleep. Okay, one thirty a.m. Okay, you don't get any more sleep than that. You yeah, know, what? you're 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 deep sleep. Yeah, and and so all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> and and I'm like, and, and you know when you start, and your mind's okay. you, you start waking up, and I, first, that, ain't a, that ain't a normal no, alarm. No, though. no the yeah. first thing I do then what is start slapping the clock. clock. Yeah. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. And I'm, like, and I'm like, that's not my clock. That's Make not my it clock. stop. Make yeah. it you stop. Start, wait, that's not my clock. And then, you know, then what's funny is when both of you are asleep. Because uh-huh. there's nobody. Uh, can, yeah. it's Nobody's like, got it's any It's the blind sense. leading the blind. Hey, what is that? You know what that is? <laughs> I know, is the house on fire? And I, now, that was one of them. Is the house on fire? I said, I don't think that's the house on fire sound. <laughs> and, and so so I get up. <laughs> and, 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 I, and, and I look over and I see the panel for the security <laughs> system and it's a, a green light just flashing. Somebody broke in. And I, and it, 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 somebody direct, get your gun. I'm like, baby, I don't think this is what this is telling us. That there's no sirens going off and mm-hmm. hair standing yeah. straight up. We're not getting up. any of that. This is <laughs> and this I'm and is, I, this is I'm not happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I go over there and, it, and it's telling me maintenance, maintenance required, maintenance required. And I'm like, what? And I'm looking and I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and I'm flipping that, you know, flipping the panel down. And I can't, what does that say? And like, Rick, turn it off. And so when all else fails, what do you do? You put your coat in. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. And then, yeah, and then, then and you then, go to that. And then it stops. And then it says, because I can't read it to begin with, <laughs> it's telling me that it wants me to star a number to just for it to tell me what's wrong, but I keep pounding the number yeah. and like that, and, I, and I'm like, yes. "Tell me, do something." What are you doing? At that time of morning, yeah. starring oh, pounds yeah, yeah, very yeah, close. I, to I'm each hitting other. pounds. Then Focus. I open your eyes, and then I, and then it's like, have you ever had this? The other your other self walks in the room that's that's coherent. Hey, buddy, look and see if that's what it's asking you to do. Calm that, down. See if that's really it. So I look and I go, "Oh, it's star," and I star whatever. Now I haven't. I've had to go find my glasses. You know what I mean. So then it stops, and I go, "Okay, what? Where is the, is the house on fire?" I said, "The house is not on fire." Good news. Now you got you got your gun, I, baby. I do have my gun, but the, the house is not on fire. No I, intruder. I, I think it's something wrong with the security system. I lay down. I start thinking about. All right, if I fall asleep like right now, and I mean, if I just yeah, and, and just about time, I'm almost back. To, <laughs> and, 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 and say, and I'm like, no okay. way you can ignore it. And, I, and, I, and I'm like, I, I go over and start. Rick, find, I can't believe you didn't take a shoe and just beat uh, the thing. Well, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. The next thing is, I'm going to take it and rip it off the wall. Mm-hmm. All right, so I go over there and I'm like, Rick, the house is on fire again. And, and I start, it's a, it is on fire. No, it's not. So then, the intruder's back. Then I hit, uh, the then I hit the, the star thing again, and I see it says phone line. And I say, what, what's going on? What is, what is it doing there? <laughs> I don't know, baby. I'm trying to get stopped. I stopped it once. Why did it do it again? <laughs> if I knew that, yeah, it'd be over. I'd be back you know, in bed yeah, asleep. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it'd be over. Yeah, and, and I said, <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, so piercing, so piercing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. then I, then I, which is what it's supposed to do. Sure. And, and then I said, the phone lines must be compromised somehow, baby. I'm, I, I don't know what to do. The same phone line. But then I, but then I realized, what just just saying you acknowledge is not enough. So I say, <laughs> y'all about to laugh real hard at me. I said, baby, who 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 am I supposed to call? And she's like, huh. I said, I don't even know who to call. I said, I, I haven't talked to these people in so long. I don't even know who to call. Who are we even with? <laughs> like that. I don't know. I mean, you don't know who you don't know who to call. I'm, I don't. Nope. I don't know who to call. She goes. And then she rolls over. She gets her cover. She goes. And I, and I said, buy my shoes. <laughs> and I said, What'd you say? I said, You bought more shoes. You bought shoes again. What? And why no, are you bringing it up? No. No. There's a there's some kind of box thing in there. It's just back here behind where the shoes. Get and I, and I said, I said, is there something in the closet I'm supposed to go find? Buy my shoes. 
<laughs> and, I, and I said, oh, okay. So I, so I go in there behind. I start the moving shoes. And, of course, mm, there it is. I mean, you got to have – it, it's kind of like I, I said that, that men live in houses that women – it's their house. You're just kind of living in it. Mm. You also, if you share a closet, it's their closet, and your stuff's over in one corner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And so I start looking. I see it. I, I see that there's the box. I guess we're all the – The control panel. The control yeah. panel. Yeah. And I see the name of the place. Okay. With a phone number. If you don't think I'm a little behind the times <laughs> on this, I'm not making this up. I call the number. Guess what it tells me to do? To put my number into a digital beeper. Mm-hmm. What? I'm putting a number in a digital beeper. Oh, my gracious. And I'm, I'm like, well, how yeah. long ago? Uh, and, and, and so so anyway, so. so digital beeper. So, so, Remember those? So, so, I, so the guy calls me back. Does this thing have carrier pigeon backup? The, yeah. guy, the, guy, <laughs> the guy calls me back, okay, and uh, he says, uh, Okay, so what's going on? I said, I, th- I think something's wrong with the landline, and this thing won't stop telling me. And I, I really want him to say, oh, well, just do this, and it'll be done with it. Well, do you want me to come later today? No, no, hold. Uh, we're, <laughs> no, see, because no. under that sleep. scenario, every 30 minutes until mm-hmm. I have to get up, I'm going to get Mm-hmm. And I said, I- I'm done with that. I said, I got to get that. Now, to what s- time of morning is this? Now, this? now we're two a.m. Oh, and, uh, and I said, I got to get. I'd never get back. I, hey, I got to get that. St- I got to get that oh, stopped. Right. I got to stop now. I got to get that stopped. Did he I, suggest what about a little bit of topaz? Got, uh, he said, Have you, gotta, have, have you ever thought about <laughs> topaz? <laughs> so so anyway, he he goes, well, you want to disarm it? Oh, yeah, uh, and I, and I said, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's kind of why I, you know I put my number in the digital beeper. You know? <laughs> quiet. And, Want it to be uh, quiet. And <laughs> so when we come back. I'll tell you um, what happened after that. <laughs> and uh, and I said I really need that not to happen again. And by the way, I don't know if you phone company people are trying to work on the lines in the middle of the night. I get that, but if you shut it off, all of us that. I guess you figure there can't be anybody. None of those dinosaurs left. <laughs> right. I don't even know why y'all work on phone lines. Is anybody using for anything anymore? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Body. Oh, yeah. In uh, any series. Well, well, unless you're... I'm not making unless your point. <laughs> unless you're... Oh, please understand that. No, I'm not making your point. <laughs> unless you're, unless it's your team you're pulling for that didn't win it in the game. <laughs> it's not yeah. good for those people. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, used for the hole. It's for an extra hole. day for right. baseball. If you're I'm, a Houston Astros fan, this is not good for you. Yeah. I really <laughs> don't want it to be over. I don't either. <laughs> wow, it's been what, good. Uh, just go best out of 11. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It, it, it has the way been, these games have been from wow. somebody from somebody who has not watched or cared about baseball since probably my kids played little league. Yeah, uh, it, it, which is a long time ago <laughs> uh, because mine didn't play very long. Um, the uh, it, it is enjoyable. I, I've watched more baseball than I have, I like I said, in yeah. ten. 12 I think years. we all have, and uh, and it's been it's been refreshing. It really has. Right. You know, and remember, the, there was some, there was a little bit of disappointment when the Astros put the Yankees out because everybody yeah, thought right, Yankees, right. Dodgers, you yeah. know, that'll be that'll be yeah. old school and big markets, East Coast, West yeah. Coast. But yeah. the Astros have uh, have proven they are worthy in this. And it is. It's good for, and, and look, you're talking about the right series at the right time for baseball. With the NFL suffering, oh, yeah. baseball looks yeah. good. Numbers are great. You know that means advertising revenue will be at top dollar, and it's just it, boy, this is. You, you're talking about what the doctor ordered. This was it for baseball. Let me ask you this, because maybe they knew that how good Houston was going to play over on the conspiracy side. Did they let them just play straight up? Because the Yankees and the Dodgers should have been the World Series if you were really doing a full blown mm-hmm. greatest thing for baseball. You should go seven games with the Dodgers and the Yankees. Did they let them play straight up in the uh, pennant race? Uh, the, what was what was the? Uh, well, you got to know this in it. order to talk. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, don't. I, I don't really study. I mean, I don't hang well, I mean, around it. I just. I'm just talking. If you're I, talking I about the big thing, if you go full blown, we're going to do a conspiracy, and this would be the right. greatest thing we could do. It would be right. seven games with the Yankees and the Dodgers. So I was saying, did they get to play straight up in the championship? To, to uh, win the I, you know, I I just think that everybody kind of you know wink winks and it's better if it goes as far as it can. You know, the home Where team usually have they <laughs> usually in baseball it appears to be a big advantage. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. It, yeah, but what I was going to say is if it if if I can stretch out the World Series to seven games, mm-hmm. 
me making sure the Yankees and the Dodgers in it shouldn't be that big a step. That's well, right. two largest markets. Like you're talking about, I think everybody thought that was going to be the, the best setup. But they got down to the last few. I think they let them play it when they That's, get down. That was the, what I was saying. Oh. So they, do, they let them play it there yeah, at the end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they just want to stretch it. They right. just don't want to four. You know, they right. don't want it to be over four. Right, but I mean, so they didn't want the Yankees. They let that play straight out. Right, and see, they right. they thought the Yankee fans would be happy enough right. because they've been so bad to be back that close. Right. And then next year, look out. Right. And then, you know, then the manager goes off the ranch. What was that? Do we still right. know what that was about? So, sure, Dodgers and Yankees for sure next year. Uh, the Yankees will be back strong. <laughs> you count on that. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, we, we talked about that the World Series is going to a, desi- a decisive game seven, mm-hmm. so that's good. And then college football, uh, under the new playoff system, came out with uh, their first ever playoff rankings. Um, and uh, there's been some people uh, – it's not as surprising as it may sound, but there are some surprises there. Uh, Georgia is at number one, Alabama two, and then Notre Dame at three, and then four is Clemson. Uh, Wisconsin fans are not happy because they're undefeated, and – they have a lot of one-loss people in front of them, but the Bubba made the point in the break. Uh, they haven't played a ranked team yet. Uh, Alabama also was uh, demoted to two uh, because if you, if you really look at it, and there's nothing you can do when your conference is weak, uh, no matter what conference you play in. The SEC, and it feels weird to say that, is, is really weak right now, top to bottom, and Alabama and Georgia have both played really bad teams and beaten really bad teams really badly, but they both have one marquee game, uh, Alabama's marquee game to start the season with Florida State has lost its luster. Georgia's to start the season with Notre Dame has uh, remained quite lustrous. So Notre Dame is sitting there at number three. The only loss they have is a one-point loss to Georgia. So that's really how it came down to who would be one and two. Now, if we're in the playoff system, this really doesn't matter as long as you're in the top four. Yeah. And yeah. Alabama and Georgia are going to play each other, so that'll work itself out. Yeah, one of those uh, very, very likely could fall out of that, uh, depending on how these other uh, champions do. But it's uh, I I heard the young lady uh, giving her report yesterday that covers the uh, college football playoff selection committee. And she was explaining that they have developed some software now where they can compare teams across the board uh, on a number of different statistical things. And one being strength of schedule, almost kind of a. And it's updated, I think, like every week, depending on who wins and who loses and by how much and all that. And uh, it, she had said yesterday she would not be surprised to see Georgia. And uh, we'll and wrap up uh, this hour for a lot of you today. Uh, Bubba and the boys, tomorrow I'm out. I'll be there watching Big Love graduate from Mississippi State University. Mm-hmm. Take care of the fellas and enjoy Bubba Rama and a break from me. And uh, we could all use that. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, that's tomorrow. And then I'll be back with you guys, Lord willing, on Monday. Rick, bring that degree back, man. Yeah, we need to. Uh, at least maybe we can find his. I don't know where mine is. Uh, then uh, we got the Rick and Bubba University, the podcast coming up again this weekend. Catch that. We're going to talk about this tick disease. and uh, Alpha gal. Alpha gal, baby. And uh, and how we can uh, deal with the, the war against ticks. That's it. Uh, so that's, that's coming up uh, this weekend. Enjoy that. Also, Rich Wingo, Man Church, Crestview, Florida, First Baptist Church uh, there in Crestview. Go see Rich Wingo as they continue the men's discipleship strategy. And uh, tomorrow also they'll announce the team of the week for the USFL. So if you've entered your team at the contest button, listen for the guys to announce your team as the winner for a VIP weekend with the USFL. So I'm on the phone, and I'm talking to now the person with the security team, and um and and and, and I, I'm just not. I'm wanting to lay back down and go to sleep and not hear this again. Uh, How I've, did it go? <laughs> it, and and I've, I've I've acknowledged. I know something's wrong with the phone lines. Uh, I'm one of the two people still on the planet using a landline for something. Now I do not have a phone plugged into the landline because I'm not a complete idiot. Uh, where where you have a phone in your house that all it does is ring and have telemarketers on it. We we decided we decided to do away with that. Yeah. But we do have to have it for the security system that needs to be upgraded. And 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 of course this is motivating me to Could do, do so. it in 30 minutes, right? You're right. Uh, for me, probably an hour and 15. But but anyway, 30, so 30 okay. so he gets on the phone. He says, "Well, you want to disarm it?" And I'm like, "Yes, yes, yeah. I did. yes, yeah. I did." Yeah. So keep in mind, how awake was he when you talked to him? Uh, 
So, so we, but he did. How, get, how he, was his English? It was good. It was okay. real good. Yeah, I'm talking. You know, look, mine is mine He's is so local. mine is so old. I still talk to Americans. Oh, <laughs> and and and, and so I think this guy Greg that lives in Pell City. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so yeah. anyway, by name? the way, I'm not exaggerating. All right, All right. So anyway, <laughs> Greg, trust me, uh, the bill still comes on an invoice, like on a piece of paper. Somebody types it. I, I got the same. Right, so, I got the same thing. Yeah. So anyway, um, so I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm, he goes, go back in there to the panel in your bedroom. Now, keep in mind, every, Sherry keeps falling back asleep, and I keep waking her up. Okay, so far I don't have the lights on, but that's about to change. So I go in there, and, and I think he's going to give me maybe two things to do. Yeah. Okay. Like a code, like a right, three-digit yeah. code. Do this and this, and you're good. Go I back think to this bed. is going to take 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. All right, you in front of the panel? I said, yeah, I'm in front of the panel. All right, so give me give me a star star a pound pound two two four and I'm like, what oh good gosh and so I do this all right what do you see uh, I see the down at the bottom uh, number number sixty okay all right then give me a four four okay <laughs> two two one one star star pound star uh, you know do uh, what step back put your right foot in take your right foot out. <laughs> Uh, and 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 I'm like, are you are you serious? And he's like, yeah. Did you get that? That's and a I, lot of detail for <laughs> two two thirty. It, 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 I'm I'm like, okay. I'm doing that. What do you see now? I see a ten. Uh, we don't need ten. All right. So give me a give me a seven seven. Uh, give me give me two four eight nine five five five. Uh, star star pound star star pound. <laughs> what? I think that just means start in a row. No. Did you do it? Yeah. What do you see? Okay. I see, okay. Yeah. That's what we need to see. All right, now then I need to get you go over to your exit button, and I'm like, uh-oh, I can't see the exit button. Oh, no, where's he, that? He, here comes the terrible part. Oh, no. Do you see know where the exit button is? I do, but I can't tell which one is it. You can't see it? It's so I'm, and I said, I said, I'm in the dark. <laughs> and and I, and I and also I reach over there. Sherry has just gone back to sleep. Oh, no. And I flipped that light over. Oh, no, Rick. What have you got the light on for? I said, baby, I can't see exit. <laughs> like that. And why are you exiting? Who's, is the house on fire? And I'm like, no, baby. I got it at the exit button. And, and she's covering her head, you know, with cover and all this kind of stuff. I, I, it's just going to be a minute. I got, have you, have you pressed exit? I, I, my, wait, my, mom, my wife's hollering at me. Hang on just a second. Baby, I'm trying to talk to man about stopping the beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and then um, okay you see the exit button i see it all right i won't hit that three times i said is there any reason for me to be over here anymore after this now you can i said i'm gonna cut the light back off i cut the light okay you exit button like that okay all right now you're gonna hear hear two yelps i said i'm sorry you're gonna hear two yelps from you you know from your sirens so don't panic and I said, yeah. So now I, the neighbors are yeah, yeah. He said, did you hear the two yeps? I did. Okay, so give me star one four, four five uh, pound, pound star, star star pound, pound star two two, one one seven seven, six two four eight nine eight seven four one star. And I'm like, are you Good kidding? I'm, what? And that ought to do it. <laughs> Got it. I mean, are, are you launching a missile? <laughs> oh my God, are you oh, sure? Simple, simple. And then, of course, what I didn't want to hear. Now that was with the left hand. <laughs> no, 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 I did it with the right. No, I used got to start over. But it felt like it was going to get to that point. At one point, you go slow down. What now? He said that, and I, this is what got me. That ought to do it. Oh, okay. And uh, I've noticed that time of morning, star and pound look very similar. They do. Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah, and, and, and then what? And exit. Yeah, and then what happens? <laughs> hey, and then what happens? You lay back down and you're like, "Can I go back to sleep?" You're, you're just waiting. And you're you're doing anticipating that, right? yeah. and doing it. Yeah. Again. If it's not look, fixed, look, it would have already went off. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I let time go by. Should have already happened. Yeah, that's when the look, Greg. Then you're laying there, and then what happens? The 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 version of you that has to work the next day. You know, tomorrow you got that meeting. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, you're gonna be tired in it. Right, right. So who, now, who you got for the podcast tomorrow? <laughs> and I'm like some guy about ticks. <laughs> and you know, and I, and I and I and I start talking to myself, you know, yeah. and like that. You hey. Hey, you know that? don't oversleep that alarm. You know, then oh, yeah. you know, like, I said, well, no, I think I'm you okay. Go back to and then you start room. wondering, did I cut yeah. the alarm off? Then alarm I initially th- th- thought th- I Then I look up, and, I, and then I see that. Then then there's that terrible side of it that hits you. Mm-hmm. You sure it was a phone line? What if somebody's outside? Oh, yeah. Now I've cut it off, and they uh, just gave him a free <laughs> answer. The criminals cut the phone line, hoping I would do this. Now he's coming in. You know, and then what do you find? I'm getting up.
That's it. That's it. I'm up. <laughs> Coughing. <laughs> and I'm up. And that's it. <laughs> Time for a shower. Because then, yeah, then, then you're really up. Oh, well, look, yeah. then I tried no the. No going back. You uh-huh. know, the worst one, I tried that thing, which I think is one of the weirdest things we experience <laughs> as human beings. Got hung in between I'm asleep, I'm awake. Oh, I did. I'm not that. quite either one. Yeah, yeah. it's almost oh, like I'm hovering. Good. Yeah, like I'm hovering above the cover. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm thinking things that means I'm not fully awake because that's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm not talking, you know, to one of our founding fathers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Teddy Roosevelt, I know I spoke about him today. He, I don't think he's smoking a cigar in here waiting for me to get up to go hunt. Yeah. You know what? But yeah. yet, I, but yet I'm aware it's not yeah. real, so that yeah. makes me kind of awake. That is crazy. Oh, and the sleepy crazy. self steps in the shower and the awake <laughs> self's in there going, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> right, huh? we're up all the time. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Hey, thanks for watching Rick and Bubba live on YouTube. We're here live at 5 with a kickoff hour bright and early Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications on our YouTube channel. And catch a commercial-free best of hour on Blaze TV every day. Rick and Bubba, it's must-see TV. Or radio. Well, yeah.